Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Quizum. And today we are playing Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Sherlock is taking on Lovecraftian entities. It's gonna be spooky. It's gonna be dookie. We're all set up, and we're gonna click new game. London. So spooky. Baker Street. I like the way the subtitle is Baker Street, Baker Street. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers <laughs> are here, on the table. Let us see what the postman brought today. Okay. We are playing a Sherlock. Okay. <laughs> and we have the newspapers. Is he this eccentric in the books? Yeah, he is. He's very... He's quite an unpleasant character, really. <laughs> London Advertiser, September 28th, 1882. Tensions between England and Sweden are running higher after a series of unfortunate mishaps. During a recent visit to London by Swedish Princess Ilda... Chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomatic corps as a result of unexplained disappearance of Prince Ilda's personal bodyguard. The long-time member of her inner circle took the opportunity to explore London while off duty and never returned from his late-night promenade. Okay. Okay. I guess that's all Local it says then. gossip. All of it uninteresting. Alright, here we have... something. It's a book. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. So this Barnes bookshop... insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Barnes is a character in most of these games. Um, he's meant to be the first bookshop of Barnes and Noble. Like, it's the start of that oh. chain, as it were. Another letter from Werner. I never reply, but they keep coming. I found all the evidence. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Are you fucking kidding me? The Strand newspaper is missing. Why can't you just go out and get a new newspaper? It's rainy today. We're not dressed something more appropriate for the weather. Open the casebook with C, navigate to your wardrobe. And... Oh, look, we have lots of different outfits we can wear. Oh. Some of these are DLC, because I have the Ultra Deluxe Edition. I don't know if this is going to be cool or annoying if this is, like, a frequent thing need to be used in the story. You don't have to do it. You can Usually he unlocks disguises that he can wear as well. <laughs> There's the traditional Deerstalker. I think this is the first time they've been able to include the traditional Deerstalker, by the way. You can change Watson's outfit too, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Watson. He gets a really bad deal. Like a fake moustache and beard too, like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't really know which one of these is the rain outfit, really. I'm going to be honest with the you. The one that has a coat that looks like it's for rain? Oh, it tells you what they are. Okay, so we have fashionable waistcoat, Sherlock's jacket, Sherlock's overcoat, uh, a Ukrainian outfit, because they're a Ukrainian studio, wind coat, a storm is coming, a office casual, casual detective, navy officer, marine uniform, white suit, grey suit, ugly beige suit, the worst suit in the game, just awful, the description <laughs> says, clergyman cassock, master sleuth, and the consulting detective. I guess it's the wind coat. I'd say the wind coat or the overcoat. I don't think it really matters which one. He just said, why not do it? You don't have to do it. Oh yeah, it just suggests putting a hat on, actually. Let's put a hat on. Put on the Deerstalker, you might as well. Put on the Deerstalker? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Twenty one B Baker Street. All right, so we need to look through the trash, right? Oh man! Here it is. This looks like a needle. What is that? I don't know. I can't actually do anything with it, so that's a bit weird. Oh, is that a chicken bone? You were uh, mistaken, Doctor Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Oh, Watson, how could you mistake poo for mud? Try. There must be something else. There we go. Here. No, this is the other item it wants me to look at, but... A cactus spine. Ah. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. <laughs> okay. Left shift is right. Get run. the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Yeah, see? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. You literally just said you had it for sale. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. What happened to my newspaper? Let's, let's, let's ask him the not important questions first. What were Any breaking headlines? news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tripe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm, like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. <laughs> cool, now I can take the day off. Alright, so tell me the man, about the man on the doorstep. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Ever heard of a well-read assassin? Looks can deceive, hence the appeal of disguises. Um, what did he do with the paper? Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. <laughs> I had to protect the merchandise, and all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Where was he headed? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. All right. <laughs> you earned your shilling. No, you didn't. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears if you have more shillings. What the fuck? Okay. We have the newsboy's Get testimony. Get the strand. Get your copy of okay. the strand here. You've got a new question in your mind palace. Open the casebook with C, then navigate to the mind palace. Inside, select relevant pieces of evidence to deduct the answer. Okay. Okay, then. So, who ruined the strand? Um, we have the cactus spine probably poisoned, or a book from Barnes to tie up here. Um, uh, okay. well, if it's one, I don't know. The guy was carrying a lot of books. It sounds like it was Barnes. To me, it sounds like it was Barnes and he just dropped the books or something stupid like that. Like that to me sounds like a plausible answer. But it looks like we're missing some other information here, because there's a green blob too, see? Mm. I don't really know how that works. Get the strand! Get your copy of the strand here! Oh my god, kid, stop it! Mm. You're lying! Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona. I'm not really sure what we should be doing here already. 
to be honest with you. Like, it seems to think we should have the evidence as it is in our mind palace, but I don't see it. We have the cactus spine potentially poisoned. Oh, I wonder the soil. I wonder if a plant pot fell on him. And that yeah. was the loud bang. Okay. Let's have a look at that one more time. Oh, here we go. We got some more. We got observations, the newsboy's testimony. There we go. Barnes, the local bookseller, ruined the newspaper. The newsboy says the suspicious man was carrying a stack of books, and this morning, Mr. Barnes, the local bookseller, delivered a novel to Dr. Watson. A cactus spine for assassination, a loud bang, a visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. He there was a plant pot with a cactus in it that fell off the roof, hit Barnes on the head, Barnes dropped the books, the end. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that Mr. Holmes' murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also... Okay, we need to go to his bookstore. Scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Okay, Sherlock is being crazy here, by the way. Like, actually crazy. I think this is just a really silly freaking, uh... Tutorial? Tutorial. It is. Oh god, what the fuck is that? You can pin evidence from quick access to the information from your casebook. Open the casebook with X. Pin the evidence from the bookshop photo. By pressing X, try and find the bookshop. Okay. So. Bookshop. Pin evidence. Oh, we're meant to use the photo to find it on the map, I guess? I mean, it's not particularly helpful, is it, really? Let's be honest. Oh. Where is it? There's a barber. I mean, I just... Um, I'd assume it was the green building, but... He just said location discovered, Barnes Bookshop. This is gas lumps. Okay, shop well, local. it's not that. Is it the blue one? Nope, that is a barber shop. First class cuts. Mm. Is it one of these other court? It's right oh, there. it's right there. We're blind. So I was right. It was brown, not brown. Um, green. There we go. Got it in the end. Hello, Mr. Barnes. Observe. Apparently, that's what we need to click. Bags under eyes, the effects of overwork. Okay. Do you have limited time to do this? Don't think so. Not for this one, I don't think. Oh, I need to use Wazda to move around his whole body, not the mouse. I can just see freaking Watson just on the floor right now. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> High heels, wants to look taller. Fair play to him. Is there a smudge on his pants? Whereabouts? Keep going. Turn yeah, him. you're right there. Leans heavily on his right leg. So he's got a sore left leg. It's like a dip in the clothes, I think. Mm. But you spotted it, Nomkin. Oh, hand. Yep. Ink. Newspaper ink? You can choose which one of these is right. So Mr. Barnes is about to limp and has large bags under his eyes, the result of long hours of intense work. He's not very confident and tries to appear tall by wearing heels. It seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in the murder plot, even if the ink on his hand suggests he is the one who saw the newspaper. Nevertheless, Mr. Barnes can still be a pawn in a bigger plan without his knowledge. We can choose whether he's a workaholic or a blackmail victim. We're going to choose workaholic. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Barnes, a word. Oh, for goodness sake. He just run away. Yep. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please... M Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you come in. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we, uh, reschedule in a month or two? <laughs> Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with... Uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just take it and pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. 
Press Z to highlight interactive areas in the environment around you. Oh, maybe he is a blackmail victim. I guess we'll find out. Either that, or he just really doesn't like us, the and he's like, oh god. Recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. <laughs> okay. I do hear a dog. Oh yeah, there. Oh my god, can we pet the puppy here? So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Oh, huh. we can't put the puppy up. No, in some of the games you get to play as a puppy. They have like a sniffing hound that you can control. Imagine anything more macabre. Oh, we've got a love crafty in picture because of course we do. Okay. Basics of crypto analysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Or it's a bookshop and there's a book about cryptography on the counter. Hmm. A catalogue of exotic plants on Barnes's counter. The names of the catalogue reads Everlasting Plants for an Everlasting Love. Hmm. Okay. I think there's probably more evidence. Let's look around some more. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. So, for those not in the know and Chrism, okay. Mm. Uh, Mycroft is Holmes' brother, mm. and he is a spy who works for, like, MI5 or something. Mm. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. Okay, so we know he's really into flowers. Or he's a secret agent. <laughs> That's not doing a good job at hiding? <laughs> I don't know. The finest view London has to offer. Oh, he's obviously trying to get someone's attention with the flowers. Yeah. Maybe a woman that he likes, because he had the flowers of love, right? Mm-hmm. He's in love, probably. That's why he's being weird. Men do crazy things when they're in love, baby. Yeah. Crazy things. I'm so sad you can't pet Papia. I'm sorry. He's a very num num kid. He's got a bone there, and he's, it looks like a femur or something in the bowl. <laughs> Uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna pop outside because it seems to want us to. Can I talk to this lady? Oh, she runs a flower shop. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my oh, another puppy. could use the rainfall. Yeah, here. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. Here's the cactus. The guilty party in this murder. <laughs> oh, it's cracked. Damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Yeah, the newspaper. Anything else here? Would he heard a bang all the way from down there? Well, I think it was probably he probably had it with him at the time. No, there's something we're missing here. It's cracked. But it's damaged. There's more to it though than this. But softened He's by saying something. that this isn't enough. Isn't evidence enough? There's something else on this plant somewhere that I'm missing. Mm. There. A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? I mean, what are the chances of there being a cactus, it's multiple cacti, in central at, London? Uh. This one we haven't looked at yet. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. All right. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? Oh, we have to observe her as well. <laughs> so don't ask to answer the question, just stare. Luxury fabric, unusual for work attire. Oh, is he working hard to give her stuff? Oh, honoring her deceased husband, the morning brooch. Oh, he's moving in! <laughs> oh my god, oh, he's looking out for her, maybe. On maybe honorably. But I think, I suspect, potentially. Well, she doesn't have the full-on garb, so... It's probably not like last week. Yeah. So, well, when is, when is this set, anyway? Uh, like, it depends. Like, across, like, the late 1800s, early 1900s. Wearing makeup for beauty or concealment. Distance look. Avoids eye contact or distracted. Or hi.
Oh, the heartbeat gets louder when you get nearer the thing, I think. Maybe. Hmm. We're missing one thing. Mm. Oh, the puppy is standing there. Such a good boy. Right there. There we go. Clean boots. Change shoes upon arrival. Okay. So she's still grieving or ready to move on. So we've got Mrs. Fleming uses makeup to hide her tear-stained cheeks. That's if she's still grieving. Mm -hmm. A dress is made for an expensive fabric that's not suitable for outside work. Her shoes, no trace of the mud. She must have changed them when she arrived. While she tries to bury her grief by dressing extravagantly, she still wears a mourning brooch in memory of her late husband. Her gaze, always staring off in the distance, reveals her emotional detachment. Or, ready to move on. She wears a morning brooch in memory of her late husband. Her dress is made from an expensive fabric that's not suited for work. Her shoes show no traces of mud. She must have changed them when she arrived. Her eyes constantly dot around the street, perhaps in search for something. Perhaps she's waiting for someone? While, Mr. Fleming, while Mrs. Fleming cherishes the memory of her departed husband, she's trying to move on. I'd like to thank our wonderful Patreon supporter, Reaper, for making this playthrough of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened possible. Thank you everyone who was in our studio audience for the first part of the playthrough on Twitch as well. Make sure you follow our Twitch link in the description, guys. We are only... At the time of recording, three supporters away from hitting our Patreon goal for the month. Consider pledging. Even a dollar will help unlock a playthrough for everyone on every tier next month. And it'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be a machine for picks. If you want to check that out, link in the description. Reaper, thank you for being an amazing Patreon supporter. We love you very much. You are phenomenal, as always. Thank you again. Also, I'd like to shout out our wondrous producer, Alice, for making this video possible. Thank you so much, Alice. Her links are on screen right now. And now Sherlock and Watson are back on the case. So I hope you guys will enjoy this continued playthrough of Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened. So which one do you think it is, Bevy? I think she's probably ready to move on. I don't think she would look so, like, nice if she was grieving. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to lock in that. Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. Provide evidence. Hmm, do we have any? Cactus in a cracked pot. I don't think that's evidence, right? I'll try about this. The bouquet of dead flowers in the window of Barnes's shop. Let's try it. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know! This is gonna be cringe! Exotic plants catalogue. Everlasting plants of love. I, I, I'm going for it. Oh, man. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes's shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, no. No. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh. I hope you're right. Okay. That was actually right, by the way. Mm. Well, not right, but not, like, super cringe. Okay. <laughs> it was kind of cringe. It was a little bit cringe. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what else to go for. They all seem really unlikely now, apart from that. Let's go for the exotic plants catalog. Are you sure you're asking the right person? Okay, that's completely just wrong. A flower seller. I mean, it literally is a book about flowers. Okay, I would expect you to have some fucking idea. I'm gonna be honest with you. Roses for sale, maybe? I don't know anything nah. about this. Sorry. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We can looks like we can keep going. Let's try the cactus in the crackpot. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Oh, someone left it there. Well, yeah. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. So I guess every time we see a cutscene, that must mean we're on the yes, right track? Yes, we're on track? the right thing. We're on the right track, yeah. 
How about Mr. Barnes? Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well... Okay, anyway, that was dodgy as fuck. What does that mean? <laughs> I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Okay. That was the he she that was all the evidence found. Okay. So He's got a crush on the flower seller. Yeah, I don't think... I'm not sure she knows he does. But... Uh... He definitely does. Let's put it that way, right? Yeah. I can't remember the button to look around. <laughs> to do the pulse. <laughs> I can't help you, baby. Hmm. It's not Q. This is something else that I don't know what it is. I'm gonna just press everything. <laughs> there you go, Z. I should probably stop pinning this evidence. I don't need it anymore, to, you know, to, to see what's going on. Where do I tell what's pinned? Uh, I don't know. This is really not helpful at all, actually. <laughs> we suck so much. <laughs> there we go. I got rid of it. <laughs> okay, Sherlock. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> We must be missing something, but I don't know what. Maybe I should talk to Watson about it? Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. This first puzzle shouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> it probably isn't for literally anyone else. It's just us, Bubby. It's always just us. Dead flowers on display is probably important, right? I'd assume so. I don't- I just don't know. We need a blue one as well. Crack cactus pot. I got it! Mr. Barnes is in love with Mrs. Fleming. Barnes has played a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Mrs. Fleming, a florist. He may yet hope that she will come into his shop and give him a watering, advi a watering advice, or it could simply be a symbol of his desperation makes sense. Mm -hmm. Barnes anonymously gifted her a cactus which he ordered from a catalogue on a counter. A questionable choice, but for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalogue presents these cacti as immortal. Plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside... Why can't I scroll down? Why can't I scroll... Why can't you scroll down? I don't know! There's, no there's, there's nothing... There's Arrow to... keys? I guess it's maybe it's meant to, it's cut off by mistake, and that's it. The same cactus he dropped on the strand outside. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. He just realized. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. The game doesn't have any cursor lock, by the way. So if it goes quiet at all at any point, guys, because I'm clicking outside the window. <laughs> Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. Mrs. Fleming's new cactus. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. <laughs> <laughs> My paper was ruined. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. 
It was quite an awkward package. Heavy, too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, Dude. It's true. <laughs> I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. Um, this isn't really my area or I know what to do. I mean, this definitely is not his area, but we could do it and be super cringe anyway. <laughs> As yeah. in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts, and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. <laughs> I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. <laughs> Thank you. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. <laughs> I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of The Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh no, uh, my apologies, Mr Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and, and, uh, yes, yes, okay, just give me the paper. All right. Locals at the Port of London had a rude awakening last night when loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Moskva had docked at Pier Number 3 in the early evening en route to Europe when it was rocked by several concussive explosions. The Port Authority has yet to comment on the incident and it is unknown if any crew members were on board at the time. Eyewitnesses report seeing saltpeter leaking off... Now I can scroll. Oh my god. <laughs> Was it uh, the mouse wheel the entire time, and that was the one button you didn't try? Possibly. <laughs> Eyewitnesses report seeing saltpeter leaking into the river, but with the area still off limits to workers and public, it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I we hope to up. hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. All right. So here... Well, that oh. was an utter waste of time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> an assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied... I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. It doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. <laughs> Let's go. I'm desperate. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. I actually know where his house is from the original version. I saw it on the way here. I was like, oh, that's the house we have to go to later on. <laughs> Not much further now. It's literally this one here. It's a very nice house as well. So this case is in the original. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the Inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes. The consulting detective I told you about? At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Hmm. So why won't you investigate? Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimahia breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. 
Um, other missing people? Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. I remember this being probably not to the best taste in the original. So let's hope things have been modernized a little. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Kimi here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen. And as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Alright, so when did he vanish? When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. Okay, is he your servant or something else? Because escaped is not the word. Well, here's the thing. Indentured servitude is just as good as. That's what, that's what, that's what England was very, very common for, I will say. No, I know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's literally the same thing. You're yeah. stuck, so it's escaping either way. May I see your servant's bedroom? This shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. All right, so uh, why would he run away? Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Had he run away before? I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. Did he steal anything? Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens, no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For, for security. Man. Sorry, security. All right, Captain. <laughs> I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. Yeah, so it is indentured servitude if he was getting wages. Yes. That were not given to him because it's indentured servitude. <laughs> so. All right, we need to find a shack, right, he said. Had everything you could possibly want. Concentration helps you pick up on small details around the world around you. You'll see a wavy green circle. Press Q to observe and... Oh, there. And look uh, at it more closely. So that's what it is. Parallel tracks. Wheels. What could have left these tracks? They seem fresh. We get experience for every bit of evidence we get right, by the way. So in the first case, it was out of 50 and we got 48 out of 50. Mm. So that's pretty good, I think. But it was the tutorial, so, you know, maybe I shouldn't be too happy about that. It wants us to pin something? A, Scand a Scandinavian princess's personal bodyguard toured London off duty and never returned from a late night walk. The police are currently conducting a search. So there's been other examples of foreign nationals going missing in London. I think yeah. it's trying to tell us. A scrap of Hessian. Okay. Hessian? I actually don't know what that is, but okay. Fabric? Is it? Is it the fabric? I, I, These I, were I... sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Oh, so there was a struggle. But yeah, it looks like someone fell Maybe. over. Maybe. Like, tore the clothes, perhaps, if it's fabric? I don't know. I, that's what I was saying. Clothes are made of Hessian. Yeah, there yes. we go. This didn't really so miserly. <laughs> is this guy a complete dickhead? Yes. Yes. I'm guessing this is like some traditional instrument. A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Okay. No air coming through it. What is this? A, 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 a thingy. A burned thing. The ashes thing. are long since cold. 
There is a bone. Button chops. The remains of a meal. Okay, so he cooks over this, I guess. Mm-hmm. A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, a narcotic. With enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past. Press Q to see imagination nodes, interact with nodes to begin, then create an accurate version of events. So this is like... I don't know if you've ever played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. No air coming through it. But it's like no that. air coming through it. I'm not Stem entirely sure how this works. servant live in a tool shed? You think you know someone. Okay, so you can see things that were going on here, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to choose which one of these is like the correct one. Oh, we only have one clue at the moment that it could possibly be because we haven't found all the evidence. And that's that he was doing drugs at the fire, but that seems pretty... pretty likely. Let's be real, right? How do I go out of this mode for now? Q. Anything else around here that is worthwhile interacting with is this. Oh, that's a face. Impressive. The second oh, brain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit the You were head. right about the struggle, baby. Oh my god, you're like a detective or something. I'm proud of you, Nicky. Okay. There's still something else we're missing here. How are these tools rusted even when they're supposed to be, like, of this era? That's I, impressive. I don't know. And um, why can't... Okay, I can look at it. It's just really fiddly. It's a telescope. It's something small. We're going to look in and there'll be a picture. A small lady spyglass. <laughs> So we're gathering more and more evidence. Mm -hmm. We know that something happened outside as well. Like there was a car. It looks like I'm like I'm assuming, right, from what we've seen, that he was like there was a fight and he was loaded on a car and taken away. Yeah, sounds about right. But is there anything else out here that? Aha! That's oh they they stubbed the smoke. So... Oh. The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. And that's why he was like, there was no airflow. I like the way he's not even taking that, by the way. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Did you draw that, Watson? Yep. In two seconds. It's very impressive. This is padlocks. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Ah. Okay, we have a lock with an unusual keyhole. There's some evidence here as well. I have no idea what that's for. Mm, nothing else seems to be standing out. I still don't know why it's asking me to pin something right here. Because it wants you to use the feature. <laughs> Fair. Is there a different version of events? No, we don't seem to have any. I don't really understand this, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, E, R. Yeah, neither of them are working, it's just showing that. And there's only one dot at a possible three, it looks like, above it. Yeah, right that's now. what I, that's what I was saying. Um, hmm. I guess we need to find all the evidence in order to put everything to together? together in the imaginary timeline. That's that I can't see any, um... I can't see any other spots, first of all. And there's five, uh, apparently. And also, I can't seem to see any more evidence. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, nothing is glowing except Watson. Maybe that's why you need to pin it. Yeah, it's, it wants me to pin something here. I just don't really get it. Does it want you to pin it, or is it just showing you that hint? I am absolutely... I'm very confused, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, there's nothing new about I'm, me I'm putting a trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm putting a trim here. Oh, the window, here. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit, or something else? Why couldn't we look at that outside? Why do we have By to the look way, it's giving me through the window? That's weird, right? We already looked at these, and there's nothing else here. Hmm. And what is 
this. Why is there a green thing here? Oh, it's because that's a completed investigation. This one's still not. Okay. Hmm. Look around a bit more, I guess, out here, maybe? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what else to do. Oh, there, at the back of the statue, there's something. Aha! A lot more potentially here, actually. First of all, there's this. Knee print. Hiding? Hmm. Looks like a knee print. So someone was waiting for him to arrive. Which obviously is very sus. Chewing tobacco. That's gross. Another footprint. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes. To read the ground like an open book. Thanks, Watson. At the moment, I think there might just be only one outcome for each one of these. You know? Mm. There's the guy waiting. And we have the guy falling over and stuff. It's possible we need to put them in the right order, but I don't really know how that works at the moment. All right, so we've got clues in the garden. Where on earth are you going with this? Okay, footprints in the garden. Do you happen to know Kimahir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest. Well, I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. Um... Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No. The man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimihir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. He had full control over this guy's life. Yeah, of course he did. The door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Kimihir and I both had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. Examine the garden. What a dickhead. Seriously. Okay, so Kimmy here wasn't trapped in the garden then. If he had a key, you could come and go. he could come and go as he pleased. Yeah. I thought but... you were meant to be intelligent. <laughs> go on, go on. But if it's still locked, that means he didn't let himself out. Hmm. That's true, that's true. Unless he went through another way, but if there were wheel carts, he probably didn't. I mean, he could have locked it behind him as well, right? No, that was a padlock. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good point. Are you joking? Why would I know this? By the way, is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. Okay. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but <laughs> I found it distracting. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course you did. Okay, that's all the evidence, apparently, that we have at the moment from him. Okay. None of which was particularly useful, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so, after a little bit more investigating and rereading how the game wants you to play it, we have found this, which I've been pointing out looks suspicious. It's a moldy broken cart that apparently has not been used, by the way. <laughs> well, it's still evidence. Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> so just scroll. Scroll to every single thumbtack. How do I scroll through this? Okay. The D-pad. Now just keep looking. Keep looking until this you see a green unusual. thing. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Oh my god, what an absolute shit show. I think it's going to be more of this trail. I think we need to look through... Hun, we could just do one thing at a time. I'm going to stick with the trail, because that's what we were using. <laughs> oh my god. It was doing it by the shack and in the shack. 
so let's try around there more. Oh, hit! There's lo oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> Parallel tracks. Grass doesn't grow here. Often used. Okay. Okay. So th there's similar tracks near the shack. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. A garden cart was usually kept under the rain cover, and someone. So it looks like they transported him out on the cart. Anything else in here? All right, I think that might be it because it says to collapse. Well, no, that just means to do that. Oh, never mind. It just extends the dialogue a bit. Oh God damn it! <laughs> it might be it. It might not. I don't know. Just keep looking around now. So that's now that we know that. I'm gonna confront <laughs> him with that evidence now about the cart, and see if it makes him makes him give us the key, perhaps. Okay. It doesn't have the thumbtack anymore. Are we done with it? Okay. Okay. So we're done with it. The only Why bit don't that, we... So the key with the unusual lock is still something we need. Uh, okay. How do I unpin stuff for a second? I just want to talk to this guy. Well, no, you have to have it pinned. If you find my man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. This dreary no. rain is making a miserable the thing day with the even tack. worse. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? No. Nah. Okay. Stop loitering. I'm going so to do no. your job. So no. Like I said, can, l we'll just need to go through everything. All the things. Just go around the garden. Till we find all the greens. All the things. All the numpkins. And so forth. Okay, dead bumpkins. <laughs> oh, we have a fourth scene. But where is it? Here. Okay. <laughs> Don't think that's it. This is it. He wheels him off afterwards, right? Well, I mean, that's what we're assuming. Okay. So. Oh, there's something here. Key print. Unusual form bent to the left. Key print missing. Now that's done as well. We don't need to pin that anymore. Oh, something else can be pinned, though, it says here. But what? Oh, no, none of the other ones. It, are it might just, it be, might just be, be, be just that. Okay. Just because we're stupid. Watson, can you just fuck off, please? <laughs> okay. So we have significant. I'm gonna. I'm now gonna talk to him about the key. All right. <laughs> you just really want this key. I really want him to give us the key to the alley so we can find out where everything went. Because he walk like it's clearly important, but he's like, no. Are you stupid? Fuck you. <laughs> Stop loitering. Fuck you. And go and do your job. Still missing something. Are you stupid? Mr. Now I think with him, by the way, as he's a key evidence person, we just job. talk to him normally to present evidence. I think it's passers by you show stuff to. Mm. I guess we'll find out though. We'll find out. Oh, we have a fifth one. We have a fifth scene. Yeah. Right here. It's gonna be him or the other guy, right? It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. Out validate with F. Let's see if we're right. Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. All right. We got it. First time after an hour. Literally an hour of fucking around this garden. To you guys, it'll be like five minutes, everyone <laughs> watching this video on YouTube. But to us, think of the suffering we went through. I guess we should probably do Mind Palace, right? Yes, yes. we definitely should. Okay. What are the notable features of the abductor? Chewing Spyglass. Tobacco. Chewing tobacco. Yeah, chewing tobacco remnants. Not closed mode of Hessian. 
Um, the footprints, maybe? Footprints. This should be it, right? Those three. Okay. Two were right, one was wrong. This strand. I doubt it, but worth a shot. Okay. And it's definitely not closed mode of Hessian, right? No, we're missing the we're missing an item. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can do some more of this. Where does Kimia's trail lead? Uh Kimia's abduction. And then where does the trail lead? It's blue. We don't have any more blue ones, so we can't even do it. So that we're we're missing an item. Still. You'd best okay. have found something by now, gentlemen. Uh, let's talk about the cart tracks dotting the yard. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes. Not questions. Okay, someone had eyes on Kimia. I fear that someone may Kimia? have spied upon Kimahir. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I found the residue of narcotics in Kimahir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. All right. I'm almost finished. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimahir was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep oh. even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. It's been an hour. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another this second is wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Oh, we can be a dickhead. Do it yourself, then? Captain, you are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Him here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. Okay. First off, we said we needed the key ages ago. And you said no. That's not my fault. What is my fault is not noticing that we needed to be using the pin stuff and it's not just a helpful or a self reminder. <laughs> I thought it was like telling us that that was the evidence of strand because the strand happened to be the correct evidence as well, which I think really threw us off. Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. Roy Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? I mean, possibly. Oh, there's more on this. There. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, <laughs> Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. And we had that newspaper report about the saltpeter accident in the harbor mm. from that ship. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather.
Now can we look at the wall? At the wall? Oh, no, no. I don't think he went over the wall in the end because we... No, he must have done. Okay, can we... Can we do the thing with the thing? No, I mean, never mind. Let's just let's just cycle through this. Let's just do this one first. None of these are pinnable. We don't have any pinnable clues at the moment. No, it's pinned when it's up there. And I, it just doesn't have the little thumbtack thing. Yeah, the thumbtack thing it means it's necessary to progress through the story. If the thumbtack thing is there, it is a key item that we need to do. Well, don't put Mr. Barnes up there then. Mr. Barnes's face. We don't, I don't really think we need anything pinned at the moment. I'll be honest with you. We've already looked at this floor here. Oh, there's something else here, actually. Here we go. Is that a poo? A large pile of horse droppings. Yes. Pretzel's like, oh my god, dinner is served. Pretzel doesn't eat horse poo, she just rolls around in it. Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. So there's probably two people, right? Like the driver and the car, the car person, maybe, is a separate thing. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone. I'm glad already Watson, said that, Watson. I'm glad Watson thinks the guy's a dickhead as well now, though. Okay, so we have quite a bit more evidence. Maybe we should go and tell Stenwick? I don't know if that's going to be enough. There might still be something else there, but... I don't think it's enough. Oh, I tell you what we should do, actually. This. Um, well, it was... Okay, um... We have a Sailor's Knot, the calling card. Which one do you think it is? Not that. Apparently, both of those were wrong. Sailor's Knot? Says it's the docks, maybe? And then we have... Abductor's Trail. That makes more sense, right, for the trail to lead. No! What the fuck? <laughs> I feel I feel like this. I don't really understand how this works properly. Okay, the wallet was right. So where does the trail end? Just through the door? Whatever it is, we don't know yet for this one. Notable features of the abductor. All right, okay. first time on that one. Kimmy here was kidnapped by a sailor. A particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints is a working man's boot. They all add us one conclusion. Kimmy here is abducted as a sailor. Now we can apply that to this one, I think. You know, as an observation. Abductor is a sailor. There we go. There we go. There we go. All evidence points to the Port of London. We are now like know that Kimmy here's kidnapper is most likely a sailor, and his wallet be bears saltpeter residue. And there was a recent saltpeter accident in the Port of London. We read the paper. Everything suggests that to find Kimmy here, we must head to the Port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the Port of London immediately. All right, let's go. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor. Do you recall? The Port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass, indeed. We shall need to take a cab there. There's a cab here? Just steal the cab. Depart this location. Sure. Where to go? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. We finished the section. Oh my god. <laughs> Off we go. Chapter 2. The Blood Red Knight. It took us a long time to get here. <laughs> All right, here we Mr. go. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. On kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that, 
Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. The hydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? For fun, I think. Right? Yes, fun and profit. The Cursed Mermaid is the location which is found. Sherlock can ask bystanders about with a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case, but can pin the evidence, then speak to someone. Try that now with the calling card. Okay, we got rid of all the evidence now except the calling card. And something else that I didn't look at. Hi. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, you are fortunate. I will help you. The man wanders closely to the dockyard. Okay. Okay, so if it's got a speech mark next to it, it means we can talk to people about it. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I mean, someone literally just gave me kind of an answer, so you're wrong. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. Shut up, Watson. I've seen worse. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. We need help finding a man. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Just observe her, I guess. Not creepy at all. Pale. She's got chap lips. Her belly is a bit distended. Oh, they glow. I didn't even notice that before. Morning sickness. There's like yellow sparkles around them. Oh my god. Wait, you haven't noticed that? That's the first time I noticed them in the <laughs> whole game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Trousers. A little too tight. Alright, you're pregnant. The barmaid's in the early stages of pregnancy, hence a slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chap lips and pale face indicate lack of proper nutrition. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy. She keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are now tight, or she's trying to hide it. I don't think she's trying to hide it. I'm going to say she's unaware of her pregnancy, okay? Oh, God. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, Oh, she knew. Oh, oh my no, God. <laughs> without your help. <sighs> in a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, <laughs> not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. Would rather not discuss my condition. Oh, she was trying to hide it. let word yeah. of it spread. Oh, we didn't get the bonus points. <laughs> well, you usually can tell. Are you familiar if your with stomach Roy is distended? Salsby? That's Roy fair. Salsby? Hmm. <laughs> I know the name. But he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Okay. Well, that's all the evidence that she wants that we can get from her. I hear a kitty cat. And there's two doors going in. There's pictures over here. Let's go and look at them. Oh, apparently she has more, maybe. I don't know. Tickets to Oakmont, Massachusetts still available. Charon will depart next Tuesday from Pier Number 2. Will destroy pests of any kind of complexity. Accepted payment cash. Ask for Javant. Hello, Javesh. Meeting for a week. Please tell if you see him. Ask Dyer in Port Shantytown. Reg rag over house entrance. It's about a missing person. That could be important. So, red rag over a house entrance. There, we've got someone missing there. Anything else? Let's ask her about everything, I guess. Doesn't look like anything to me. Have you been drinking? What do you know about this poster? 
A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Hmm, interesting. All right. What is this? The game just crashed. Had a little game crash, but it's okay. Everything looks like it's back. Yeah, more or less. Are you able to help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. That was a Welsh accent, unfortunately. The crying lady might be something to do with the missing poster. Where is she? I didn't see her. W literally in the door. In the door. In the door. In the doorway. No. I don't see the doorway! What we came out of! Really? Yes. To your right. Oh, hi. Could you help me? No, sorry. I know nothing. She's still crying while that's going on. Help me, please. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you crying? I was Why? ask about both. I need to remember that. Well, you can ask about it, Britain. Well, yeah, but these ones are marked with key story point okay, parts. Like, you okay, need to talk to okay. people about them to get to progress. Okay. I'm not going to ask about things unless they're relevant. You can know I ask what? A question? No, sorry, I know nothing. Help me, please. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. Not very helpful, these people. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is the other side of the pub? Maybe. Yeah, it is. So, it can be usually found in the dockyard. I guess we should head towards the dockyard and then take it from there. I guess so. Excuse me, just one question. As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Does no one actually know him? Is this just a lie? That it's actually possible to get evidence from people? Do I really have to click on everyone? This is a dockyard, right? I'm not being an idiot. Maybe, maybe not. Hello? There's loads of... Oh, there's trains and shit over there. I guess that looks much more plausible than, uh, than the other way. Alright, here we go. Hopefully this takes us no somewhere interesting, maybe? Maybe. M -b 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 I have absolutely no idea where I'm going right now. Boats! Boats are in docks! Yes! Progress! <laughs> Boats are things that you would sometimes find in a dock. You there, sir. Help Isn't me. Familiar to you? Oh, you are fortunate. I will help you. Good. People say that Mr. Salisbury have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the pier. Okay. Were we just on the pier? Pier three. Well, there's a guy in a hat here standing out, so it could be him. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Are you Roy Salsby? Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Uh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire <laughs> about missing you see Watson? people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. Hmm. Who else asked about missing people? You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up we everywhere. Need to find her. She has badgered me twice now. But I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Uh, what are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. 
I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Now, where was I? Now, where was I? Um, we should probably present him the thing we found with his name on it, right? Probably. The Salisbury's calling card. Have you seen this before? M my card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? I mean, that was not convincing, I'm not gonna lie. But let's observe him. Many stamp ink stains. HM Customs, that is. So he's, I guess he travels frequently on boats. Five foot five tall is average height. Is that average? I thought it was quite small. Are you five well, foot five, Pepe? No, I'm, I'm five two or five three. Oh my god. Tiny Bevan Nomkin. <laughs> Waltham Hillside Pocket Watch, mint and solid gold. No muscle tone, so he's not brawny. He is English, blood around five foot five, and has average build. His lack of muscle tone implies he's hardly strong. Mr. Salisbury does not look like him if he is abductor. His left palm bears visible stamping stains, and this remain visible. HM Customs. Apparently, Mr. Salisbury is the customs officer. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt customs officer could afford that sort of thing. Or he's a thief. I think he's probably the corrupt officer. Otherwise, why would he be caring about the boat as well? And stuff like that. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. So yeah, he definitely is the customs officer. Okay. So we got that right. At the moment, we don't have anything... We, don't, we can't talk to anyone else about that now. We don't need to. The missing persons poster, though, is still important. A red rag hangs around the entrance, and it's in the Shantytown district. You were there earlier, right? Briefly, where the woman was crying. Yeah, we were. Hello? Oh, we should say. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Hmm, where was your brother last seen? Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Where is the necklace? Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Gidaves? Gidaves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Is Daya here? I want to speak to Daya. Is she around? Alma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. What does Salisbury look like? How would you describe this Salisbury? He was... big and strong. Um... He had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes. Like... uh... Like it was made of... Metal. Don't go anywhere. Okay, very quickly, let's save, first of all. Yes. However, someone is impersonating Roy Salisbury, because Roy Salisbury does not match that description yeah. whatsoever, first of all. He said the necklace was on the shrine. I guess this is it. Maybe here? Is this the shrine? I don't know. Well, it looks like a shrine. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? Probably not, I'm going to be honest with you. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Okay. So we got the uh, ammonite pendant as well. Okay. So warehouse... We should probably talk to Roy first about the impersonation. But then the warehouse district is where he was working, right? When he went mm. missing. So let's go back to the Pier 3. Mm and talk to... We, can, we have got Mind Palace stuff as well. Oh my god, just running along the pier, don't mind us. 
What are you gawping at? Your face. Um, let's do... Nepalese boy's testimony. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. I mean, he clearly doesn't have a metal eye, right? I wonder why people are going missing. Puts a man on edge, you know. Okay, so it's definitely not him, and he knows nothing about it. Okay, there we go. No anyone with a metallic eye. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. Where is he? I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Okay. What other evidence do we have? Do you think we can show her? Apparently we have something that's worthwhile. Oh, do you think it saved this? It's worth a shot, right? What do you know about this poster? A foreign it woman didn't. asked to put it, it didn't, up. Yeah. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Okay, that was it for now. Okay, can we save? Yes, we can. In case it crashes again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe we should ask Roy about the... Um... Okay, so now that's gone. The question, the the the, um, the conversation bubble above the Nepalese boy question testimony is now gone, which means that we have no one to question about it now. Okay. Let's go here. Who abducted Kamiha? Uh, we haven't got enough evidence for this yet. I don't think at all. What's this one? Where is Kamiha? Hmm. I don't think any of these are going to be particularly useful, but let's see if any of these count. Nope, absolutely none of them. Let's just forget this for now. I guess we should go and ask Roy perhaps about Dirty Summers is his name, was it? Who abducted Camille, right? We got the character por character portrait by my is wrong, right? So we need. Who abducted him, yeah? We have... Barmaid's testimony is definitely right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nepalese voice testimony maybe as well. Foreign woman. And what would the this one be? His disappearance in general? Let's just try that quickly. Two of those were right. Okay. So, we have one yellow and one green left. I don't think we have the, the correct evidence, unfortunately, because I don't think it's going to be character portrait role souls boy, right? Oh my god, it was! Oh, yay, we did! Dirty Summers is the abductor. That's what we had to do. Dirty Summers is Camille's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Salisbury could be Summers' accomplice. Okay. So we now have that as evidence. Maybe we can ask around with it, but first of all, I'm going to have a quick look at this one, too. Where is Kimmy here? Um... We don't really know, I don't think, but... Oh, I don't like the fact that it, it did that again. But yeah, we don't have enough evidence to try even, you know, even try. Okay. Alright, never mind. However, we now have a new bit of evidence, right? So let's see if we can do anything with that in this. There we go, we can ask people about the abduct around the docks now. Mm. We did it! Mm. It's a bit convoluted, but at least we figured out what to do. Mm. What are you gawping at? Confront him. Okay, I don't know what about. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? I'm not really sure he does, actually, I would be honest with you. How do I fit in all That's this? Wrong. Sorry, you lost me there. No, you need to follow along with the thing. Okay, I didn't Mr. understand Soulsby, that. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? What is the crime? Who is the criminal? Choose the evidence. 
And then, um, you need to do... I, I don't think this guy's got anything to do with it, really, right? What is the crime? This, the disappearance? Yes, it would be. Or the abduction? A man named That's Dirty right. Summers yeah. was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Okay. So, what is Soulsby's connection to the crime? The calling card, right? Mm. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. <laughs> you cannot be serious. And then finally, what is Soulsby's secret? Okay, I don't know this. That he's corrupt? Maybe. It's true. Yes! And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Salisbury. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I use red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Oh, we got so much more information now. Bebin Nomkin. We did it. Yeah, we did it. We worked together then, baby. That was very normal. Okay, so we can still talk to people about Kimi here as a doctor. Maybe at the bar would be a good place to start. Maybe some of his crew will be there. <sighs> he did say that, right? I'm not imagining. Hmm. I don't... Oh, we can confront her as well. Okay. Do you want me to? I mean, if it gives you the option, maybe. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Okay, so what is the crime? Who is the criminal? Again. We have character portrait, the barmaid, missing person poster, Salisbury's calling card. Summers? Okay, Dirty Summers, right? Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Okay. How is the bartender connected to it? Maybe. That'll be Roy's testimony, right? Because he frequents the Cursed Mermaid pub. Yeah. A customs officer, Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. And what is the bartender's secret? She's pregnant. Yeah. If the lives of the missing you do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Oh, wow. Are you threatening me? Perish the thought. Now, what do you think? Many people are missing, and the main suspect based himself in your establishment. One word to Scotland Yard, and your life takes a turn for the worse. Now, spare yourself the trouble, and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. But we found Nom Tings. Well, maybe not Nom, it could be really bum, actually. I'm yeah. guessing this is his private room. Okay. So first of all, let's find some basic evidence. Oh, we might we have... want to save soon. I will save after this. Fresh scratches, deeply carved. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. They're Lovecraftian Scratch. symbols. <laughs> but, but they're Lovecraftian! Which means HP Lovecraft was right here! In this room. In this room! In this room! Right? Yes. Invoice for Sailcloth, the Parker and Williams Co, Manchester. 
Um, it's just a cargo invoice. High quality sailcloth. Nothing too suspicious, you know? Mm. Five shillings. That won't go far. I mean, you could bribe five children with it. <laughs> <laughs> the job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Dirty Summers hires men in the pub's private room. The crates are going to have people in, aren't they? Probably. I suspect he might be a jam monger, but being that's not numb. What's this? The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Oh, it's the same picture from uh, Barnes's bookshop. I did just say, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now, more evidence. Any of it useful, though? No, hiring notice, we can't do anything with it. Invoice for sale cloth. 50 crates of sale cloth and strange symbols. None of them are, like, usable in other situations. I mean, that could be all that's in here, but I don't know. I don't see anything else, do you? How dare you still? Watson doesn't really do anything except get in the way, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I liked him more when he was slender Watson, teleporting everywhere. <laughs> You'd be like this, and you turn around and he'd be like, right behind you, like, point blank. Alright. Shall we take our leave? I wonder if I could ask her anything else. Provide evidence, apparently. Hiring notice, that seems likely. What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colours, but always strong. Always tall. They seem like workers, or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. Okay, that's all he's got. Oh, we got a disguise, worker's apron. <laughs> oh no, does that mean we need to put it on? Probably. And <laughs> keep the top hat on. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. Armor, blimey, armor, just a normal dock worker. Well, there's a, at least you're not a bricklayer. That's a, that's a dangerous profession. That is true. Before I touch a door in this place, I'm going to save again because I don't trust Get it. Get shot in the face because people think you're a ghost. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Very hazardous. And it was in this era, too, right? Yep. Wow. All right, so I don't know if I should be going to the warehouse district yet, but... Oh. Oh. Mine Palace updated again as well. Let's have a quick look. Where is he? Um, Roy Salisbury's testimony, perhaps. Invoice for sale cloth. Okay, two of those are right. Um, hiring notice, right? Yeah! Yay! In a warehouse holding sales and marked with red paint. We saw that in the district. Dirty Summers has hired men for warehouse work, specifically to carry crates of sailcloth. The abductee should still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. We saw that. I saw a warehouse with red paint. Okay. Everything's coming together, baby, like a beautiful jam sandwich. No, my goodness. I don't like jam sandwiches, but imagine it's a really beautiful one. It's this one. Wrong warehouse. Nothing to see Hang here. Hang on, it is... Wait, 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 what? It's literally marked with red paint. Do you need to have it up? Let's have a look. Because it was doing the thing again. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It does indeed. Wrong warehouse. I guess it isn't Nothing that one, though. Here. I guess there must be a jammier warehouse somewhere. I wonder if it's the one that we saw with the door before? It doesn't look jammy, does it? No. If you, Bubba, mm. were a notorious jam bunger, mm. would you leave a trail of jam for a detective to follow to your jam base or not? No, because if I was a proper jam monger, I wouldn't let any of the product fall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. It can cost you millions, right? Yes, but the problem with jam mongering is that 
it's a very messy business. Very sticky. Very sticky, and and sometimes some of your product will fall. Oh no! And it's very bum when that happens. Oh, it's a lot picking mini game. Oh, these are great. <laughs> I did do these in the demo, so I think I'll sh I should be all right. So what you have to do, right, is from what I remember, hang on, bend this, right, okay, to match the inside of the lock. So we want one up, sorry, two up, one up, it'll be oh. <laughs> two up, one up, three up, let's try that. So... Okay, that's completely wrong. <laughs> It was the other way around. <laughs> so we want three up in the middle. Two up on the side? Wait, yeah. how many did you do in the front okay, first so one? That one down one, that one up two, that one up one. Let's try that. Okay, close, just one, right? In one, the middle, in go the middle, one up. up more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> Wait till we have a seven prong one of those later on. <laughs> Lose our mind. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Is it? I think you're just bored, dude. This crank saw some use. Okay. But is it cranky? The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Very bad, but I can't condone what you just said. I was waiting, and you didn't even look at me. <laughs> I love you. I was hopeful. I love you. And you just turned me away. Listen, there's a jam monger in a foot. Dried mud, port of London soil. I will say, I was enjoying your uh, your jam mongering uh, description there. There are a couple of marks on this end. Okay. Someone crowbarred this window open, I guess. Did they run away? I mean, possibly. Did they Did they decide the life of a jam monger is no life at all? <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> but, oh, there we go. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. Okay. I have no idea what happened here, I'm going to tell you that right now. Well, somebody crowed barred the window open. How dare they? They must be trying to get the gems. That must be what's stored here, right? Nothing else. Yeah. Well oiled and well maintained. There's a handprint. for a crank. But it doesn't look like the handprint is evidence, even though it's creepy. It's not. If someone's like, someone with a hand was here. That's what he'd say. That's what Holmes would say. Can we take the crank now? Yes. We had to find where the crank went, then take the crank to the crank hole and crank the hole. Oh, Watson apparently has found something. Um, possibly death if he goes underneath that thing. <sighs> what Watson? It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. What the fuck? A hidden passage. Oh, a secret door. Just as I expected. Depart this location? Sure. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. I'm sure this will, will be do. completely safe. Be careful down there. This is gonna be bad. I think we may have found the jam factory itself, the very core. Who the fuck would have built this under the warehouse, by the way? I mean, this was probably already here. And they just put the warehouse on top of it? Yeah. Wait, what's happening? It's Cthulhu! Oh my god. My brain is thinking out my ear, what do I do? Is oh it? god! I'm dying! Now we're dead. Oh wow. See? I it told literally you! Was. It's a Cthulhu! What? What is this place? Where am I? What's it's my... because he was like, oh, you can't be superstitious. Something is missing. Did you know the Cthulhu's favorite type of jam is apple? 
This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? The no. only way forward is the abyss, sorry. The only way forward. Oh, he's going to say it as well. Yes. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> is that like we need to jump off? I think you just killed yourself for no reason. Nope. I read the clue. Phew. I didn't die. Oh. Well, I didn't see a clue. The clue was to the abyss. It is icy cold abyss. and pulsating. Oh, see, I'm, I'm not good with clues. Yeah, no, Ken, it's okay. Now this, I don't know where to go. Woo! <laughs> now we oh. have the thing to put in the machine. Oh, my goodness. My heart, be calm. Uh, I don't like the bone noises when we fall, by the way. I mean, we are breaking every bone in our body. Oh, God. Oh. The man's! Is it timed? It looks like it, yeah. Oh, hang on, is that... Oh, there's this. Short stride, boot prints. I understand completely. As do everyone watching this video. I'm gonna go... Oh, no. Is every time we do it, something gonna fall? I'm sorry, mains. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's just teasing me. It's only when you run. Oh, is it telling you to walk, not run? Yeah, you have to walk. That's why it's a short stride. Oh, you're right. Dude, he doesn't want you running in the halls. No running in the halls. No running in the jam. Now I am somewhere else. It's harder to breathe here. None of this stuff was in the original, by the way. Well, I mean, it's Cthulhu, so it, it makes sense for it to be here. Oh my god, it's an eyeball. Hi. Oh, it hides when you do that? Look. Yeah. It doesn't want you to look at it's like it. It stares right through me. Well, that's just rude. I hear something here. You hear that? No. That's where the bunk is. Oh. Did you see this? Like, depending on my position, this moves. Hmm. Oh, is it because I'm looking at the eye? Hmm. I think it's just teasing you. Yeah, it's the further away I go. Huh. This is, uh... This is interesting. I don't see anywhere else to go necessarily. What is that? Oh, hello. It's a friend. We shall call it Numkin. Is it a Numkin though? Look at its little face. Look. Look at it. It means it's trying its best just to be numb. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this bridge puzzle though at all. Oh! Oh! I can't believe it! Baby. What? You almost solved it. Cut back. Mm -hmm. This. Oh no! There you go. Unspeakably revolting. It spits you out where to go. Oh. Okay. Which is very rude of it, if you think about it, in the grand scheme of things. Because, like... That's probably his bum. Don't you think? No. Baby, listen. As an expert, expert on Lovecraftian entities... Okay, well, I was kind of right. That you had to be up here. Yeah. But I'm not how sure. Do we get, how do we get how... to stay? 
if there's something here. Do you go up a level? That looks like you might be able to, yeah. Oh, here. Yep. There we go. We have to stand on the button. And we know how to open the door already. Maybe don't get... Don't get stuck. Listen. I'm just a little Sherlock, okay? Okay, let me look. Let me just, uh, let me just back up into it. My head is already spinning. When will this end? Oh, come on. You're there are okay. two recesses. Okay, so we need two machines to open the big doors. He's such a naughty nomkin. Like, if I was Sherlock, I'd be like, oh my god, obviously I need to go into this mouth. What kind of trickery is this? Oh, fuck. It's a loopy loop shit. Alright, let's try this one first. You gotta try your best. Go through all the loops. On my head. What just happened? Uh, not a lot. I wonder if the symbols on it mean anything. Probably. Maybe. Possibly, who knows? Maybe, who, knows? Who, who, who knows? Who dares to dream? Do we have to go through them in a certain order? Oh, here. A jam monger left a clue. Oh my goodness. Size 9, clear edges, bogna faf eyes. Okay. What was that noise? It's rather frustrating. Okay. What what was the relevance of that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just look for green. I'll just try them all over again, I guess, one at a time. No green there. Nope. Okay. No green here. Oh, nope. Yep, here. Okay, go the opposite way then. Size 9 boot prints. Blah, 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 blah. I'm guessing the, the word is like... Uh... What? Go back. Don't make the eye close. Don't you like I threw? Yes? No? I can't tell if that's different. I'm gonna go through the door behind me backwards with the eye closed. Okay? Okay. Probably won't do anything, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, that works. Yay! We got one of the things. Oh my god. Progress. Okay, Sherlock. Just because I didn't look at the exact pixel on this, doesn't mean that you shouldn't Strange take it. Stone. It almost feels alive. Are these tentacles? They are. Do you think, should, do you think Cthulhu sheds tentacles? Mm, maybe. You know, like a... Like a Trying to think of something that sheds. I mean, I know things that can forgo the tails, but I don't think I know of anything that sheds tentacles. No, but I'm thinking about other creatures that do things. Well, now you just not make it sense backwards. There's no eyeball though. But that's where it's going. Oh. Just had to walk through Oh, that's just on. truly revolting. <laughs> that was a lot easier. There was no eyeball playing around with this. Fullness. Messing with this. What is messing with me is where the fuck is the thing that I need to look at. There it is. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart. There's George. He works very hot. So hot. Helps out the community and everything, you know what I mean? So no. It's very no of him. Oh my god. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we have to stand on this. Sherlock! Don't get stuck. You rudekin. So rude. We did it. Are we is trapped now? No, is it, is it we, got a, we got a lantern. Somehow. Where did, where did we get that from? Did I get out? That might be our friend we're looking for, I think. 
Oh no, he's alive. John? What is it, Holmes? Oh shit, we're playing with Watson. Why is there an eyeball on the side of the screen there? I don't know. We haven't played this in before, this is new. Just go down, I guess. To illuminate something with your lantern, hold down Holmes, right click. Where are you? This lantern is shit! Oh, he's here. Gog, 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 gog. Holmes! Holmes! Are you alright? Uh. Fine. Watson, um. I, I, I'm. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. You have a beard. It looks like he looks like he hasn't slept for days now. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. TFW, the cocaine will pay us off. Something that's finally interesting. Are you gonna comment on the fact that you have a beard all of a sudden? No, oh, got a lot to go on with here. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. Okay. Needle prick. So he was sedated. His abdomen is severely bloated. Oh no. Well, yeah. Cyanosis he's of the lips, marks on the neck. This he wasn't. man was strangled. His eyebrows are rippling. Oh, okay. So we got like a. We need to get a lot more evidence. It looks like. Are you telling me this is a Cthulhu game and they're not drowned? Mud. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? That feeling when you need to, huh? Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. <laughs> oh, Lakov. <laughs> Got him. I love you, baby. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Just I'm getting... Keep, just keep playing the game. I'm getting a murderous look right now. Blood and human hair. Okay. Before we do these, we should try and find all the different scenarios, right? Mm. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. I mean, I feel like they should have been able to. This box contained a narcotic substance. Much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. You could tell that just by a little... Black Edelweiss Institute yeah. established 17-something. Okay. Otherwise, just Watson's just wandering around saying nothing at the moment. Yo. Yeah. People were sleeping down here, like, lots, lots of them, actually. Jesus. Too late? Okay, I didn't know that. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Well, it gave us a lot more clues, apparently, that did, so uh, good for them. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Okay. They were just doing a bunch of opium, really, it looks like. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there wasn't much else to do in Victorian times, to be honest with you. I think there was once a race to see where a drop of water from a rainstorm would hit first. Well, the things we did before the internet, huh? <laughs> oh, these must be Kickstarter backers. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is terrifying. When do they have, like, these pictures taken? Who are these people? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't possibly tell you, Watson. <laughs> That's fun. I keep forgetting this was done completely on Kickstarter. This is probably one of the best things that I've seen finished as a finished product from on Kickstarter, I will say that. Scratches, bloodstains, torn fingernail. Oh, they were trying to get out of the coffin. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. Oh, that's depressing. Me, you know. A small bloodstain, but not serious. Oh, I'm so glad they were okay. When they got buried alive. When they got buried alive. Well, I'm guessing they were shipping them on boats in these, perhaps? Oh, yeah. But 
I like my thing better. <laughs> As it could mean. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. It would be impossible, Bubba. So impossible. Impossible. Anything else in here? Well, I mean, there's got to be, right? Mm. Here. Uh, victim's clothes, I guess. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. I don't think they were having a good time either. Dumpra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Oh. Gathered from dozens of people, at the very least. That's the one from the missing person poster, right? Yeah. We're missing one or two pieces of evidence still. But not a lot else. Miserable food. Mass produced. I like crap! <laughs> What's wrong with the crab? Well, look at it, sweetie. It's a point of interaction. Yeah, well, that's what it does. Mass produced. I wish there was a different symbol for where you could zoom in and where you could not. Oh, potent. Oh, we were saying that. This sensor has more narcotic residues. It, it is. I feel like they need to be. They should be bigger and bolder. The investigation points. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. Oh, I tell you what, it could be. It might be uh, a pin one. Although we haven't had the pin thing pop up, did we? Okay, no. None of them are pinnable. Oh, hi! Hey, y'all! Did you hear that, Watson? I, uh, I hear you. What that was, Nom? Kjarnak, Flegethor, Lebumna, Siaha. I think this is the first time I have played a Lovecraftian game where the Lovecraftian dialogue was it? actually spoken. Because usually I'm just like, oh, <coughs> look at this! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is like, you know, gobbledygook. I can't see any more points of interest, but there's got to be some. Right? Maybe. Maybe the Mind Palace? But I usually I think you'd solve these to get the Mind Palace done. Who is the dead man on the altar? Hmm. Well, it's not an item, so... Let's have a look. Strange symbols? Probably not, right? Unknown man on the altar. <laughs> As the first clue. How about... Foreign woman and Nepalese boy's testimony? No. Any of these, right? Okay, one was right. I doubt it's any of these, right? Probably not. Nah, it's just one of them so far. Um, okay. So we definitely need to keep finding shit. This is where the game is a bit weak. Because, like, you know, it's really hard to find stuff. Like, even with using that zappy thing. Like, why is this still yellow? Finglui, Maglanafa, Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Fatagan. What? What? On, what's on earth? How is that possible? Oh, Watson heard it too this time. Oh, I just got the trophy. Curiosity killed the cat. I think you're the one saying it. Here we go. By but the I way. don't know. United States of America. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Yeah, use a pen next time. An American passport. Amos Colby. Could be our victim. Hair color red, eye color brown, date and place of birth, Boston, Massachusetts, date of entry into country, September 22nd, 1882. The back of the passport features a blood drawing. It vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Hmm. Northwood Agency, any matter of discreet investigations. For your search, we for you, we will search the world. And it's in Boston, Massachusetts. We have a sacrificial dagger. Old blood stains. Used in the jam I've making process. Never seen a pattern like this before. It's it's Cthulhu's face. Like, At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. Oh, and oh we found those. it's uh, it's um the same as what's his face. Yep. So I guess you get marked by having one of those. Potentially, or they use it as a way of convincing people to sign up. 
maybe? Or lure, you know, lure them here. Because they think it's probably worth something. Because he said it was silver, right? But it was tin. Hang on, so how are these? Are these done now? Yeah, these are ready. We can do it. We can piece together the scene. Mm. Okay. Alright, time to piece together. Let's have a look at each one, one at a time. So this is where there was blood on the wall and shit, right? Oh, who we meant? Who is who is that? I do not know. Well, the rope was it said was cut by an even finer blade, right? Yeah. Hang on. I need to look at the scene again because I've forgotten. What did it say exactly? Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. Yeah. These clothes were crudely. Oh, it's cut Amos Colby. An American, judging by the style. Okay, so this must be Amos Colby because he's the American passport that's here as well. So I think you're right. I think it's this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is. I think that's him on the altar, by the way. Mm. But um. Strangling him, or stabbing him. He was strangled, right? Yeah, he was strangled, it said. So there you go. Those mannequins, they get up to no good, Bubby. Yeah, they're so rude. So naughty. So here's the person in the coffin. Two possible scenarios. Okay. Or... Uh They hurt themselves, right? I feel like that's more likely, right? Probably. If we're wrong, we can always go again. Okay, so this is the pile of clothes. Unless it So go ahead. What are you gonna say? I... what? They're both pretty hard to tell what's going on, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's this one, because the clothes are being ripped off. Because mm. so they were torn, right, forcibly. Yeah. And the other ones were them just like going, yay, clothes! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty weird. Okay. Or... Well, there's lots of beds, so... Probably a few. Of them. I'm gonna validate and see what happens. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Okay, we got it right. First time. Yeah! Yay! Uh, what, what the hell is happening, Holmes? Yeah, his belly was Calm extended. yourself. Oh. Cannot be. Eels? What is it? Something oh you don't want to touch you? God. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Okay. We should probably do the Mind Palace, right? Mm. Who is dead on the altar? Unknown man on the altar and two yellow. So we have... Uh, 
Oh, two green ones we need, sorry. So we need... The passport. Yes. And maybe the advertisement flyer? I think so. Yee! Baby, you're smart! Mm. You've helped us get through a lot of this. Romani Otter was a private detective from the Northwood Agency in Boston. Mr. Colby may have been investigating the disappearances before getting caught and killed by the perpetrators. Where have the abducted been sent to? We found that thing about the Edelweiss Institute. Where was that, though? Was it the advertisement flyer? No, it's not. It's none of these. Okay. We have missing person post. A tin box with Edelweiss. That's the blue. Hmm. Cross inside a rectangle? I have no idea. I'm just gonna try this and just see what we get, first of all. Okay, so two were right. So one more of these is correct, but I don't know which one. Strange symbols, maybe? Nope. Yes! Black Edelweiss Institute in Switzerland is where they have been abducted to and sent. Oh my god, how rude. And we're finished with the Mind Palace for this act. You might want to save. I did it. Oh my goodness. Some key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your case book with C and highlight evidence marked with an open book and press space to start your research in the archives. Okay, so it's just this one, the abductor's route. Okay, so location is Europe, date of establishment, 1700s, field of activity, medicine, type of organization, private facility. Well, is this going to be enough, do you think? Location, date of establishment, field of activity. I think I'm going to get rid of date of establishment. I oh, know. The Black Edelweiss Institute is an interlock in Sweden. Established in 789 by Professor Keller, the Institute specializes in mental illness and addictions. It is currently headed by Professor Gygax. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Oh my god, we're on a train now. This is the demo. So I actually know what I'm doing for a bit. Oh my god. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged, and I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. Is he the logic crying? seems inescapable. He is, yeah. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Patrick was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? <laughs> Stiff up a lip. <laughs> that literally is what you just said, basically. People would have said that a lot in that era, too. <sighs> oh, 
I will say visually this is a very nice game. Mm. The models fall back when you do in the observe thing though. Yeah. You can tell it's indie. I mean the Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. I will say, I love you, buddy. That is all I'm going to say. Chapter 3, The Mountains of Madness. That's a Lovecraft book. Oh my god. The Edelweiss Institute. I thought if they all were so far, actually, I just don't know all the names. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Alright, playing as Watson. Do you think we should change our outfit very quickly? You can't change here. Um, who is that? That I... is Sherlock. In a disguise. <laughs> Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? That is correct. At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, Peter. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. Remarkable. <sighs> My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. Is Sherlock? The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. That man there is a fraud. That man? Well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to get wish to, to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... Ah! 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 There is no need to be a No one gets me Did we fuck up? No, it's meant to happen. So this was their whole plan. Now, now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? All she needs to do is rip off the moustache. Seriously. Then take him to the holding chamber. I need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> 
So that's all part of their plan to get him inside this place secretly, just for the record. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Fortunately, we are a lockpicking genius, as we already know. I like how they didn't just take our lockpicking tools away. That would be... They very kindly left them with us. I actually didn't look at the thing at all. I'm just guessing and seeing what we get. Okay, so down two, up two, down one. I mean, you don't have to reset it. Just alter the ones that are wrong. There we go. Yeah. I'm pretty good at that, actually. Mm. So yeah, this entire section here was in the demo. A truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse. And here we are at the holding chamber. Oh my god, Bebe Numkin. Investigation scene has been found. Well, I guess it's time to start investigating. So... I know what to do here, so we'll hopefully get through this relatively quickly in comparison to us spending ages on that first puzzle. More materials used to formulate medicine. The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Oh, that would be rude. That would be very rude. It's like Cthulhu brand medicine. Take this, it's fine. <laughs> it's so delicious. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Any, baby. Any at all. We have patient Eloise K with dermatillomania. A country nail trimming every day. You do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. Patient is Mozario H. Mania, disassociation. After the incident with nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Mention Josephine to make him more manageable. Uh, Mariana W, diagnosis hysteria, keeps raising the dosage until she forgets the child. The stupor is quite acceptable. Patient is Nils J, nervous breakdown, do not let any visits. All letters sent to patient must be destroyed. They seem nice caring people. Jeez. You know? Well, I mean, asylums were... Oh, I mean, asylums are still bad these oh, days. Oh. oh shit, sorry. I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon! <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. <laughs> my heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boy. Oh, another one. What were you saying about asylums? I mean, they're horrible places, but... I... They're just horrible. But I was saying that, like, they were especially horrible back in these times. Or even up until the 70s, I think. There was that big, um... At least in America, I don't know about here. At least I think it was America. There was a big scandal and a research done about I think one specific one was so bad that it was just like uh, big news I think if I'm remembering correctly I might not be I'm pretty good at these the lockpicking genius the Moongaminx strikes again. That would be my crime name. No one would know it was me, but Of course. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker. 
for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Hmm. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. He anything? keeps saying anything. He likes to exaggerate. It's like Gordon Ramsay. It's like you. <laughs> I don't exaggerate. Gordon Ramsay does. He's like, this is the worst food I've ever eaten ever. I can make out the names listed here. I can make out the names listed here. Are okay. you, would you like to tell this us? This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Oh, we took it anyway. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? How dare you call them that? Looks like it's still operational. A working dumbwaiter. Speech and the cerebellum by S.A. Becker. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. Oh, yes. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly. It appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Oh, I got a trophy for looking at all those books. Oh, well, you know. Oh, I should probably actually one second. Let me use the thing in here just to make sure. I don't think there's any of this a little later on in this section because I remember getting the tutorial for it, but we didn't look in this drawer. A note from Professor Becker. Professor Gygax, I suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequence of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended before I even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice. If you so boldly claim you wish to be the future of my facility, you must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again. Professor Becker, director of Black Edelweiss. So this was the former Black person. So he's probably dead. Oh yeah. And we also have something else here. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. We're going to need those in a minute, but not for a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like the fact you can just run around, by the way, with almost no consequences here. We have a syringe, Baby Nokin. This too. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Very no. What was that? Is someone there? No. So we can't go to block B here, you see. As it stands. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what we need to do <laughs> is disable the guard. From what I recall, in the most ridiculous way possible. Aha! We haven't been up here yet. Oh wow, this is where we were being tortured. Well, not tortured, but like, you know, poked a bit. Is that the polite way of putting it? Maybe. There we this go. sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. I completely missed that door. Okay, so we now have the last bit of this. So, a bottle of sedative. Use a handmade blowpipe with a sedative, of course. It could possibly sedate the guard from the distance using a handmade blowpipe. Perhaps one of the tubes from the storage room would suit. Isn't that lovely? Mm. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. But what if it was really comfy? Like, what if it had, like, you know, a massage, all that stuff? Don't know. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. No. I mean, honestly, Watson's probably Darn. dead too. No way I can get past him without being noticed. I mean, he exposed this, so maybe he looks innocent in that regard. Mm. I mean, it, they'd be idiots to think that. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. All right. Let's go and grab the blowpipe and give him a good one-two blow. All right, that's what they call it. Mm. Did you know that? Okay. The one-two blow? No. I don't like the fact I have to find a pistol on point. it to find it every time. You mean for him to register it as a thing? Yeah. I just want to be like... Well, I know it's a pipe. Anyway, let's knock him out. Oh shit. Got him. That was kind of panic there. I didn't realize what was going on. Okay. We won! Oh god, I'm stuck. Any keys? 
This should be enough to avoid oh. unwanted attention. Where's his body? In the distance. Did we eat him? Yes. Makes sense. Manufactured and packaged here. Manufactured and packaged here. Is it going to be the opioids? This is the same yeah. narcotic substance that we found in London. That's very sussy, baby. That's so rude. Yeah, they're dealing drugs on the streets of England. And they're not selling it to Sherlock. Herr Schnitzer, I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his unexpected development of psychological disorder can be rem remedied at our facility. I am sure you are as concerned about your son's well-being as I am, and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you safe, sound, and free of this unfortunate illness. Yours sincerely, Professor Gygax. Blackmail, baby. Oh my god, who would- how would they stoop so low? Is... was that? Oh no, never mind. Just ignore me. You sure? Yeah, just ignore me. I, that's you. just a good you. thing to do in general. No, I love you. I don't want to ignore you. I want to cuddle you and love you and kiss you and numb you. Everywhere. Especially there, baby. <laughs> Go away or I will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails! Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door? Won't stop me. I mean, probably will. Right, baby? It kind of did. The garments of several dozen people, at least. This does not look good. Fabric burnt in the furnace. Okay. A jala beer. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. Oh no, baby Nonkin. Well, this is not Nom. I think we may have found out where the people being shipped here end up. Yeah. Oh, look. So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on Haunted Doll Watch. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. So they were torturing the doll to get to the mentally disturbed person? Uh, potentially? We have lots of things to look at down here as well. Oh my god, Bubba Numkin. All these things and stuff. Medical evaluations. Number four, young adult, Dutch, a weak-minded subject, eager to follow orders for perceived rewards, strong build. Number five, adult, nationality Romanian. The subject remained violent, required the need for sedatives. Once calm, the dosage for the subject was minimal. Number six, a new nationality. In language incomprehensible, subject is thus assumed mad. Subject possesses a lighter, more agile frame, and as such a smaller dosage was required, 0.2 milligrams. Number seven is from Maori. This could be our missing person from the start, right? Language incomprehensible, subject is thus assumed mad, the subject was large and required an average dosage, 0.8. All subjects in good condition showing signs of obedience regardless of race or native language, they must move on for further testing. Mm. And more of this stuff again. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. These people are assholes. I mean, everyone is an asshole in this game, probably. I mean, Sherlock is, but he's a well-meaning asshole. Something's sticking out. Okay. Oh, it's uh... An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe. Now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Well, that's a bit suspicious if you ask me. I mean, the whole place is suspicious, really. I mean, these, I mean just these cells are suspicious, aren't they, really? Let's be real. Scribbled in Georgian. 
God, he knows everything. Okay, so we got some clues again here now. For this area. Mm. Blood hit from above. Okay, we got we can piece together a scene here, but discoloration, strong chlorine this smell. This was disinfected frequently. Okay. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. You should. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. They were on a boat, Sherlock. You know they were. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. Jesus. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Oh, they only had one little thing. Oh, that sucks. What else am I looking for, Bevan Umkin? Something. It's hard to tell sometimes what's part of the scene, if that makes sense. Because mm. you can kind of go outside a little bit sometimes. You had it for a second. I did? Where? Right there. Here? It's no. Not, it's not yellow. Right there? It's changing. Yeah, it's just an old one. You can look at the same Dirt ones again. Sweat. Oh. I've been locked in here for days, judging by the smell. It's pretty bum. I genuinely don't know what it is. We'll come back to that one, I guess. I can't find it. Here we have something. Small scratch marks. Broken nails. That's really sad. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. Oh, I guess he killed himself? I guess. A bottle this sturdy doesn't break. Yeah, my he used the bottle of water they gave him to slash his wrists. Mm. Well, that's depressing. Okay, so there's another scene here, but we need to finish this first, unfortunately. What am I missing? Oh, this is driving me nuts. Because this is like the worst kind of pixel hunting, isn't it? Mm. I can't look at the toolbox, it's too far that way. So it's gotta be on this screen, whatever the fuck it is. Can you look at it from a different angle? This? Oh, it's this. It's the thing, it's the fucking medallion. This is the same design mm. as the one from London. This go. trip was prolonged and perilous. And there's doors here. We've got a coffin here as well. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. Oh wow! That's quite a distance to travel. That must have taken weeks, right? But that's, I don't think that's a person crate necessarily. The doors can be open for deliveries. Oh, we got the whole scene here now. All right. So, what do we have here? I don't think they came out like that, I'm gonna be honest with you. That seemed much more plausible. Yeah. Alright. Okay, this this seems likely because that one's dead, right? Double check the others just in case though. Okay, that's definitely yeah, not right. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. And that's, they're both dead. So it's probably this one. Oh no! Did they set, did they did they have did they have enough water? I think it might be the first. Where well, they're both dead. Well, are they both? Yeah, they're both dead. I don't I don't know. We'll try in a minute. It doesn't matter if we get it wrong. Here is someone falling and bashing their head. It, see, the problem is, I, I get confused about what is there exactly is happening. Okay, it's definitely this one The here, one right? that, where they bash their head. Okay, one's wrong. This, this is one's, the middle one. This one's wrong. So it must be this. There we go. The carriages were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. 
Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's door. Well, Heidi, well, not Heidi. But the reason that I was confused is because I couldn't tell if that one looked like it was fighting the other one off because I heard a grunt. Yeah. So I couldn't tell if they were just getting them out of the boxes or if that was like an attack scene. It's hard to tell, isn't it, sometimes? Make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? Um, what happened to the foreign patients? Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. What do you know about Professor Gygax? Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was alright. Why are you here? How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Okay. Do you know Professor Becker? Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Alright. <sighs> need to figure out what we need to do next, Bebenumpkin. So we have nothing that's pinnable at the moment. We have a lot of evidence for various things. Investigate. The foreigners must be taken through a hidden door after some preparation in the cells. The passage lies like somewhere near the back entrance. Okay, so we need to find the secret passageway here or some shit like that, I think. Gerd had got her doll back. I vaguely remember when I played the demo of this. Something about fixing the doll, but I don't know if that's been changed or not in this version. So let's go and talk to her one last time and see if she will talk to us, okay? I was so scared I'd lost you, Heidi. Well, clearly yep. not. Alright, let's look at the map. Okay. So block A we finished, block B we have not finished. We're missing some piece of evidence in this area. Round indent, smells of machine oil. There seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Okay. Oh, so mind map has been updated. An investigation complete. We now have a talking point, investigating the Edelweiss. You see? Mm -hmm. It's become a talking point with the speech bubble above it. No, okay. I'm it's really to important it. to pay evidence to how the evidence shifts. There we go. Pay for what they did to Heidi. How to open Hell's door. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you! Leave it with me, Gerda. Okay, so we need to fix Heidi now. Okay. And we have a new investigation scene, which is both areas. Okay, right. so let's switch over the evidence to... Anything here that we can use? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, here. Heidi. I think this just means the eyeball... Um, there won't be any answers to the door is repaired that will require two buttons, some thread, glue, and nails. So it's just that evidence that's important right now. Okay. So let's start looking around the, the areas again for things we can use to fix up the doll. There we yes. go. Oh my god, baby. We're so smart. Okay, we've got loose buttons. I still gotta say, I'm not crazy about this mechanic. No, I think they added it in the previous game, but I didn't really play it very much the previous one. Although I saw a lot of people who watched us do the live studio recording of this. You guys should follow our Twitch, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube. 
Uh, the people who watch the live studio recording this, a lot of them are saying they wanted to nominate more of these for us to play, so we might end up playing it at some point. Mm. Like, I do like these games. They're, this one was just a bit fiddly to get used to. Yeah, here's the thing. Okay, we're done here. I don't... <laughs> whoa, what the whoa, fuck what the was fuck that? What was that? It was like our head was bouncing. <laughs> did you see that? That was yeah, so I weird. Did. <laughs> that was so strange. Um, yeah, I just... If, if it's... Oh, God. If it's fucking Sherlock, you should just be able to see all the clues without us needing to have the specific special evidence pinned so we see everything related to it. I think if we just have that information, Open the door. Sorry. it should just automatically populate. Yeah, I would agree. Like, I don't mind evidence being blocked off until we find the specific clue thread through investigation. I can under I can appreciate that mechanic. I just don't like having to manually select it myself. It should just auto populate. It like contextualize. I, I feel like there's some definitely some things they could do to this series to improve it still. I will say, the earlier games had like these really obscure like mobile phone gamer like puzzles that would take hours without a walkthrough, you know what I mean? Like really horrible stuff. So and this is significantly better than they used to be. Mm. Like the original version of this is pretty pretty dated by today's standards. I played it pretty recently, you know, and it doesn't look that great, or play that great, but, you know. Slightly rusted nails. Construction adhesive. Okay, we got the adhesive and we got the nails. Did we get everything? Everything is ready for Heidi's repair. Alright, good. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? What do we need nails for? You'll see. Long corridor. Yes. But here's Heidi. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be alright, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Shut your dirty little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! <laughs> Okay, we've got to confront Heidi here. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. <laughs> what are your thoughts here already? <laughs> <laughs> what should Heidi talk about? We need, so we have... I feel like we should have saved before we did this. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Let's do uh, the um, investigating the Edelweiss because we need to know about the facility. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's door? Never heard of it. I mean, that's not true because we have the testimony from Gerda. That's not true. You, Gerda, told <laughs> me that Hell's door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! What, what the fuck? Why does Heidi keep everything secret? Okay, up, up, up. Not she's, that one. No, she's not here. This. This. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor. She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! That's where the demo ended, by the way. <laughs> with that, let's zoom in on the mouth. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right. Well, we have Mind Palace stuff, so let's have a look. How to get the key to Hell's Door. He's surprisingly calm about the demonic... Well, I guess he did, you know, go to the abyss earlier. So, yeah. there's that. Hmm. And we need Heidi, maybe Heidi's testimony. Okay, two of those were right. So the dumb waiter is a key, is key apparently, as is Heidi's testimony about the door. But we need another yellow clue. Um, maybe Watson. Yes, Watson's gonna have to get the key for us. Oh no. That this was stealth in the original, so let's see if it is here. <laughs> Watson must be a guest room that is beside Gygax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key and use the kitchen dumbway to deliver it down to the storage room. How to get Watson for help? Um, patient who hates the girls, maybe get their attention? I'll try these for now. One of them, right, so we need to talk to the guy who, the French guy, the guy mm. who thinks is Napoleon. Hmm... Maybe the block path will let us get through? Yes! Use a patient to create a diversion. The patient who claims to be Napoleon Bonaparte could help. Freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find and contact Watson on the ground floor. I hope this isn't all stealth, but it was in the original. Okay, so seeking help from Watson is a topic. Let's talk to the guard about it. Did you hear Heidi then, by the way? She no. was like, ah, like that in the sound. What was Gerda or Heidi? I don't know, one of them. They're having a great time. I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin their fun, you know. Hang on, I went around in a circle shit. They were just gurgling. Girl fashion gurgle. Alright, let's see if he'll talk to us about this now. Oh, we can just pick the lock? Alright. I guess now that we decided to use a thingy, we're just going to pick the lock instead of talking to him about it. So one, two, one, two, three, one, three. So two, three, one, three, two, four. Two, three, one, three, two, this probably won't be right first time, but I'm hoping it's close. Oh my god! I am a professional <laughs> lock picker! <laughs> I'm really happy with that. I got a trophy for doing it in one try. Okay, you cannot return after leaving, but we're finished here. I think we're not, so. We're not too worried about side stuff, so. Yeah, not, 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 no. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spare me your groveling, Englishman. Of course. You are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. <laughs> now go. Your freedom awaits. We just got killed, probably. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Sherlock has got twink energy in this, by the way. He does! He really <laughs> fucking does! Over here. Holmes, what are you doing here, and where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Tell me what's going on. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. say that. Time is of the <laughs> utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. 
After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised they don't have him locked up immediately. Who, Watson? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these guys are clearly, like, running, like, some, like, sinister shit. Seriously. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Mm. Oh, don't do that! <laughs> I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Watson is usually one to use a gun in these, by the way. Well, I know, but... <laughs> Did a child make these? Oh, look, Heidi, it says. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that Watson... I say Watson wasn't a soldier. He was a doctor in the war. Mm. There's gonna be stealth, I think, for this. I'm gonna drop a save here. Yeah, I think that might be safe. Oh no, I remember this. Alright, I guess we'll start talking to the patients a bit. A visitor? No, no, you shouldn't have come here. Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? Minor birds, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful creatures. How sad that they're caged here. It's because they're underage. They're minor birds. <sighs> Come on, that was good. You need to Miss? stop. <laughs> I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? Oh, there's a reception, look. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, do we have anything interesting? Oh, we can ask. The key is likely a wrap. Okay, so we can ask the patients about the key. So let's do that first. I guess that's what we're meant to be doing. Yeah. Don't ask the guards. Get out while you can. Maybe not. You're mean. That's rude. And I'm not. You're lying. Did you see my son? He's such a sweet boy. Maybe I should ask the orderly. It's very <laughs> sus, though, right? Yeah. I want them to fly. Too bad my parents had to leave so soon. I haven't seen them for months. The okay, yeah, they won't talk to me about no it. Helps me. But that's the only interact point we have on evidence currently. Uh. That's reception. <laughs> I'm just so scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. October 1879. As more serious treatment is necessary, my special patient, Wolf, will be transferred to patient room 2 on the ground floor. While the patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialists at this institute. The patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. December 1879. The necessary surgical procedures were successfully performed. Physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing but still not complete. A new obsession with writing is developed, probably as a side effect. January 1880. The patient's writing now mentions old names. Clear sign of partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. A second surgery is required, targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes, so they're lobotomizing him. Mm. February 1818. Surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes, although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated. Daily monitoring prescribed. That's from oh, Gygax. Patient knew something they shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of records. I hope there's no patrols or anything. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Okay. Well, that's more evidence, though, so... It's, I'd like the fact we play as Watson as well. Mm. Um, oh, my God. So, in the, in the previous game that I played very briefly, mm -hmm. it's about Sherlock's origins, mm -hmm. and Watson isn't in it because he hasn't met him. So, they give him, like, a companion that's, like, his, like... It's a hallucination. Mm -hmm. It's, like, a character that's in his head. Mm. Um, uh, who talks to him. I can't remember his name. I think it might be John, like Watson's name is. Um, and basically, uh, the first mission has you making an inflatable elephant to lure an escaped elephant to have sex with it. Well, then... <laughs> Director's office. This is going to be locked, right? Ah, Dr. Watson. Okay, we can talk to her at Just least. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, no. Oh, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kuntz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next This is the one on the night. Mr. Wolf. Mm. Hey, Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. 
You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? A doctor, let's say. I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Abel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Edelweiss was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. Oh, God. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. Oh, yeah. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave. What's going on? I think he's trying to look for the key. Already, doctor? I was admiring your office. I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth. But not in this form. Oh no. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the door. Yes, Professor. Oh, God. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I hope everything is to your liking, Dr. Watson. I love it. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, we have nothing to talk to anyone else about at the moment, okay? We just have... We know that somewhere in the facility is a point of interest. There's a guy called Wolf. But right now we shouldn't pin anything, because nothing is relevant. What is this? Patient room 2? Hi! You are Mr. Wolf. Oh shit, he's right here! <laughs> oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, Doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right, you don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? I recognize this guy from maybe another game. Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... we just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is, well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just, <laughs> don't, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. All right, let's observe him, I guess. This is such a weird exchange, right? It is weird considering we saw the fucking note. Yeah. Once of his face is paralyzed. We should know that he's, you know. <gasps> this is Professor Becker! Oh shit, it probably is. It probably is. And they've just erased who he is, right? Yeah. Oh, that's fucked. 
The writing pen, sweetie. The pen? Oh no, it's on his head, here. Oh, never mind. I thought we were gonna see the pen and then realize that... Alright, so we've got to make a decision here. An adult male with two deep surgical scars on the side of his head and an old chemical burn on one of his hands. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of facial muscles and a blue-gray pigmentation spots on his skin. These symptoms are most likely pre-exist and his admission to Baghdad Lysa treatment has so far failed to cure him. Ill and the treatment isn't working, or ill due to treat on an adult male with two deep surgical scars. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis on his facial muscles, most likely the result of brain surgeries. This is, I think this is this. Mm -hmm. Blue gray pigmentation sources in his skin are likely due to the overuse of medications containing silver nitrate. It appears that his illness is in direct result of the treatment he received here. I think that's great. Yeah, I would say so. If we're going with the fact that this might be the guy, then he wouldn't have been sick beforehand. Dear Lord, what did Guy Gags do to you? Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. Okay. But yeah, I think this is, uh... Yeah, I think you're right. Patience Poetry. A beautiful alpine flower whose heart I do miss so. You call to me while I don't see. How could I let you go? The storm cuts through my senses, makes all my thoughts so blind. With no captain, I miss reason. What did you truly find? Cold and dark with grimy walls, roughly held like animals. Trapped yet free, where do I fall? Something squirms on the tip of the tongue, but what can it be? What did I forget? We're gonna get caught the second we leave this room. Excuse me, who are you? I don't know why I keep doing this, expecting something different. Oh, I That am goes amazed. down to where Sherlock is. Which we don't want right now, obviously. Alright, anything we've got here... Nah, nothing at the moment. Kitchen, we haven't been in here yet. Can we talk to this lady? That is a weird way to cut onions. Oh, here's the dumb waiter. We need to put the key in. Functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Can we actually talk then? Did you hear that a patient escaped? All the guards rushed off to find him. Hmm. Nothing else in here as far as I can tell. There's still plenty of places to look, so I'm not, like, freaked out just yet. We can't go in the office, unfortunately. It's worth a try, baby. <laughs> thing is, I don't see any... Oh, hang on. Can we do a mine palace? Ah, here we go. Why does Gygax care about Wolf? A note from Professor Becker, that's definitely it. Mm-hmm. Um, character portrait patient will probably make sense as well. Mm hmm And... This could be hard, though. Um, hold on. Uh, where is it? The one that specifically talks about Wolf, which one is it? I don't know. I forgot So I chose poetry. I, we could try that. Too right. This one is the one that's wrong. I think it's the one. It has to be the one that talks about him being an important one, but I don't remember what that one is. Is it medical evaluations? Maybe. Perfect. Uh, Guy Gax's reports. patient reports. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Wolf is the former director of Black Idol Vice, Professor Becker. <laughs> Wolf is actually Professor Becker, the previous director of the Black Eyed Lights. He now suffers from severe memory issues, but still retains the ability to write. Very good, baby. How to lure Gygax out of the office is the next one, though. Um, the, definitely his character portrait must be important here, right? I mm -hmm. would say. And uh, maybe... Hmm... Huh. I'm going to just pick random ones to see if we can get one right. Oh, two of them I got right! First time! Okay, patient, poetry, the testimony, but so, the... It's one of these. Huh. Maybe very important patient? Yes! That is kind of weird because, you know, Wolf is the very important patient, so... If Becca can still write, perhaps he can get Gygax's attention with a letter. Alright, we know what to do now. Oh, you're going to make that man suffer so much more. Yeah, we can talk to him about that now. A 
Arthur, though I guess we'll find out if this is right or not. Might not be him we need to talk to. Hello again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson, and you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Edelweiss. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait. Let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, yes. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Gygax is a... Which one should we go for? Is a poor director. Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret that I let my beautiful alpine flower fall under your influence. I see now that you never deserve to sit as the director of the Black Edelweiss. She's not the future. Let's undermine her. Yeah? Mm. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss, and you never were. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. It's done. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. <laughs> hmm, I'm wondering if we didn't do that right, though, because we don't seem to have as much points as we could have. That is definitely true. I wonder, like... I don't know. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. This doesn't look sus at all. I feel this looks really sus, to be honest with you. Unbelievable. Kunz, with me. Okay. The music was all spy. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Woo 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 woo. It's gonna be like a secret compartment or some shit, right? Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. Okay, let's look around. Did you do a wub 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 then, by the way? Yes. Okay, there's a lot. There's six things. Why am I having such a difficulty finding anything here? Hopefully, it's not timed. I'm not either. December 1879. It's been three months since I took over the Edelweiss from Becker. Not all my colleagues approve of the rules change, so I am now the only professor here. No matter, the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personnel shortage, as my last work can flourish without the impairment of his lesser mind. March 1880. The first payments arrive from R. Our deal does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if he's true to his word. May 1880. The first shipment of chosen ones has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken mines. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Two birds with one stone. So, obviously someone else is involved from this. Mm. Who's shipping them from America, I think, is the implication? America and England. Yeah, just everywhere. Like, it's a network of, like, kidnapping. Mm-hmm. Dear Professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of our mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana jewelers, who make several offers far exceeding our experts' estimate of the stone's value. The final sale price agreed upon for the 11 gems was 12,550 Swiss francs. Our client has instructed that you receive two-thirds of this sum transferred to your solicitor, as per usual. As always, our discretion is assured, and we look forward to continued business with you and your illustrious patron. Yours sincerely, Jeffrey Scott, representative of the E.W. Gray Banking House, New Orleans, USA, January 9th, 1882. So a lot from USA. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I saw yellow for a second. It's this. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. All right, free close the drawers. Game is frozen. Please don't crash. All right. We're definitely getting caught. Oh, we're not? Wow. Apparently not right now, anyway. <laughs> This is not the kitchen. Where the fuck is the kitchen? Panic, where's the kitchen? 
Baby, I don't know where the kitchen is. Down that hallway? It's here to the left, I think. Yeah, she's not in here anymore. You're getting caught. You're so getting caught. Not yet. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! We're wasting no time! Okay, there's no way that would work. <laughs> oh shit, we're like in a dungeon now, I think. Yeah, this is new. Oh shit. Alright, well time to look around, I guess, and find shit. <laughs> Ew. Broken tooth, light-coloured enamel. The tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Do you see that, by the way? They're chained up. The the blood would not still be red after a couple of days, I'm sorry. But, I mean, brown splotches don't really translate well in a video game. That's true. Steel chain, worn. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Okay. Look around more. We're getting good evidence here, though. A mm. wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. Okay, we actually took that, which is good. I thought he was going to just be like, we can't actually take it till we find something that can read a wax cylinder. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. It's Lovecraftian language shit. Mm hmm. Flung bubble. Cthulhu. We can't change this, by the way. This is just how it is. It's not like one of the scenes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're fine, probably. I should check if there's any evidence we should have pinned, right? What is this? A oh, wax cylinder. So the cog means you can use it on something. Alright, that's the only thing we have at the moment. Oh, hi! A brain in the jar? What's this? A telegram from New Orleans. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us. A. Is everyone going to go by initials in this? Oh, yeah. Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words, and lo, the trance will begin and will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language, and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most sceptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance state through the emitted light waves of Caleb lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them as you have done before. Oh, and there was a key under it. A sussy looking key. A shiny key, actually. Not sussy. I think it's still pretty sussy. There's a big elevator here. Notebook of Professor Gygax. The new method at last started to show progress. A success rate of 4 out of 10 and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of their native language or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently despite lacking all mental autonomy. Regrettably, one of the Chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation result in the strengthening of their disappearance. Dis disobedience, sorry. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seems all was left was an innate desire to resist. This Chosen One cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see it. They are sent to the well. Looks as if it's been recently used. Oh, this is the phonograph, right? There we go. Okay, 
I wish I could stop that, to be honest with you. It's really fucking annoying. Oh, thank fuck. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Electrical stimulation is a polite way of saying, like, Electric it shocks them. Therapy. Yeah. Dynamo oh, shit, machine. Thing. Sorry. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Oh, the chair itself? Yes. Why don't let me zoom in? There we go. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. Impossible. No one has ever escaped a leather strap. A very professional brain dissection. Lovely. The poor little nonkin. Yeah. I'm just going to check the other door back the other way first. Oh, here's the well. I guess they just throw them down there. Oh, the spell. Yep. They definitely do, right? They might chop their heads off first. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Dear God, is that... body parts? Yeah. Utterly inhuman. Well. Got the trophy, gaze into the abyss. Just having a look through. The shiny key can be used on something as we know. Nothing else. Okay. It's worth checking though, isn't it, regularly, I think. Mm. Hi! Oh. <laughs> Get out of my head! Your mind festers devoid of soul. Find reverence for the one that trembled. The great lord. Left your mind. Jesus! Please! No more! Stop it! Watson! John! Somebody! Wretched mortal! Do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awaken! To be a boss fight? World behold! Or maybe not. The light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Oh. Get out of my head. Jesus Christ. Well, that went... Well. Is there nothing in here that's evidence? I mean, it's a very tentacly room. Which we obviously all can get behind. But other than that... You might need to find something specific. See, that's the bad thing about this, because now I now it's impossible to know <laughs> if there's any evidence in this room. Oh, we lost the key. So I guess that was an optional thing to open beforehand. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, Babinumki. Oh, well. The guy probably took it from you. Yeah. What an arsehole. A hydraulic elevator? How ingenious. <laughs> okay, you're perfectly fine now. Just comes up in the middle of the office with everyone just What's staring it? at him. Holmes, what are you He did! Doing? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my You're thumbs? You're both in trouble now. I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered. Oh, oh she's what? dead! What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. <laughs> what do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Probably should leave the scene of the crime, seeing as we look super sus. Seriously? Well, I guess we need to investigate her body, huh? Look, the fact that Holmes was just staying in here with a dead body with it. Oh, is it Napoleon? The pencil is buried deep all the way Oh, oh wait, no, it's Becker. Death. Maybe. The patients here wear the same robes. It could have been someone from the group that was sent to assassinate her or something, though. 
So oh yeah. Could be anyone really. Of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. Where is her overcoat? I don't know. It's not here. Oh, there's Heidi. Oh, oh. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? Well, we, we think from the local police about this. We have a number You're one right, suspect Watson. here, right? Yeah. First, we need to determine where our case goes next. I vote we don't tell the police. It's Gerda if it is her. If it gives us the option. Mm. I think we need to go to the mine palace. That's true. I forgot about that kind of stuff. Where does the evidence lead next is the question. So three greens. Letter from New Orleans Bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a telegram from New Orleans. Hmm. Let's try that. Because there was one she wrote about her American friends as well, right? Okay. So two are right. Hmm. Letter to Mr. Schnitzer. It's hard to remember what each of them were. Oh, wait a second. I think we can read them. Do F to read. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's not that one, I don't think. It definitely is not. No, it's, about, it's something about the US. Not that either. Nothing about that. Maybe her testimony? No. Diary, maybe. Yes, this. Yeah. No. Huh. A handwritten letter. Oh, this one. New Orleans. There we go. New Orleans in the USA is where we're off to next. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of EW Gray to sell gems. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. We got most of the points, by the way. We're only 20 short. Mm. That unlocks, like, costumes and things like that. The points. Well, still. Yeah, it's nice. There's nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. Treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. That's a reference to the previous game. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of a person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. Now kiss. <laughs> Just too far away. Just lean in. Mm. Like, you know, like sucker lips. No.
Chapter 4 The Outsiders. New Norts Norlands? Narlands? I'll, I'll stop saying that. Oh, oh, Alrighty, now I'm the one in the driver's seat. Oh my <laughs> god. We're gonna swap out and play games together, like more to take turns? Yes. So here's Chris and uh, Sherlock. Yes, it is. Alright, uh. What was our objective again? I can't remember anything. I can't remember either. Hold on. Okay, so we need to find out the identity of the jewel seller. A. We have no evidence at all at the moment, except the banking house E.W. Gray. Which might be one of the pieces of evidence, but you can't test it. Well, that's rude. Okay. So we need to go to the bank, I guess. Right. So that's our first goal. Find E.W. Gray banking house. Oh. I'm not a super fan of the artsy uh, maps that don't actually show you where you are. Yeah, I want to see where we are on the map. Yeah, I want an interactive map, you know? Talk to anyone. That's the Harbour Master's office. Yeah, hey, you don't have any talking points at the moment either, so I think finding the bank yeah. is gonna be the key thing. That's the station. The good news is as you explore and map out this area, it'll hopefully add fast travel points as you find buildings. Police department. Oh, sorry. Just lady. punch the lady. Listen, I'm sorry, you were in my way. That's a barber shop. Is there Echo. a quartet? Pianos and organs. I was like, I was thinking, you know what I thought in my brain then? It was like, yeah. why do they sell pianos and bodily pa body parts? Shipping company. It's definitely going to be further in. Wow, all, all these things. This is the big area to look around. Then oh, is it a Chinatown area there? It looks like. Yeah, this is. Chinatown. Every time you get one of those, that's a fast travel point. Well, that's good. So you have two so far, the Harbour Master's office and that. I doubt the that. bank is going to be here. No. It's probably here, then maybe out to the right. Ah, here we go. Banking house of E.W. Gray, there you go. Hi! Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Okay, observe. <laughs> Just stare awkwardly at him. Okay. Oh no, are we going to hear Cajun accents in this? He's got a hidden tabloid newspaper. Something in pocket, a sandwich. The guard at the bank is a real character. Storing a sandwich is popular to save time. While we'll reading A Blanket Alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Mytopia is a result of constant reading to the detriment of one's health. Paranoid fool. The guard at the front is really the character storing sandwiches while we we'll reading it makes the guard a paranoid fool with bad taste. Besides, the man has my... <laughs> I mean, I think that one's more likely to be reading a conspiracy theory that Abe Lincoln's not actually dead after he's been shot. <laughs> I don't think it makes you a critical thinker to, like, deny the truth. I'm gonna go with paranoid fool, but what do you think? <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna be so cringe. Do we actually have to confront him about it? Yeah. Uh, this. Yeah, uh, yep, yep, yep. We Which can one? lie or go. I don't know what auction this is for. Or anything like that. I mean, we could get information, but it might. If we, if we get caught lying, that could also be negative. It's entirely up to you, my little Numkin. I don't know! <laughs> I shouldn't have started- I shouldn't have said I wanted to play this. Um... You got a pick? No, I'm gonna say I'm Sherlock Holmes. Okay. You have me mistaken, sir. My name... If you ain't Frank Barnaby, you ain't coming in. Listen, the fate of many lives is at stake. I'm sure it is. So, not going to let me in then? No name, no invitation. No okay. Entry. All right. So if you look, if you press up now, we have new evidence. And scroll through any of these important, so we can talk to people about Frank Barnaby. To the bank auction. Yeah. They're auctioning the bank. No, I think they're auctioning things in the bank. 
Uh, but it's closed for an auction. So we have to ask people around town about Frank Holmes. Barnaby, perhaps. Over here. Oh, so what's Any it? luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. We probably wouldn't have been able to get in it either way. I think this game might have the illusion of choice. Oh, definitely. I think whatever we'd picked for Gygax's letter, for example, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. I think it was just changes Watson's dialogue slightly. Yeah, probably. You can t talk to random people about this guy. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. I'm Are trying. you able to help me? Of course. Stop me when you've heard Okay, enough. she's helping. Okay, the locals say he owns a shop in China called, called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Well, that should be enough to find him. It's just up here on the right, Chinatown. Yeah, hold on. Should I try to get more info or should I just go? Just have a look. I mean, it's literally the street, so look for the shop. Barnaby's Hidden Gems, I guess. Uh, fine. Gemstone auction, that's the thing. Ah, so the reason he's been invited Our is he's a gemstone sense. salesman. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. I doubt his shop is in actually in Chinese. Because he doesn't have a Chinese name. And at this point, there's not going to be like second generation Chinese immigrants in the US. That's Salon Casino. Well, this is this is all that is Chinese. Check the, there's right? two little side areas as well. That's a bakery. Right, check down here. Hotel. Pawn shop? No, probably not. You mean a pawn shop? Shut up. <laughs> down here. Um. Ah, here we go. There we go. Locked. No one's here. Alright, well. Maybe ask some people around here. Oh no, he's no longer a talking point. Hmm. Do the mine palace maybe at this point? Yeah. Nah. No. Okay, just keep, look around the shop, see if we can find another way in perhaps. Maybe there's a back alley. Go back towards it and like... Uh... Just have a little nose around here, because we found the place. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Rather unassuming for a jewellery store. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Okay, now we have more information as a talking point. So I talked to those guys about him. Do you know anything about this? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Okay. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. He is a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local ball called Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. He can be recognized by a yellow hat and a green jacket. Look up the map a second, please. Yes. Um, maybe the blue area, because we haven't been across that, so it would be right here, this split, then across the street. Yeah, but where am I facing? I, I know which way you're facing, don't worry. Just so, what you need to do is turn right here when you when you get to this junction. That's left. This way, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Down here. And then go ac across the big street that's coming up and into the other area. I think that's probably the Creole Quarter. Okay. But there might be, a, there's a might look for a side alley or a way through or something like that. This place. It's a Spartan charm, does it not? It you mean does. it's in Greek? My soul will always yearn for London. There it is! Food, there it is! But it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Giddy Gator Bar. Well, how do I get in? <laughs> you might want to unpin that because it's not a talking point anymore. But what was he dressed as, do you remember? He's wearing a yellow hat. That's. I think that might be him there. Hello. Maybe not. 
Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, ew. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. <laughs> okay, oh. guess we just go oh, for it. Oh, we're going to take the invitation. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of... Would you like me to read these? Yes. The banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident, and we uh, will exclude you from our list of buyers. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. I guess take the helmet and the green. The helmet? Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as oh, yourself, no. but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Oh, Holmes, no. must we really indulge in this farce? <laughs> it worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure. Oh my god, he if looks so ridiculous! <laughs> uh, right there, yeah, through that way. Do you want me to guide you, or are you okay? Yes, you need to guide me. I'm a little lost now. Right. Where's my and down trying through Chinatown. In Let's do it. Oh, 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 you went past the turn. There, they turn through Chinatown there. Are you going to come to a path? You're going to go left when you get to the split? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and then the bank is opposite you as you come out of the street here. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty Where's good at money, dating now. Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. Er, uh, right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Oh, come on in. And you go. He's not even trying to hide his accent. Heavens, I've never seen Jem so big. I I'm going to press Z to get the interrupt points. Black Opal, Origin Australia, weight 40 carats, rarest stone believed to be a piece of shattered space rock that fell to Earth. Why do you just have money out in the open like this? Seems like a terrible idea for a bank. These people are just rich. I mean, yes, probably. This might be useful. I'll make a note. The Banking House of E.W. Gray, thanks to its fine philanthropist, H. Armitage. I'm not going to read all their names, but it's probably important for a puzzle later on, mm. so keep R. R. Carter, French R. Carter. R. Carter. Oh, an A is the guy we're trying to fight out, though. We haven't got an A here at all. We haven't got an A, but we do have an R. It could be Aitkinson or Arneson, though. Think about it. Oh. Or Armitage. It could be. Oh my god, you unlocked some new outfits. Finish. You can talk to the person at the front of the counter as well, I noticed. Gonna walk around. Hello. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. Which one should I do? I mean, I think you're going to have to do both anyway, so. Do top first. These oh. gems are oh, rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. It this is very sus. Where these stones came from, no provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd oh sober my God. up for the <laughs> Oh no! Someone who knows him! Three sheets to the wind. No! 
Oh, and he's got a pistol on his hip, you by know, the way. I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity. Ha. Oh my god. What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize oh my your god. old pal? Oh, we are definitely out. Okay, we're observing him though. He was the sheriff, clearly. Mm -hmm. in a position of power. He's got two nipples. Golden Revolver Champion. Okay, you don't want to fuck with him in terms of aiming though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Sheriff Grubb is the law in New Orleans. He's fairly eccentric looking after his nails, appearance, and image. However, it's just a cover for his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community who uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. Or he's a toothless dog. He's a barking toothless dog. The man attempts to make the impression that he's an important figure in the life of New Orleans, however, is a small cog in the governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with his role that he tries to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks, and threatening behavior. I don't know which one you should pick. Oh, no! You have to choose. Oh, make no! It, I, think, I don't think there's a particularly wrong answer. I think you just get points if you get it right. And it might cause cringe dialogue, obviously, as well. Oh, no! I'm never playing this again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. We're going to turn it still. Uh... Gotta hold it down, baby. You gotta do it. Commit. Is killing me, please. I'm worried. I'm worried we're gonna get shot. We won't. Get, we're not gonna die. The game won't do that to us. No, I know it won't do that to me. But still, I'm not very good with decisions. Um, any mini money more? Catch a tiger by the toe. If you let us go, my mother told me you picked up everyone and you are it. Okay, uh, I guess we're doing that one. Okay, hold down space to confirm. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've oh, been no. more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? Oh my I God. weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. <laughs> We're being blackmailed. Feed them to the gators. Mm hmm So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. Oh, he knew the whole time. <laughs> wow. So he was a fashion menace. Yeah. So we got it wrong. <laughs> it's okay, though. All right, let's see here. Black Opal. Oh, we it's, the same, oh it's, it's the same as before. They all say the same thing, I guess. Um... Oh, hang on, they're meeting the sheriff. It's time to go back to the boat and change so, there's, so as to avoid Barnaby's legacy. There we go. Okay, down. Uh, you might be able to quick travel. You, Holmes, oh. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. 
Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah. All that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. In one day? What are the chances? Oh, there you go. It. Now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you've got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the Sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking, or Frank? Ugh. Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the Nymph. How do I get to the Nymph? It's to your right, it's that one, but I don't, I don't know how to get around. Maybe something will have moved now? Oh, there you go. The paths opened up. There was a guy standing there before. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome home. Room number two, she said? She said room six. Oh, did she? Oh, okay. I clearly wasn't listening. Oh, there we go. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village, behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. There we go. We're all nice and dapper now, baby. So no, the so lady, dapper. The ladies of the night will love us. Yeah, and it, I mean, I'm pretty sure well, that's oh, what that place is, me, right? Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? Oh, shit! The shade. Okay. Check the evidence and see if we can ask anyone about this person. Yes. Lucy's help. Uh, what you need to do, yeah, do it on this screen, yeah. So we can talk to people about champagne. Excuse me, just one question. Can't say I've heard about that. I would head to the Fisherman's Quarter first if you want me to direct you. Would you like that? Okay. Um, if you go right here and up that street, dear. Oh my god, Beppy. There's a horsey. Yeah, there's a horse. I do really like horses. Like, they're really cute. I know they can be scary, don't you? Yeah, head down that way, actually. There's like little boats down there, maybe. They said past the Creole Quarter, so like, it will be on the far side of this. And maybe ask people around here about, um... This looks promising, actually. Yeah, go... Here we go, literally. Excellent. Baby, I knew it! You knew it, so no. Oh, it's like a... Little shantytown area. Talk to me. No, you're busy. She's like, I'm just doing my thing. Being a numkey. Don't mind me. Oh. Tocqueville? Lafayette! Hush now. No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. 
What do you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sheer. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time, you pay. Thank you. May have been... one, two weeks ago? Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. It's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you-know-what. Thank you for the offer, and the help. Okay. Can you expand that dialogue for a second for me? Okay, so we need to... Okay, this, we've, we're done with this one. What did she give us? Opal Trader. Yeah, Opal Trader. That's what she gave us, the new clue. A man from the French Quarter was selling black opals, so we need to get to the French Quarter, but we have, that isn't something you can ask about. What does it say in yellow on the other one, love? Okay, that's nothing. Alright, okay. I guess we need to find the French Quarter. I have no idea where it is, so... Um, I guess we'll look around and see. Yep. They said someone in this area could take you there. Maybe talk to, like, a cab driver or something? This is still the, like, the little Creole district. The... Yeah, this is the Creole district, okay. Um, I go back to the Harbour Master's office and start asking people around the seafront, maybe? Got a spot in mind. Actually, I'm not sure yet. What do you mean you're not sure? Oh, do the Mine Palace, maybe? Yes. Okay, so we have the, uh... So you scroll with the yellow and uh, green. Okay, so we got Plock with the philanthropist on, maybe, and then one green one we need. Uh, Opal Trader. Yeah, baby. Yay. He's most likely Mr. E. Arneson from the French Quarter. All right. Now talk to this guy, and he'll probably take us there. Yes. You got a spot in mind. French Quarter, and get us there fast. Baby, you did really well here. I mean, I was just following your instruction. I hear Watson. Here. The opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. And when they're ta constantly talking about this place, is this in the previous game? Um, so, Cordona is the island where Sherlock's from. He's he's not from the he's not from England originally. He lived on Cordona. Um, the entire the first the previous game is takes place entirely on Cordona. Yeah. Uh, and they're obviously trying to sell that, I guess, to a certain degree. I guess we need to find his house, Mr. Arneson, right? Was his name? Mm-hmm. Question is finding the right one. Oh. Maybe this is just the access to his shed, and there's like another pl another way in somewhere around here. Hold on. Maybe. No, that's the only one. Oh, here we go. Lord help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula. Y uh, yes, sir. My brother Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <gasps> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's, he's pure. He ain't kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. Your brother is very dead. 
Ooh. Oh, a new chapter. The Horror at the Door is Chapter 5. Maybe we'll uh, try around this way. We've swapped seats again, by the way, guys. Yes, We're going to be changing one. every chapter now. Yes. Unless one chapter is like five minutes. That's true. Oiled, traces of mud, often used. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Oh no! Oh, our clothes, books, tea. Okay. There seems to be a horse in need of help in there. It's dead. I see it breathing. But it's probably dead. It looks like no one's been here for a while, right? Yeah. So I'm guessing that not going to be good inside the mansion. Strong and locked from the inside. Heavy. <laughs> Are we just going to break in dust. it? I don't know. Broken stems, chipped edge. Okay. Is this a key? Oh, it is. Yeah. This must be the key to the stables. There we go. Well, I mean, that's a much more effective way, in, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. That was very easy to locate, lady. Poor animal has been suffering for days. No, see, it it's is alive. It's the homes. Without water, it will die. Can we get some water? I'm more worried about that than anything else right now, to be honest with you. Oh, it's one of these fucking Cthulhu... No, it's not, it's not. I thought it was a fucking cylinder. What is it? and pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. Yeah. I I, need, I want water. I don't care about Mr. anything else. Allison's cab is still here. So he's probably still here, but that's get... is that it? Is that water? Where? Here? Is that a pipe? It looks like it, but we can't interact with it. Why can't we help the horse game? There's a bucket here that's got no texture in the bottom of it. Yeah. I know what I know that Sherlock would be like that because he wouldn't care. He'd be like, "Oh, it's just an animal life," you know what I mean? Yeah. But well, I want to see oh no, maybe not. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yes, yes. Horsey, we're coming. We're not gonna be able to help you up though. Oh, what am I doing? Panicking because I'm worried about the horsey. At least that's one life saved. I got a trophy for it. Said save the horse life. We got back in the saddle. Oh, good. Drink your water. Okay, I think I drunk it. I won't watch it. It might be a bit awkward. It might be a bit shy about <laughs> drinking in front of other people, you know what I mean? Some people are like that. I'm guessing this is going to be bad, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm really annoyed at the girl though, because she's just like, I couldn't find the key, and we no found it in. in like three seconds. Yeah, and it's not like it was like super difficult to deduce, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just look at things. <laughs> I do, I must admit, I'm really enjoying this. I kind of want to play the other one now as well. Mm. The other, uh, the one, the other one that's in this vein. The more modern one, let's put it that way. I hope they remake Jack the Ripper too, because that's a really good one. Sherlock vs. Jack the Ripper. Mm. Well, we found an investigation scene. There's blood here. Yeah. Got a feeling this is going to be really bad. Yeah. Ah, do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. No shit, Watson. I know. Be prepared for anything. Size 10, mud with peat. Okay. Yeah, it's been a couple days. There's going to be bodies everywhere, right? Letter from the locksmith. Mr. Arneson, I'm happy to know that you like the work carried out in your study room. It was a challenge and the most difficult job I have done. The lock was handmade to create the mechanism in accordance with your requirements. I had a magnetic bezel that must be activated to open the lock. As requested, it is hard to see the keyhole if you don't know where to look. Tell your friends about me, JG Lock. It's an unfortunate name for a locksmith. Oh, you Watson, did. would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. Oh, we're playing as Watson suddenly now. Well, I mean... A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. His corneas are already clouded. 
I deduce that he is dead. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. How many bodies do you think are going to be here? Mm, I mean, it must be all of them. A deep stab oh, reached the sake. man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade. You have to listen. No! For an ordinary knife. I don't like it, Watson. There. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. There's a lot here. You see how many things there were? Yeah. Burnt note about telegram. I've intercepted a strange telegram sent to Ashmat. That could be A. No, it's not. He's the jeweler's A. It is utterly cryptic and I can't make head nor tails of it. The mail confirmed the telegram was definitely for Ashmat, so he must know what it means. The rest of the note is unreadable. Mm. Burnt papers. Now completely unreadable. Right, so someone. I mean, the A in the notes to Gygax and the A and the, and the uh, thing here might be two different things. That is true. Circular scratch marks, wax, wax drops. Okay. The candle was burning when it fell. How did it not catch the house on fire? I don't know. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. A trail of wax leads to the door. There's a lot to unpack here so far. Yeah. Sometimes that kind of glitches out, that zooming out thing. Mm. I don't know if you notice that, like sometimes it takes ages. Don't step on the tip line. Mr. Arneson with his prey. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. Quite a lot of people here as well, right? I can't tell. Oh, well. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Well, someone got bludgeoned. Yeah, not this guy, anyway. No. Wonder, I wonder, I do wonder how many bodies we're going to find. Oh, well, here's the maid. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. There's a lot of stuff to find here, huh? All right, how did you do? Same, same wound? Mm -hmm. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. That does not look like that, Watson. No. <laughs> Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. I'm surprised Watson isn't freaking out more, if he's meant to have, like, PTSD. Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. Did you hear a door shut then? Yeah, I did. I'm going to assume it was nothing. Okay, so the gardener was in here. The gardener and the maid might have been having tea. For tea. Two. Yeah. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. I think you're right. They were having tea together. And then and they then, heard something. And, and the, the intruders gardener, came in. The gardener might have gone Used up to see what towel. the noise was. And then he got was killed. killed. And then the maid got killed in here. Yeah, it certainly makes sense. We're piecing the things together. Yeah, we're gradually getting. I really like this aspect of it, by the way. Mm. Like, I really do. Trail and dust, blood droplets. A few drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. Okay, we nearly found all the points, which is good. Okay, so whoever got bludgeoned is the one doing the tiny droplets. Oh, I, I didn't think. mean to do that. Very likely, yeah. Okay, so that goes to the kitchen. That goes outside. Once someone went through the door with the wax here, this locked. Yeah, door with horse symbol. Okay, we got all the things now, so we can do this. Look. All right, oh, so wait, let's... no. No, there's a couple of spe spots missing. Oh, you're missing. right, you're right. So we haven't found all the clues yet. I'm guessing the upstairs is going to be a different area, like a different part of the puzzle, maybe? Or they're all locked right now? Or not? A dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson? <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> 
Well, this is obviously important. Letter from Lafoka? Lakofaka? I don't know. My dear friend, my boy's a genius. Despite seeing a fraction of my formula, he rec recreated it and solved it. It is a function that young students have serious trouble with. Your Davy is a prodigy. What surprises me even more is that when I ask him any question, the boy writes answers that are your direct quotes on mine. His memory is impeccable. I know you took the boy under your wing to take care of him, but I'm asking you to let him hold some lessons with him. I truly believe that with your help, this boy can shine and change the world. Lakofka. Okay. Didn't really understand that, but... It means that the boy who's like, oh, like the stable boy is like a, a genius. About local geology. Okay. Even I'd struggle. And I guess, um, either Arneson, maybe Arneson. I don't know if Arneson is like a teacher though. What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. This isn't the time, Watson. <laughs> Besides, someone might come in while we're sharing. <laughs> For the record, before people are coming in and being like, Sherlock and Holmes aren't gay, we know. We're just joking. Yes. We're two women married to each other. Let us dream. <laughs> Note the blade, Watson. A curved dagger. Probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. What's an S expert at judging length? <laughs> Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son. You're definitely son. right about that. Yeah. So he's like some kind of prodigy. Yeah. Arneson and Davy, 1881. <laughs> Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. Yeah. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. They only targeted the foreigners because they wouldn't be missed, yeah. I guess. Dear Errol, I do want you to find what you are looking for, but I can't deny that my misgivings are growing with each passing day. I fear the worst. I'm worried about you, about what you're doing. My heart stops when I think about where you look for your answers. I would have given them to you, I would have given anything so you might stop disappearing. Errol, please, you must stop. We have something beautiful together. Isn't that enough? I hope to hear from you soon. I love you. L. Probably the person... No, that was a different name. Mm, I don't know. Probably not the wife. D oh, def definitely not. Otherwise, they would have signed it with their full name, right? Yeah. Or a nickname or something, not just L. Sh sh sugar tits. Shut up. It's a nickname. <laughs> God, I would love to have an office this big. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna go back downstairs because I think most of the, the green stuff's gonna be down here. Mm. But we gotta find. We're missing a little bit of stuff still. Oh, another one of the creepy pictures. Why does it look so familiar? Because you were in there, Holmes. You were literally there. You were literally there. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for tiny bits of evidence now, I think. I do wish high. they would highlight the interact points when you do that a little bit better. Like and they for were longer. yellow, you know? We need to find a way, that, that's the way out. I know, I know that one's yellow, so people are probably gonna be like, oh, well it is, I mean bigger. <laughs> I want it covering half the screen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want it covering half the screen, but noticeable from a distance oh. would be nice. So they all go outside? No, that's the same door. Okay, you so turned what... round on yourself. Oh, is this the bathroom? Okay, well I got... That needs a bell key. Yeah. That one's a horse key. How bad... Oh, we have them all now. Okay, good. Alright. Alright, we'll start here, I guess. I don't like how he snaps his face. He said a knife, right? Yeah. That looks likely, but we'll check them all, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, yeah. it's it's, it's the it's the knife. weird knife. Okay. This one here is the meat cleaver because we found it by the scene. Okay, so it could be that one, but he's strangling her. <laughs> Holy shit! That's not what I wanted. I'm not quite sure, like, he's got It has to, no, it has to be this one because she fought. Yeah, you're right. And, and he grabbed the meat cleaver from beside her. 
No, you're completely correct. And this should be the gardener and the lady, yes. right? I'll just double check the other one just in case. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely these two. Yeah. Yeah. The killers had tea afterwards. I mean, I guess that's possible, but unlikely. <laughs> There's definitely two perpetrators as well. Mm. Okay, that's someone on fire falling no. over. No, I don't think so. Oh, this is the person with the cancer that hitting the person sitting down. That might be it. What's the difference? I don't know. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. Oh, the... Um, it The weapon changes in his hand. There's a different one. There's a candlestick, and then I think... Uh, axe in the other one in that one and he's this one drunk. he's just drunk there's four there's four it here. has to be this one okay because uh candlestick and then the what's in which you move your big bum mm. and he has to have the curvy blade <gasps> no i'm no, wondering this one is this tiny one this is the tiny one discovering the scene, so that must have been Davy. Yeah, and Davy ran into that room and locked himself in. He might still be in there alive right now, for all we know. I mean, it's been five days, so probably not. Yeah, so that must be Davy. Davy found the scene afterwards, maybe? Yeah, and then panicked and locked himself in there. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here. This has got six different outcomes. Okay, it has to be this one. Okay. Well, we'll find so out if they're wrong or not. it probably was either late at night or early in the morning to require them to have a, uh, a pig. What? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to validate and see which one's wrong, okay? No, this one has to be a... What does it have to be? Uh... I doubt you'd be dragging a bag, and I doubt you'd be dragging a pig, so... We'll go with the body. Let's validate. Okay, the first one is wrong. Alright. The one with the six. Alright, where is the... where is that one? This one. Yeah, this one. Well, we, to be fair, we didn't go through all of them. Oh, you won't have the candle at that point, right? Well, where do you get the candle from? The other room, because he walks into the it. back door at night, oh. leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. Ah. That's probably the, the main owner. Two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Just one guy. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden. Well, you got we nine palace. Did we find a body in the garden? No. But they could have taken the body. Where is Arneson currently? Just green, right? Mm -hmm. So... Arneson Mansion, I guess. Remember, we can read them. That's true. I'm just going to try this quickly because I remember what this said, but... Well, neither of those. This is the letter from the woman that loves him. So she could, he could be with her? But I think he was t abducted, right? It just sounds like it was abducted. Burnt note. And then letter from L, maybe? And we might not have the evidence yet. Nope. And it's definitely not these, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it's definitely not those two. Yeah, it's so none of these. don't have the evidence. Alright, let's try. How to learn the content of the burnt message. Hmm...
I, I think, um... Go ahead. Uh... None of them! Holy shit! I think it's gonna be the, the one with the boy talking about Davy. That one there, yeah? None of these. Oh, it's one oh, of them. Oh, wait. Letter from Lovka. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Go back to the yellow. Yeah. These one. This one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then the other one is going to be... I don't think we have it, but I'll um, try I'll try no, that. No, we don't the... have that one yet. Yeah, we don't have it. Uh, okay. It's going to be when we... when we go okay, back up. Back up. Mm -hmm. Back up. Where it happened to Dave, I think we need to do that one first. That would make sense. So, all yellow. Mm -hmm. So we have the horrors of the Arneson mansion, the mansion crime scene, and photo and of Arneson with the boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, the door with the horse. Door with the horse. I'm an idiot. Okay, okay, to be fair, <laughs> second try, not bad. Out of not many. Davy retreated and barricaded himself in. Yula's brother Davy is behind the door. And okay. then we should be able. To go here. Do you want to click on one of these? I want you to go to the content of the burn message. Mm hmm. And for the green one. Green. Uh. Oh, never mind. I think we need to talk to him first. I think we need to talk to him first. Because I was, I, was, I, I was thinking it was going to say, oh, go to the boy behind the door. Davy, please open the door. After all this, Holmes, I doubt the young man would open the I'm door. That is alive. Stranger. Davy, please open the door. Should we, we go and get his to sister? Get his sister, I think. Yeah. Why don't we unlock the front door or just kick it in? I'm gonna be honest with you at this point. I mean, it's not like the sheriff is not gonna try to pin this on us. Oh, that's true. <laughs> the sheriff hates us and yes. is corrupt as fuck. Yes. We have no idea where the body went out here, though. I think the implication is he was abducted. I would say so. Because he was only knocked out. He got hit in the head with a candle, right? Really? I can't open the gate? I have to go through the stupid stables? At least I get to see the horsekin again, who was a numkin. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That does not sound good. Um, there is a body hanging in here. Did the sister try to kill herself? Or did she kill herself? Definitely looks like that, right? Or someone did it to her. Yes, I think that might be it. Poor Eula requires medical examination. Be swift, Watson. Let's read the note first, it's more important. Do you think this is the city the life of one English detective is worth more than that of a maidservant? Final warning, Mr. Holmes. Detect- Oh, Grub, that's the sheriff! Yep, yep. So he's in on it all. Oh yeah, I figured that. What an asshole. Is she alive? Uh, barely. Look at your marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Doctor, Watson, speak to me. How is she? We were just in time, Holmes. Eula is stable, but lucky to be alive. We should take her to a hospital for a further examination. Yes. I fear I was wrong, Watson. We were really wrong about him. Not a man yep. to be underestimated. To lynch an innocent woman just to send a message, it's evil. We're not safe in this city, nor is anyone around us. Then we must not dawdle. Help me get Eula to her feet. No, no. I will not leave here without Davy. Miss, please, we must get you help. No, I will not be deterred. I will get my brother and bring him home. So the sheriff already knows about this crime scene as well. Oh, if my yeah. deductions are correct, Davy lies behind this door. He ought to be unhurt, but is no doubt shaken. Davy? Davy, you there? Davy, we understand what you witnessed before. It's safe now. You're safe. Please, let us in. Your sister wants to see you. Everything will be all right, I promise. Yeah, them gentlemen speak the truth. Just, just open the door. Big sister's here for you. Davy, oh, come here, you! 
<laughs> Thanks, sirs. Lord bless your souls. Let me examine him, miss. I want to make sure he is unharmed. Remember, he may be mute, but he still understands you. All right, we'll observe him, I guess. Hasn't slept for days. I mean, that makes sense. Pale and haggard, starving and in shock. Healing bruise, days old, insignificant. Shallow breathing, alarmed and agitated. Again, understandable. Torn pocket, old clothes or active. David's been malnourished and starving for the last five days, barricaded inside this room. I think he was looked after. Yeah, I think they were all... So it's cared for. David's been left starving. David had lived a good life as a child in the mansion. He has a fresh bruise from a fall or bump. The torn pocket is a result of his active lifestyle. I think that's true. Yeah, I think so. We have no evidence to the contrary. Like, the, the notes would indicate that he is well-liked. Yeah. David seems in good health. The bruise is a remnant of that awful night, perhaps even caused by the intruder, but he is otherwise unharmed. In fact, I believe life here was good for the boy. Well, it's not anymore. <laughs> did you Arneson not? Arneson and the yeah, others cared for Davy. That may have allowed him to withstand such horrors. I need your help, Davy. We know that the man with the curved dagger is responsible for all this. You recognized the man, yes? The same one in the photograph in the office upstairs, standing with Arneson. Oh, good. shit. Please, write his name. And one last thing. The room with an image of a bell on its door may hold important answers. Do you know a way in? Okay, so we're going to find out the murderer's name. Yes. I think I've got it. You have been very helpful, Davy. His name is Ashmot. So, like we were, um... From and, the note. Yeah. And the key is upstairs. Mm. Right. I guess I should check here quickly. I don't know if there's anything in here that... Nah. Okay. So upstairs, there's the key. The bell key is somewhere. In the room with the keys on the door, maybe? Yeah, this room. Yeah. Now the question is... Oh, well. Not in here. Maybe behind the painting? Maybe. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Protruding part, it's a button. Signet ring, peculiar form. It's not a very good lock. <laughs> oh shit, we need a code. Mm, Eighteen eighty one? Oh, it says it on the thing. Eighteen seventy nine isn't written on oh, the picture. 1879. No, not it's not. That. Definitely says 1879 on it, but maybe not that. I guess we should probably look at things he likes. Well, that's why I thought it was 1881, because that's a picture, that's the day of the... He the picture? Took the picture with Davy. Oh, okay. And that's... we know he likes Davy. Yeah, but that's That's right. a really simple fucking code if it's that. Yeah, it's not that. Hmm... Hmm. Portrait of Mr. Arneson. The portrait shows the date 1879. I tried that, right? Like, yeah, you did. Hmm. Nothing here on the letter from L. 1882 is the one where he's with the guy. Yeah, let's try that one. Nope. Okay, not that. 1881 we've already tried, right? Yeah. Oh. Mr. Arneson hunting. 1862. 1862. Yeah, we go. There we go. We got there in the end. Alright, there's the keys. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. Handy. Let's take it. 
I love the way they're not interested in it at all, when they have no money. Double Barrel Shotgun, 10 Gauge Reaper, M142, additional services, engravings on buttstock, engravings on trip, engravings on safety catch and extract, a total price $79.99. So he was defending himself, he had a new gun done. Mm. A new shotgun. I love how Sherlock doesn't think to close any of the things that he opens. I mean, it's not like the police are going to care about this scene, right? Well, no. Um. What? The camera just got stuck on the top floor. It's fine, don't worry And about dragged it. down. Move along, move along. <laughs> well, it didn't break. Oh, we should probably say it's been ages. Oh, yeah. Alright. Deep grooves, frequent friction, the bed was moved. Hey, hey, hey. Shut up. Dense and disturbing notes. It's hard to follow. The scene is impossible, unnatural, but also familiar. You were there. You were literally there. And I'm sure we'll go there again before this story is out. Whenever the price, pay it. Obsidian, glass like stone, black without it. We can't work with lenses. London comes to New Orleans. Must be five, six days. You know what to do with the deliveries. Ah. Oh. So someone here was working with the bad guys, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, a they said a butler. Cut and polished. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, the butler. You're completely correct. Because he sold the gemstones. Mm -hmm. Collection of notes with instructions. To reach your guy, follow death messengers. Then pass through fire without fear. After the bleeding willow, chase the crows. Avoid any crosses that appear. I know what this is, but I'll explain later on. The foreigner's clothes. By the looks of things from the Near East. Not slightly to the left east? <laughs> well, that seems to be everything that's in here. Uh, Mine Palace? No. Huh. Let's have a look, see if anything here is important for pinned evidence. Doesn't look like it, but we'll double check. Here. L letter from the locksmith about a newly installed lock mechanism inside Arneson's mansion. What are we talking about here, though, is the question. We can't ask them about it. Oh, Davy, Things you must have gone through. What? We're gonna get him some food. <laughs> I think it might be more important to just get them out of town, to be honest. I mean, that's true. If anything, it will be in here, right? Mm -hmm. The mansion crime scene just updated here. walking in here. No, it's on the wall. It's on the wall. Yeah. Lock. Peculiar form. A shaped... A-shaped. Okay, now we have a mine palace that's finishable. Alright, how can the painting lock be open? Should we try this one? Mm -hmm. Secret lock. Uh, letter from the locksmith. And... I don't know. Read a portrait of Anderson. No. No, read portrait of Ander Anderson. Sorry, my brain is not working. There we go. A signet ring with a letter A on it. Yeah, You're correct. Maybe you smart. There we go. First time. By using Arneson's signet ring, we can open the safe. Oh. Oh, there's a crime scene here we haven't even been to. Oh. And we haven't found everything in this one either. Although that said, that might we need to open the secret lock probably to finish the crime scene yeah. here. So let's check out the other one. Yeah. We haven't even been to it. It's probably where might be where his body is actually. If he if he wasn't taken, you know. If he was just like killed. Yeah. It's the path leading up here. There we go. Size 10. The heels are sinking into the ground. See you fat. Size 10. The owner's footprints were shallow. Oh, so he's two different carrying Two something. sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. 
What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Honestly. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. More boot prints. And there'll be a boat waiting down here in the bayou. Yeah. So they more boot prints. They they kidnapped him. Yeah. <laughs> Root almost ripped out. Must have tripped. Yep. Um, that's someone's fingers. Oh. They dismembered These him. fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. Oh, I was hoping the ring would be here, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, severed. Your shoes, size nine. Wait, you don't see the thumb or middle finger? How the fuck do you manage to do that? I don't know. I guess he had. they were like, hold your fingers out, and he was like, okay. Okay. What the fuck Watson. are these? Animal prints. I wonder what kind. Oh! It was probably all of them, then the animals took it. Boots. Size oh two. shit! We're gonna. That's where the ring is! The, the, the ring is inside some animal's belly. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a raccoon, I bet you. Considering this is like European knowledge of, of uh, America, it'll be a raccoon. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Blood loss, large wound, waited a while. Okay. They definitely abducted him, but they cut off his fingers in the process, which is fucked. Yeah. And that's that crime scene complete. So we hopefully have enough now to complete some of these mine palaces. Like, where is the ring? I don't know if that is going to count, though. Nothing showed up. Farmer's guide. And then... Backyard. backyard. Okay, the backyard is correct. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I don't know why the farmer's guide is not... It's probably in an animal's belly. Alright, we don't seem to have the required stuff. No. We've already gone through all of these with it, so... Yeah, 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 it's not... It's none of these. It's and it's of definitely these. green, right? Yeah, it is. About where is Arneson currently? We saw him got taken, right? But we have nothing here that would line up with that. Huh. Alright, let's keep looking. Oh, well, I wonder if anything is pinnable now. It's worth a trick, right? Trip around the world. There was an animal near the severed fingers. We need to go and read the book upstairs. Oh, no. With that equipped. To identify the animal first. Oh, I hate you, game. <laughs> At least it has a symbol there, I guess. And that's why there's the, pi the pin thing upstairs. We just didn't have the clue. Makes sense, I guess. Kind of. I don't like that mechanic, though. As much. I know it means that you have to think a bit yourself. Instead of just being like, oh, you do this. And like, I guess that is in some ways better. Well, no. Here's my thing. I would have rathered us skim through the book. And then just keep that knowledge. And then once we're here, we go, oh, I remember this. Instead of having to actually go the fuck up here again. Okay. We are complete morons. Search for this information about the animals in the archives. <laughs> So, class. Probably mammal. Well, they know it's, they know it's a mammal. Um, I'm not entirely sure about this. Habitat's the bayou. Should I try carnival? Raccoons. The increasing... I thought they were omnivores, to be fair. I told you... Well, they... I, yeah, I'd say they're omnivores, but whatever. Um, they might technically be carnivores that just eat, tend to eat everything. Anyway... Little tiny pea hands! I said! <laughs> the increasing number of raccoons in urban areas provoke diverse reactions in humans ranging from hostility at their presence to concerned care. 
Close proximity to humans results in behavioural changes in how raccoons live and interact with people. For many generations, humans and raccoons have developed an invisible ecosystem the animals now rely upon when finding food. Raccoons are fond of stealing food from local households. They typically nest inside tree cavities, fallen and dead logs, and other secure and isolated places. Raccoons usually do not prey on domestic cats or dogs, but isolated cases of reports have been reported. The majority of attacks are the result of rabies that can afflict raccoons. To protect your household against raccoons, you might consider certain strong scents. Spicy smells can be used as an easy and effective repellent. A small bottle of cayenne pepper, we found one some of that, ah. right? Mixed with a gallon of water, provides quite a powerful mixture to repel wild raccoons. Spray this pepper solution around the plants, bushes and other vegetation. If you're trying to deter raccoons from prowling your chicken coop, spray around the perimeter as well. If you don't have cayenne pepper, Epsom salt is good. Okay, we have... there was cayenne pepper in the house, right? I remember. Yeah. I think it's in the shed. The, where the horsey is. Really? Yeah. Good memory if it's right, because I have no idea. I mean, it might not be, but I think it is. I do this every time. <laughs> I'm struggling with the layout of this house so much for some reason. <laughs> I'm doing a you better than a lost monkey. You are, oh my goodness. That never happens. I am a Sherlock. I am a... He's not really a nomkin, is he really? He's a bit of a dickhead. Yeah, he is a bit of a dickhead. He's a well-meaning dickhead, perhaps, but yeah, here, yeah, cayenne pepper, right? Is he well-meaning? Cayenne pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. Oh, we might need to identify it first with the... Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. We need to probably do the thing first, right? This now is unlocked. Where is the ring? Backyard. Chapter 13, Raccoons. A raccoon took it. The local dentist in a raccoon took the signet ring along with Miss Donison's finger. The cheap thief was clumsy, successful but clumsy. Don't, don't sass the raccoon, Sherlock. How dare you? Okay. You'll find it, baby. I'm not sure there's anything here, actually. There's there something is. Like... Oh, yeah, Raccoon has the ring. Now we have to go look, I guess. Yeah, but where? Somewhere, there'll be a pin thing. I'm going to go down to the water's edge, where we saw the peats. I'm going to do a long jog. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this, by the way. I've really liked this game so far. Hmm. The question is, like... I mean, there's a couple full logs behind you. Where? You're staring at them. I, well, I don't know if they're interactable, but they are there. I'm looking for that special, like, green thing, you know? Maybe look at that again. Oh, they're going this way. Oh, we probably have to follow the peats. Um. Yep. Covered in pepper. Too much for the raccoon. Okay. We've got a trail. have here. There's the ring! Yay! Well, this is a lot less com more complicated, less complicated than it was in the original. Arneson's signet ring, as we saw in his portrait. I'm pretty sure you had to spike it with pepper in the original to get it to come out. Well, we got, we can open the safe now in the, uh, top room. Yay! I thought that statue was someone standing in the back garden. I almost shat myself. <laughs> I saw, I thought that the first time I saw it, but no, it's just a statue. Just a little nos numkin. Mm-hmm. Statuekin. Statuekin. Not the way with this no ceremony here, it's just like, <laughs> in we go. Here's a shotgun he mentioned in that it's note. Just a piece of art. Alright, much more evidence again now. This is going well! 
Arneson's notes on the bank and Ashmat. Mr. Arneson has a collection of notes detailing his investigation of Ashmat. One of them reads, That damned servant, how dare he use my name to sell opals at the bank? Was he like this all the time and I ever looked at it or is the influence of his foreign friends? I need to learn more about the man, especially since I showed Davy that cryptic telegram sent to Ashmat. What is it for? Hmm. Ashmat sounds a bit like Hazmat. Maybe. My princess, my love, my, my heart. My princess, my love, oh, my thanks heart. Thanks a lot. Fitting words. Okay, we took that ring. Oh, it's an engagement ring. Might be the woman in the other letter. Oh, oh, the other woman said she needed that as a, a, a champagne to pay. You know the woman called champagne? Yeah. To hire her boat, we need champagne. There we go. What? We have here. My dearest Lucy, that's L, I guess. My sunshine, believe me. As soon as I've dealt with the darkness that lurks in these swamps, I'll return to you with an open heart. Be sure that I'm ready to declare to all my world my feelings for you. I can't wait to hold your hand and be lost in beautiful eyes, completely and forever yours, Errol. I guess he probably wasn't married. No. I guess I just assumed he was, just from the time period. Yeah. Mr. Arneson, as soon as your instructions arrive, we started our investigation. Rest assured we will do our best to find the location of the bar you mentioned. So this is the same detective agency the guy we found dead in London was from. Mm. However, we must inform you that there might be some delays in the coming weeks as I'll inspect it. Investigate the lead detective in this case is in Europe. He didn't leave Europe. Yeah. Meanwhile, we highly recommend securing your findings until a further notice behind a table, in a safe, or in a locked cabinet. Anything will work. E. Spears. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh, it's Lucy, the woman who Thank showed us the way Lucy. here. Oh. He's probably keeping it under wraps because of like their class difference or whatever. Oh, At least yeah. initially. We're still not done here. There's still something. We got a mind palace update though, so let's try it, shall we? This I'm still not sure on. Apparently, two of them were right. So this is blue, right? Maybe, maybe, Lu maybe Lucy will know. Oh, it's not blue; it's green. Yeah, it's I, I green. find it really hard to tell them apart. Um, Northwood Agency. Oh, how is it not? Okay. I don't know. Uh. Maybe the love letter. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Davy might hold the information. Apparently. Davy is fond of Arneson and might know a lot about him. The boy might share information to help save Mr. Arneson. Okay. Mm, Arneson is probably very dead. Yeah, well, let's go and talk to Davy, because he is the... He's still part of this crime scene, so we still haven't finished this one, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Oh, God, I thought that was someone new. I, I was... never know what you mean. Never? Davy, we know that Ashmat is responsible for what happened here. We must catch him and hold him accountable. I know that you are scared, but you are also the only one who can help us. We need to get these people I the fuck out of Mr. there. I Mr. showed you a cryptic telegram that was sent to Ashmat. You are an impressive boy with a phenomenal memory. Can you tell us the contents of that message? Thank you, Davy. Watson, please copy down everything he writes. Cryptic message directed to Ashman, it says, When the storm starts where the ship fall, at Stevenson's guiding light, the last embrace of all the chosen. Okay, then. I know what it's talking about, but I'm not going to spoil. Well, then why did you say it? Because, well, I just know. I want to prove to myself that I'm right later on and look good to myself. Angels, sirs. All y'all lacking is a pair of wings. Aww. Give me some Red Bull. <laughs> all right, so anyway, um, two green ones here for where he is, right? Mm. Cryptic message. Telegram from R, maybe? I don't know. No? What? Neither? What? What? Okay, so the love letter is one of the th clues. <laughs> Chapter. He's in, his entire body is in the raccoon burrow, slowly <laughs> being eaten. Well, we already did all these, so we know these aren't right, right? No, letter from the Northworth Agency we haven't tried. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well done. Yeah, there we go. Arneson was taken to a location in the swamp. 
Ash might have gone us into the bayou. He's okay, we're dead. done here, I think. I'm telling you, he's dead. In yeah, we go, we finished the investigation. I do enjoy it. This is really fun. Like, you feel like you actually are working yeah, it out. Yeah, once, once we've figured out the whole pin thing. Davy is calm and collected despite enduring all these horrors. An impressive young man. I guess we should just leave now. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go and see if the, if I can leave, and the cab driver will take me to the bike. Or not the bike, but back to town. I'm assuming because we need to hire champagne. Mm. With the champagne, <laughs> to get the boat to the bayou. That would all make sense, right? Yeah. There's no one here. It's not that one. It's the other one. But there's a. There should be a billion. No, just one. Not entirely sure we're done here, but we'll see. If it lets us leave, we know. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Got it's... a spot in mind. New Orleans port, and quickly. N New Orleans port. Shut up. <laughs> New Orleans. Innocent slaughtered, a woman lynched, a boy forever traumatized. I fear we've crossed the Rubicon, Holmes. Davy is resilient, much like Eula. They will overcome this. You're right. But I worry this portends far worse for us. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Did you know that Rubicon is a type of Polish mango drink? No. Well, it is. Is it? it, it he's talking about something completely different. He's talking about a river named Rubicon, but there is a drink brand called Rubicon that is a mango drink. You can buy it in the UK, but it's Polish. Okay. Interesting facts, huh? Completely irrelevant facts. I mean, it's something to while away the time as we oh. cross. Should we talk to Polly first, actually? Not Polly, whatever the fuck her name is. Lucy. Lucy? Yeah, let's go do that quickly first. Sorry. I didn't think about that. I mean, she might not talk to us. She might be dead. Yeah. We'll go in. I mean, I don't actually know. This is the, I, I, the, there, there's been enough deviations from the story of the original here for me to not know things, you know what I mean? But maybe she is. Room six, Frank. Right? Mm hmm. Who's your friend, Frank? We love a new face. Oh god, they really mm -hmm. like him, huh? This is particularly lovely. I can't tell. I Johnny think... boy! So how was it with champagne? Most enlightening, thank you. And now my friend Mr. Holmes would like to talk to you too. Well, ain't you something? What can I do for you? I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. How bad? It concerns your significant other, Arneson. Arneson? Now, who said we were lovebirds? Oh, we have to confront her. Lucy, we only mean to help. No word of the matter shall spread. What are you implying? What does Arneson think of Lucy? A love letter from Arneson to Lucy. Mm. The man in this letter seemed ready to declare his feelings for you. Sounds like he was more than a client. It's part of the job. Men can say weird things when they think they're in love. Have Arneson and Lucy met before? Uh, the sh picture. Yeah, the photo of them. This photo of you and Mr. Arneson suggests the feelings were reciprocated. Looking interested when with the client is part of the job, Mr. Holmes. I don't even remember the man. You mean to say you take pictures with everyone? If they ask nicely. And pay. But then we have telegram... No, that's not it. Mm. Note with threats. Engagement ring. Oh shit, where is it? Right there, you're, you're selecting Oh, I'm selecting it, sorry. I'm, I mean, it looked like a basket. I was like, why is there a basket? <laughs> Arneson definitely paid for a ring in your size inscribed, My princess, my love, my heart. It is for you. Arneson was going to propose marriage. Facts are clear. You know Mr. Arneson and perhaps even love him back. Regardless, he has been abducted. His life is hanging in the balance. Please, help me save him. Oh, oh my arrow! What have you gotten yourself into? I, I didn't want to believe this could happen. Lucy, Lucy, what do you know? Could it have been the sheriff? I don't know, John. This town has darkness in it. Errol and me, we had plans, dreams. We wanted to make this place better for all the folk who live here. Errol had grown suspicious of Ashmat, thought he was acting odd. He brought up the bayou. I told him to leave it all alone. The water's there, they swallow everyone. You mean the alligators? No, n no, no. It's local legend. 
The bayou's dangerous. Any visitor that sees Death's messengers, they die. These messengers, are they abstract or a landmark? They're white lilies. You see a path with them flowers, you turn around. All right, Watson. We must find someone to take us to the bayou. Lucy, you have our thanks. We will go and look for Arneson. I'm not too optimistic he's going to be he's okay, dead. to be honest with you. He's dead. He's very, very, very dead. I would say 100%. Hello. Oh my God. Hello again, and thank you. Your last tip proved extremely useful. Don't mention it, Sheer. Champagne ain't one for trickery. Now, nah. if you need more help... As it happens, we need to take a short trip oh through the God. bayou into the nearby swamp. Of course, you'd receive fair compensation. It's almost dusk, and only fools go into that swamp at night. Come back tomorrow. Champagne will take you down. That will not do. We must go now. It is of grave importance. I won't take you. But if you're crazy enough to go, I'll sell you the boat. Wouldn't you know it, I came across a bottle of your namesake. Will that be enough for a boat? It's warm. The bottle's dirty. But we got a deal. I'll even lend you this rifle. <laughs> if you're going into swamp, you'll need it. I think you need One to shoot stuff either. in the next chapter. The boat that we came on is to leave tomorrow for Europe. Would you kindly relay a message to the crew for us? We may need them to hold their departure till 8 in the morning. Of course. I mean, they probably won't. That's optimistic as far as <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Chapter 6. Oh my god. The Call of the Bayou instead of the Call of Cthulhu. These are all like variations of Lovecraft books, apparently. The Swamp. Don't make assumptions. Well, no. Twitch chat educated me yesterday because we apparently didn't notice. Well, I don't. I, I wouldn't notice. I don't have these titles. What the fuck? At least in Afghanistan, we had nippy nights. It makes one yearn for rainy London. This place, Champagne, did not mince words about it. Keep your wits about you, Watson. We are inching closer to the heart of this mystery, however dark it may be. Hell's bells. Oh shit, we're being shot at. Yep. Oh, it's him. It's the sheriff. That he did, Holmes. I mean, you could turn off your light, and they wouldn't be able to see you. You're gonna shoot the lantern, right? No yep. case goes cold on my watch. Settle down, boys. Our friends are as good as God. He went past White Lilies, I'm guessing. Mm. This is it, Watson. Our moment of truth. So, did Champagne ride us out? I don't think so. I think he's just watching us. Okay, so I suppose I want to look at, by the way, yeah. So we had we had this clue we found. Yeah, clue for navigation. So this is what we found in Ashmat's room. Mm. To reach the goal, follow death messengers. Then pass through fire without fear. After the bleeding willow, chase the crows. Avoid any crosses that appear. What is a death messenger? I would say that was a crow, but it says crows later on, so... What the fuck is a death messenger? An alligator, They're maybe? They're white lilies, sweetie. Oh, shit. It literally said, Lucy said that death messengers are white lilies. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so white lilies, fire, willow tree, crows. Yeah. Avoid any crosses. Fireflies! These are lilies? I mean, they're, they're lily water pads. lilies. I don't know if they count as that, but. Oh, he just said fireflies, right? Yeah. And is this the willow? I mean, it doesn't look like a willow. No, it doesn't look like a willow. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a lot of blood there. Yeah. We might get lost here a few times. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, those are, cro those are crosses? Oh, yeah. Avoid any crosses, it said, right? Yeah. Okay, it means we're going the wrong way if we come across a cross, I guess.
which means there's only one way to go, which is this way to the left here, I think. You're rowing like a professional, Watson. University of London Boat Club. Silver medalist, 1874. We've just got a checkpoint. Okay. There's, there's a house. There's a cross, though. Oh, God. This place is very confusing. Right. What the fuck was that? What was that, Holmes? Whatever or whoever it was, nope, not that we one. should ready ourselves. I'm guessing if we if they keep talking, we're going the right way. I assume so. Definitely seems to be the implication so far. Yeah. Okay, fire. Pass through fire without fear. So... Straight ahead here, I guess? Yeah, this is like an archway made of fire. Okay, I'm gonna follow the fire for now. Am I hearing drums? Drums in the fire? I thought that was the background music! I did too! Oh. Oh! That was close, at least it's not like dredge. Yeah. Pass by fire still. I don't see any more crosses, so this is probably the right way. There's more fire. Yeah. I think you're going the wrong way. But maybe not. Is it... No, no, Holmes, you are. You are not. I, I think I heard something swim underneath. You're going boat. the wrong way. No, why? There's white crosses you just passed. I did? Yes. I didn't see any. <laughs> this way is white crosses. They're both white crosses. Oh, that's Bumbus. <laughs> I think you were supposed to go the other way. This way? Yes. Well, I'm glad you paid attention, not me. Well, I mean, I'm not glad that I didn't pay attention. You know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I love you. No, you don't. Did you hear that, Holmes? What do you see? A shadow. Nothing more. God damn it, Watson. Calm the fuck down. I guess this way. Yeah, this fire. And I don't see any white crosses. I thought that was an alligator there for a minute. Might be. Might be trying to numb your nose. And your toes. If you told me when I binned your paper that we'd end up fleeing the law in a rowboat through the Louisiana Bayou. I dare say you would have hardly been surprised. I feel like we're going back on ourselves at the moment, but maybe not. I don't know. Just keep following fire. If this is a time trial, we have already failed. <laughs> I've only seen the fire so far. No willow or no crows. Wow, so it's much easier to see than dredge. Mm. Watson really is a rowing professional. Oh my god, what a nonky. Oh my goodness. I just realised this is like the first time they've actually had Watson in the Sherlock game since the reboot. Thicker, almost suffocating. The stench of death. All too familiar now. I feel like he's losing his mind a bit now, Watson. Yeah. I mean, it's very warm. Oh. Weeks of death. We are more likely to sink in there than on our boat. Let's go. Oh, okay, there's nothing here. Why have that there? Here's okay. the willow! Okay. Careful of the gators, Watson. It is stupidity rather. Did I just die? You yeah. just died. <laughs> well. Our first game over. Yeah, it is. It reeks of damp. Okay, at least it saved here when I got out. So what do I do here to avoid the gators? There was like a prompt that popped up, right? I don't know. Uh, no. Honey, got... just don't drive into them. I mean, there was an awful lot of them. Careful and to me, the gators, okay, now, alligators. 
They block the only way forward. Stupidity rather than courage to refuse to recognize danger when it is close. Let's see if there's another way to go. Because I, I I didn't touch that. I was I didn't touch them when they got me. I'm wondering if there's a place we can go to. <laughs> did you touch them? When got you. Yes, you did. You ran right into them. <laughs> Here, this is where we're meant to go. I think we got to deal with the gators in order to move forward. We're probably going to have to push a corpse into the water or something to distract them. Probably. Or Watson. Oh yeah, there's a corpse right there. And there. Holmes, hand me the there. rifle. I can shoot the ropes holding a few of those poor souls. Come on, Holmes, give me the rifle. Watson, stay calm, but be quick. An alligator has noticed us. That's nature, Watson. Let's try not to annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue is very good. Oh yeah. Their rapport is 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 top notch. And they don't spend the whole time talking either. It's just the right amount. Yeah. Before we continue, I'll just sort of drop a save here. Oh, I can't save here. <laughs> Saving is disabled in this chapter. It's... Damn it. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> <laughs> die. Oh, there's the crows, by the way, the dead birds. We're not oh. following the light anymore. We're following the dead but the dead crows. Then what was the final bit of that thing? I think literally that, right? That's it. Uh, I don't remember. You could just open it. Oh uh, yeah, chase the crows. So we just follow this now until we get to an island or some shit. Mm. Hey, we did it. Yeah. We've only one death. We get a trophy for the death, though, and that's the most important thing, right? I mean, that pier looks promising over there, Watson. Hey, We're we may have done it. The heart of darkness. I wonder if this will be just one chapter. This bit. This place gives me the shivers, despite the muggy night. Clay. Someone's been here. More blood, unintended wounds, still alive. Same boot prints as from the mansion. Ashmack dragged Arneson here. Wow. The fact we managed to follow this is pretty impressive. I keep hearing that name as Hazmat, by the way. Like, constantly in my brain. It's not, though. This doesn't look good. Arneson's dead. Ugh, the smell of burning flesh, just horrific. Keep away from it, focus on our task, task so we may soon leave all this behind. Well, looks like a lot of people had a lot of fun here. Yeah. Yeah, Watson. Watson, I need you to shoot everyone that comes near us, okay, from now on, alright? Uh, we found the investigation scene. Days old and rotten. Was it fruit? Yeah, looks like it. Damp and mouldy hay. Can you hear that noise? The prisoners were kept like animals. Slowly deteriorating under the gruesome treatment. A heavy weight scored impressions in the ground one inch deep. The wood is swamp cypress, endemic to the area. Oh, ooh. The blood is dry. The axe has not been used for some time. Well, that's good news. A simple rope. Let's this use it ourselves. Poor people were crucified. Oh, wait a second, what? Where there's, were they crucified? Honey, there's bodies on the fucking tree branches around the fire. That's what Watson was looking at. Oh. Hi. Thankfully, it's not Arneson. Oh, wait, where are we? Honey, you really need to be a little bit more observant. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's wrong the with me. The left hand clawed at the soil. The bloody handprint on this stone lacks four fingers. Oh, that's... that's Arneson, then. Sunken heels, the result of dragging a heavy body. Yeah, he was dragged past here. Man, he wasn't hung upside down here or anything. He was dragged, he was dragged past here. 
Blooded handprint, four blood drips. The hand tied here was bleeding in four places. This had to have been Arneson. Well, that's unfortunate. And well, amazingly geez. good luck for me to find that at the same time. Dead then. Surely. We got a lot more clues to find before we can do anything else there. Edward Arneson. Mm -hmm. The initials EA are embroidered with silk it's thread. Errol. Errol, sorry. The prisoner's clothes tossed aside. Eggplant, that's his first name. Arneson is very dead. I don't know why we're still looking. Blood was poured over someone, leaving a gruesome silhouette. Potential handprint, thumb only again. So he was poured, had blood poured over him, but he probably wasn't, looks like he wasn't executed here at least. Bowls filled with blood. It's jam. It's a jam mongers factory, right, Bubby? Oh my goodness. Like, we wouldn't play a video game with blood, YouTube. Don't, don't, don't yeah, worry about it. Don't worry about it, about it YouTube. It's not blood. But I can't find anything else here. Are we? Here. I saw it for a second, but I was waving around crazily. <laughs> it was bitch. Oh my god! A worn blade, but clean and without blood. Yeah, so he wasn't killed here. He was just jam covered. Just one of those jam, jam, messy jam rituals, baby. Yep. Don't you hate those messy jam rituals? Yeah, they waste so much jam. I mean, that is true, actually. Think of all the lives that could be saved with that jam. Oh my god, this is, this is horrific. It's just dawning on me the true <laughs> horrors of this place. Before, I thought it was fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hi, Cthulhu. Only this indentation was spared from blood. Okay. Scratches from friction. Okay, so it's a door, probably. Yes. The tracks lead behind the stone slab. Is that all four? I can't really tell. We need... No, that's it. I think that's everything. No, one more clue is missing. One yeah. clue is missing. Question is, what is it? Oh, I guess these ones. This is not Arneson, just another unfortunate soul. Thankfully, Arneson isn't among the dead. Both ends of the rope were cut cleanly. He must have used his teeth, baby. So, they cut him down and then brought him behind the stab? Probably. That would be. It's a lot of blood, but probably not enough to be fatal. The captive was dragged through hell. Okay. All right, we're, we're we're full now. All right, so we're full. I think this is most likely. This is two clean cuts, right? Mhm. Mm oh yeah, definitely that one. I think this is right for the the dancing, by the way. Yeah. Like there is another possibility. I want to see if it's like just one guy. Oh, I can't choose it. I can't find it. Maybe then that means that's not an option. Possibly, yeah. Alright, here we have the guy... I mean, this looks look, this looks good to me. Well, not good, but like, you know. Oh. Oh, this is... this is... this is correct, I think. Don't you think? Well, I don't know the other option! And you're not facing it! Oh my god, this is confusing. Okay, yeah, it's, it's definitely not the... confusing at all. Where's it gone? That's it. Okay, so definitely this one, I think. Probably. Then we have the jam altar, where Arneson had blood poured on him, but he wasn't killed. No, jam. Sorry, jam. Put... So that's not right. This is right. See? No, it's not right. Why? Because that's not Arneson. That's a oh. random person. It's a jam on the right. There we go. Well done, puppy. You wait, wait, wait. Look at his hand. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then finally this one. Mm. Mm. 
not him, right? It was mm. him, I think, taken through here. Actually, do we have any evidence it was him? Well, just cycle through, see what the options are. I mean... They all look the same. Okay. That- this one has- That's not right. That's not right. Okay, this is what we're suspecting. Yeah. But what's the last one? I mean, we've already spinned through them all twice now. No, there's the one on the bottom. One more. See? It's not that. Okay, no. So, it's the one up. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's this one. Oh my god, you got Arneson it right. was held captive in You're this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood Jam. over his head. <laughs> With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage. Okay, so we need to pin something here. Oh my god, it's a bloody statuette. We found it, baby. Oh my goodness. It's very anticlimactic, Cthulhu. You gotta go woo woo as you open the door next time, okay? In we go. Something is wrong with my lantern. Give me a minute. No. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. Oh, for fuck's sake, Sherlock, you idiot. We just leave Watson in the pitch black, by the way. Yeah, dude. Come on. I'm guessing we're going to have a Lovecraftian hallucinations here. Yeah, it's doing a fucking... Whoa, bitter. Walk away. Unknown be. Okay. Oh, hang on. Would it let me take it? Yes. Yes. Well. That's human skin and still warm. Mm. Uh, what's happening? Oh, we can see the way to go now. Yes. Deja vu and not in a pleasant way. Well, we got some more probably weird environmental puzzles here, I'm going to guess. I, I guess not exactly around the rock. <laughs> it wasn't around that way, right? No, it was around the rock. I need to look at it again. Maybe go across the thumb? I'll give that one try. Oh, well done. That's going to be the hardest bit, gauging the distance. Try hugging closer to the cage. I'm completely stuck right now. Careful. Hug. Yeah. I'll, I'll like go around the outside of it like that. Yeah. Uh, this part I don't remember. Very close, but I need to have a look at it again that bit. I I, I want to say it's just a straight shot, but I don't know. I don't remember. It was it loops around the second cage, but I can't remember how. We're getting there though. Mm. I hope this is only one of these. Um It goes round up and then round the back of the second cage. And then round. Okay? Mm. Right? Go around the second cage, then it looks like it's straight, and then it's around the other cage. I don't know. Well, there's only two cages, you said the second cage first. There's, the ca there's two cages! Yeah, you said the... the, the, the mind. I'm just gonna keep quiet. No, you're not doing wrong. Alright, I'm, I'm so confused now already. Like, it goes around the back of this, right? I believe so. <sighs> ah! <laughs> we did it! And now, Axis. Oh, great! Axis, the best!
best team in the world. Oh my god, it's so long. Do not know, this is the pendulum. Like in the pit and the pendulum, but not by H.P. Lovecraft, but by Edgar Allan Poe. I know, but they're still pendulums, it's the same thing. I think I went around the big circle there, didn't I? I don't know where you're trying to go. Neither do I, to be honest with you. These areas really do suck. <laughs> oh! Oh! Are you fucking kidding me?! Now it is glowing, but why? Deep scratches, dried blood. Okay, so we need to turn these runes on, right? Somehow. <laughs> oh my god! I hope that was all. I can't take anymore. We did it! That was horrible. And I still don't really understand what happened. I don't know either, really. You die on the axes. The right ones, but how do we know the right ones? At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Oh, thank fuck for that. Where the fuck are we? Oh, we're Watson. Yeah, we're Watson. I thought we were Holmes for a minute. Holmes? What are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Oh, heavens. Is that Arneson? Oh, no. Why didn't you mention him? Stay put. I must check if he is alive. I don't think he's alive, Bubby. I don't think so. Sherlock isn't doing too good either, is he? The unknown. Beckoning. Great word. Lightning. Please tell me there are no evil. I should examine him before he has another seizure. That was a seizure? Well, he's alive. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. Lips are not moving. Severed fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Uh, that was his stomach I just looked at. Cold sweat. Two, no, three ribs fractured. Oh, shit. Pulse is racing, 110 beats a minute. Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get him to the boat in a state like that. It's dangerous to us and him. Okay. Let me forget, please. Let me forget. Pokeweed berries, though they appear harmless, the whole plant is lethal. Pharmacopoeia. Listing drugs, effects, and directions for use. Okay, so by that definition, though, aren't all berries, like, non-threatening to look at? Like, what's a threatening berry? Mm. Pharmacist Handbook. How to treat without killing. The book is a helpful assistant on your journey to becoming a competent pharmacist. Every drop, crumble, or grain of a substance can bring back a sick patient, but may kill him if dispensed carefully carelessly. It is crucial to know what can and help, and what can kill. Each chapter provides a brief description of every substance used in pharmacy. Remember, be precise, be patient, learn from the mistakes of others. Psychic 11? Some kind of Amanita mushroom. Extremely poisonous. No, is the answer to that? Lime jam! Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. That's definitely lime jam. Just by that description. <laughs> So what, what do you are think? the bonuses part of the bank of the game? We've never looked at them. Oh, uh, they're like outfits and things like that. I think. Hard to tell what it says. <laughs> they're on the main menu, unless they're here. No. Oh, they are. They are. They are. I'm just completely blind. Bonus. Yeah. See. Oh. So you do multiple playthroughs to get the most. Oh, I see. But yeah, you get shirtless Sherlock and things like that. We should have put that on. The thirst would have been high. <laughs> This is Dwale, induces sleep and relaxation. Should we give him that? Salvia Divinora, provokes visual hallucinations. I kind of feel really bad for him. A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears burnt, judging by the color. Okay. 
Oh wow, there's a lot more in here than I thought. Well, I know what it says. Rejoice, for he is coming. Prove worth by giving life to the great lord. This could be a pure Christian thing. <laughs> the deep water calls. Okay, maybe not. I just need a second, John. Probably won't help the situation, but... Uh... So what do you think is they're doing with them here? What do you mean, what do I think? The same thing they're doing with all of them. <laughs> Jam mongering. Sure. I can't decipher that text. Oh, who who said they could decipher text for us? Um the Barnes. These oh yeah, that's a long way away. away. <laughs> we'll email it I to wonder him. what this language is. I think this is supposed to drive home the point that there were a lot of people of different things here, probably all saying the same thing. Yeah. I guess this is where they all ended up, eventually. Oh no, because they were shipped off to the other place from here, right? So like... Okay, do we have any environmental ones? Oh, we can research the unknown con d d d con d con whatever the fuck that says. <laughs> the one with the book, sweetie. There's two with books. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, Unknown deco decoction. Um, type. Medicinals? Maybe? I don't know. We'll leave that for now. Consistency. Liquid? Mm, it's gluey, so it's not liquid. Pungent. And odorless and gluey brown. I guess dark? Mm hmm. Ayahuasca is a brown colored paste. This is it. Used in rituals across the Amazon basin. It causes visuals and auditory hallucinations. Created in South America, the deco decoction's main ingredient is a local plant known as yage. There was another one you said. Yeah, transparent Ouch. liquid. Um, consistency. Liquid. That liquid. Odorless and transparent. Snake venom typically looks like yellow water. It has no impurities of foam. A few drops of snake venom diluted or mixed with other substances can be used to muscle relaxant. One drop per 80 pounds should be enough. Okay. So we don't have to get it exactly right. How can Amazon be sedated? Pharmacist. Read. Oh, um... F. How about Dwale? Dwale and Snake Venom, maybe? Because we know Snake Venom puts people to sleep. Yeah! That seems like not a smart idea. By combining ingredients at hand, a sedative common as transportation, we made ingredients needed Dwale and Snake Venom. I feel... <laughs> He's already hopped up on something! You really want to give him more shit? Okay, we got the stuff. Here it is. I need some fresh air. Yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat. Does he sound a bit weird there? He does sound a little bit weird. Has he been possessed? I wouldn't be surprised, right? I would not be surprised either. He sounded really weird. He did, yeah, I thought so. I mean, I, th I thought I wasn't being completely crazy. Free me festering soul and let me feel. Free me festering soul and let me feel. Eyes without purpose and now see the truth. Tear me man from me flesh, scorn me festering soul. Phantoms of nothing, we are born to die. Filled in the eyes of our eldritch lord. Free my festering soul and let me feel. Oh, please, I wish to return. Free me, let me return. Free me and rejoice. Eyes without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear my mind from my flesh. 
I guess I guess he was fine, Watson, because he just shot that guy for us. Bones, are you all right? Here, let me help. Oh, that guy was real. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock? What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you. I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Still among the living. We are, though not for lack of trying by the sheriff. Well, he'd been telling people you died in the swamp despite his trying to save you. <laughs> Crooked man. Through and through. Wait, is that Mr. Arneson? Yes, but he's not well. You know Lucy? Belle from the Nymph? That I do. Please bring her here. Mr. Arneson needs to see a familiar face if he's to have any chance of surviving. Power of the heart. I get you. Wait here. I like this lady. Yeah. Uh, Errol? Oh, Errol! Reckon we should give him space. Farewells are painful. No, 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 no. Tell me that's not true. Watson, Mr. Arneson has endured a lot. Lost four fingers, a lot of blood, and some of his sanity. But with rest and tender care, he ought to survive those injuries, both physical and mental. Thank you, Johnny. I'll take care of him. Thank you for bringing him home to me. We'll be all right. Are you quite certain? Do you have the space? The resources? I will stay with him at the mansion. It is not a burden to take care of your love. His property is in quite a state. It may not be the best place for recuperation. Hush now. Champagne will see it sorted. Then it's settled. Hear that, Errol? Us living under one roof. Careful what you wish for. Oh, and champagne? I'm about sick of watching that sheriff run riot through New Orleans. We ought to talk. Funny. I was just thinking that Grub did nothing to save your man. Together, I reckon you, me, and Arrow have the sway to make some changes around here. I like the sound of that. Holmes, our boat. I wouldn't want to cross oh. the sheriff. He'd just shoot him, <laughs> right? Seriously. I, I mean, apparently we're not concerning ourselves with it at all, but we're just going to fuck off. <laughs> I still don't know if he was a part of the cult or just being a dick. <laughs> you know. I think he was just paid off by the cult. That's probably true. Chapter seven. The book from beyond. London. Sorry, London. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Mycroft. Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock, a man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? <laughs> your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear, as rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You, and the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! Corpulent! That was it. <laughs> Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, 
you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. You're in Baker Street, Bobby. Yes. This is the same design in all the games, which is kind of cool, but I guess that's probably what it looks like really inside there. Mm. I don't know if you can look- I'm assuming you can look around it in real life. What? The house? Yeah. It's a real address. <laughs> you just knocked over the- you just knocked over everything. I can't explore anyway. Oh no. Another sinking near Scotland. By the strand for the details. Cool. Thank you, sir. Oh, you got a new article. Mm. It was the first one, love. Storm of the Century. The tempest which may have called the, the Storm of the Century has been raging west over Lochabar's coastline in the past fortnight. Officials are alarmed by the signs of the storm's intensification. The storm is taking its shoal on sipping and seamen's lives, with 34 ships reported lost. Even as the article goes to the press, hundreds of lives hang in the balance, with seamen struggling against the elements. Sadly, the Royal Navy rescue is forbidden to launch any search parties due to dangerous conditions. Her Majesty Queen Victoria held an emergency meeting with her ministers about the crisis along our coast, and it was learned that similar phenomena of lower importance are occurring around the world. In other news, a French thief with the initials AL, that's Arsene Lupin, is toying with Scotland Yard. The message transcribed by Davy is addressed to Ashman. Okay, we've already read that, yeah, yeah. So this is something you can talk to people about, it looks like, the, Bi the Bayou's Cursed Book. But I guess Barnes is who you talk to it about. Who we have, what is the cryptic message for Ashman about, and who is the cult leader? And we have two green ones. Okay, so it's gonna be those two probably, and what Barnes tells you, perhaps. Mm. Mm, I don't think we have anything yeah. else yet. Uh, although it definitely seems to me that the storms are to do with this, right? Oh yeah. He's trying to resurrect Cthulhu, and Cthulhu comes out of the ocean and and numbs everyone. Get the strand. Get the. Tr Shut up. Oh, I can't dress Holmes. No, you can. He's got a different tab. Um, there. sorry, I meant Watson. That's fine. Let's see. What do you want? Would one... you ever... <laughs> you want him to wear the Frank Barnaby disguise? I don't mind what you like. Well, you can dress him in whatever you like, my little numpkin. Hats, what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one. We're out and about. Gotta keep our head covered. Oh! Yeah, these are things from previous games, like the Scar and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I like how it says no facial hair, but there's clearly facial hair. Yeah. Listen, this counts. I don't care what you say. Three facts. Alright. Um... I know I can fast travel, but I just want to run around. Another sinking near Scotland. Like By the strand for the details. Oh, his bookstore is right here. Oh, it's right behind our house. Why did it take us so long to find it last time? I don't know. I guess total incompetence on my part. Hey, yo, I would like to see the puppy here first before anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. A scandal in Baker Take Street, care of your master. Oh, look at the puppy. Has the puppy ear grown a, a bit? A little bit, I think. Because it's floppy ears. Look at them. Oh, my God. I, I wish I could pet the puppy ear. It has been a while, Barnes. Dr. Watson. Indeed it has. And good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? You seem happy. Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Holmes, he, he was quite the inspiration. Last time you were in town, he offered me some stirring advice, which I have since acted upon. Holmes is nothing if not provocative. 
Indeed, the thorny truth is often hard to hear, but it did the job, and now my heart is full. I'm glad to hear it. Much obliged, Doctor. <laughs> All right. Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? That's a long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities... Wow! What a marvel! I can try and translate it for you. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean... or time... Oh my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. <laughs> I feel like we just set this guy up to be, like, a, 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 a not a good space. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, an up-and-coming author. <laughs> I've been following his work in the periodicals. Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. What makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires, and fled the sea, the towers we founded, and the lamps we lit. Hmm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, they will be in there. Please, feel free to take a look. It should be on the shelves to the right. Much obliged. All right. All righty. Shelves to the right. I'm guessing these, these ones? ones. Yeah, I'd say that probably, but like I don't know. Yeah, there you go. For some reason, it makes my skin crawl. Come on. There we go. This volume gathers facts, stories, and gossip about the members of successors of great British families. It's somewhat chauvinistic account of Britain's finest. Okay, I'll have a look at that pinned maybe, because it might we might have to research it. Is all I'm thinking, you know. Yes. Oh no, we can research that though, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, if you bring it open, we can use the archive button on it, right? Alright. So... I mean, Stevenson's Guide and Light sounds like they were lighthouse people. I, I, I would think so as well, that's what I took from it too. Um, so, Scotland? 1800s, right? Because that's what we are now. Uh, of my sires? So I guess... Hmm. Uh... Maritime. Yeah. And then try searching that. There we go, the Stevenson family. The book Great British Families briefly mentions the Stevensons, famed for their lighthouses across oh, all of Scotland. Ah, we got it! Yeah! Funnily enough, all the, the first Stevenson in the lineage shares the same given name as the latest, the author Robert Louis Stevenson. Ever since the Bell Rock lighthouse erection in 1810, the Stevensons have left their mark around Scotland via civil engineering feats in the maritime industry. Where the lighthouses were built by Robert Stevenson or his sons, Alan, David and Thomas, sailors roaming Scotland's coastline had the dynasty to thank for guiding them to prosperity and safety. Okay. Robert Louis Stevenson would eventually invent the steam train, by the way. Oh, so he's a real person. He's a real person, yeah. According to Barnes, the book likely contains descriptions of pagan deities and rituals for worshipping them. The section in the translation seems to refer to an entity of ocean or time. Barnes looked genuinely impressed and thrilled. Mm. And Stevenson family? This should be it, right? Okay, Stevens' family. I think we might need to wait for Barnes to be done, potentially. No, oh, no. I got it! A gathering at Stevenson's built lighthouse. The message mentions a place where the cult plans to gather. A lighthouse built by the Stevensons, west of Lockerbie, Scotland. Oh, I got it. Okay, who is the cult leader? I don't think we have enough information for this. No, it's all green. 
I mean, just try putting all three in. I'm just gonna try and see, but I doubt it. No, no yeah. None of them. None of them. Okay. Alright. Oh, I just want to see the puppies. I want to play with the puppies so much. They're very numb. Okay, we can- so the cryptic message to Asthma is now a talking point, still. Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Okay. Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour, west coast. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. I hope this is going to be a puzzle to pinpoint. In the meantime, it. I will attend to my translation. Much appreciated. That's a table. That's not really a desk. Hold on, we're going to make sure there's no secrets. Also, that's no longer a talking point, the cryptic message. We did what we need to do with it. That is something, though, right? Scary Vore Lighthouse, located on the Royal Island of the same name. Scary Vore Lighthouse, southwest of the inhabited island of Tiri. Designed and built in 1844 by Alan Stevenson, the tower is a testament to the determination of the Empire's workers and engineers to make life safer for seamen. The lighthouse has seen six years of construction, with numerous men risking their lives to build a granite beacon of safety atop dangerous rocks. Okay, I gotta say, I wish it had, like, a... a it feels weird, right? Yeah, I feel like the mouse is not locked in like it should be uh barra head lighthouse located on the outer hebrides the island of barra head the lighthouse illuminates the southern entrance to the minch the tower designed by robert stevenson and built by jane smith of inverness in 1833 is made of stone it's deemed the united kingdom's highest lighthouse standing 682 feet above sea level okay there's two more Uh, Rubanan Gaul Lighthouse means strangest point in Scottish Gaelic. The simple yet elegant brick Tower of Light built in 1857 by David and Thomas Stevenson is not even the only one of the dynasty erected that year. It is 62 feet tall and bears a numerous, luminous range of 10 nautical miles, lighting the way for ships roaming the Sound of Mull. And... Arda Merchant Lighthouse? Wow, these Scottish names, holy shit. Designed and built in 1849 by Alan Stevenson, the lighthouse lies at the western end of Arda Merchant Peninsula in Lochabar. It's articulately, architecturally and decoratively depicts Egyptian influences, making it unique among Scottish lighthouses. Made of granite and bearing a striking back lantern, the tower soars to 118 feet above the rocks. Uh, well, if it's a black lantern and there's stuff on it, I want to say it's that one, but who knows? Oh, maybe Watson. We can talk Doctor, to him again, I think. Look what I just found. Oh, we can, you. Yeah. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the grim in grimoire. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans, and the apocalypse. See for yourself. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. Which one? I don't think we should leave it with him. I feel like he'd go nuts. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that would be wise. Please give it back. That said, I remain grateful for your immeasurable help. Oh, how disappointing. I hope you will consider lending it to me in the future. Good day, Doctor. I think he just like, we come back and his wife would be dead, or his girlfriend would be dead, the dogs would be eaten. A fascinating book. Thank you for the opportunity, Doctor. Okay, he seems to be that bothered. Any, uh, so, do, do we have anything changed in evidence now? Yes. Please let Mr. Holmes know that he may always read the latest strand at no cost. Okay. Maybe talk to Sherlock about that, potentially. Papia, do you have anything to say about this? No. I think the pagan god's a bumpkin. You want to see the puppy's face? Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my god. Say hello to everyone. Hello everyone. I'm a puppy. My name is, I can't remember, it's Lily. Lily. Lily this morning. I have oh a face. God. This is the end of the discussion. Is that your husband? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my friend. It's just your friend. They're called Snoops. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I made that up. <laughs> 
Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction? The Holmes family is beyond counseling, Doctor. True, more deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces. <laughs> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The Crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just... do not tell him it came from me. Oh. Speaking of the Crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. What should I say? This might be a side quest, but I guess like take it, and worst case we just ignore it, right? I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. It's a chunky ass folder. Yeah, see, new this is the side quest, the Lone Watcher. Oh, I see. Is it you? Are you the lone watcher? Could you help me? No, I don't know anything about that. Oh my god. Okay, so Mycroft gave us a side quest. One of our informants, Philip Hawke, has not been in contact for the last few days. Please check his status. He was not. He was working on an investigation close to his lodgings. Hawke is disabled and his home is clo next to one of your client's houses, Captain Stenwick. Report to me after you visited. I'll be in the bookshop. So Captain Stenwick's house is literally where we're standing right now. We're just standing outside of it. Mm. So it's one of the houses near here. The side quests are all marked orange, so they will be completely separate colour. We're going to have one clue so far. I think we've already read all these. I'm just making them not exclamation points. Yeah. Okay. And they, it won't be, I, don't think the, I don't know how the memory palace works for side quests, but I think it'll just be like a little mystery we have to solve. Okay. Is it the house? That's the, it's, it's next door to Stenwick's house, it said. So around here, but not this one. Can we, that's one, that one there, probably with the gate open. Yeah, here we go, Hawk's house. Investigation scene already found. Interesting. You might want to press this, start pressing Z's. <laughs> but there's nothing here. Oh no! It's impossible to tell. I don't think we can go in either of these because the door didn't light up. Mm. Could be the first one. Did I walk past? I think you may have done. This looks like it. This looks spooky and dooky to me. Oh, you see? Yeah. Oh. oh, there you go, Numkin. Oh, he's dead. He's very dead. Yeah. Are you telling me Robux no- Robaksha Regiment. They had it tough in Afghanistan. Are you telling me no one could just peer their eyes over the fucking fence? His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Oh shit. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. Unfinished note written by Hawk. 5.45 a.m. Carriage with a hooded visitor arrives. Carriage left. The visitor stayed inside. 9.10 a.m. Boxes with gold from the Japanese Imperial Mint arrived. 9.36. Boxes are still being unloaded. 10.10. 10, the last box was moved inside the embassy. 11.33. Arrival of the Ottoman embassy and vice consul. 12.44. The men are having a meeting on the second floor. There are maps of... M. The capital M. Signed by someone else's hand. Hmm... This is so stupid. Someone just... Oh my god. I know there's a canopy, but still. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. 
I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. Other people use their brain cells? What? It's what? amazing. Use the telescope. Well, I want to see what else. Okay. Near perfect camouflage. It makes me wonder if Mycroft also spies on our suite in Baker Street. He totally does. Bathroom camera. The spyglass was positioned to watch the windows of the embassy across the road. I guess that's the Japanese embassy. Mm hmm. Unlike Holmes, I don't carry lockpicks. Well, you know what? Oh. A wasp's nest. They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. Why would you keep a wasp's nest in your garden? Especially if you are in a wheelchair. Oops, wrong thing. The problem is you have all the other evidence, all sort of like... I don't think... Okay, one thing I will say, it didn't say investigation complete. So you may have missed something, but I don't... No. Oh no, it did! You're right, I am terribly sorry, Numkin. It's okay. Go and report to uh, Mycroft, I guess. Bumcroft. <laughs> hey, what I said, Bubby. Yes, you did. I called him Bumcroft. Hi, you thingy is dead. Very dead, and it wasn't even hard to see. You just literally had to poke your head in. Bumbus. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not tell me Hawk is a turncoat. Worse, I have found him dead in his wheelchair, out in the garden. Hmm. How did he die, exactly? He was stung repeatedly by wasps. His body succumbed to anaphylaxis. And that is all you observed? Was there anything suspicious? Well, there was one thing. In his notes I found a handwritten M, but it didn't match Hawke's other writing. Listen carefully, Doctor. Do not investigate further, do not talk about this matter to anyone, and do not ask questions. Thank you. Now leave it alone. Oh, that was all that was? That was... dumb. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be like a chain of them. And like, an actual story. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Gotta say. Apparently, that we we probably missed a bunch of those. There's six in total that are like a DLC with the collector's is edition. That another one. It is. It's another guy in the same spot. Looking really sus, right? What's he doing? What are you doing? There's nothing down here. It's like a normal street. What is happening? He's being weird, right? You're being so sus right now! Oh look, they're getting their milk. Oh my god. Remember when we had a milkman? And yeah. We got so much milk and we didn't know what to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of milk. That was... that's a genuine story. We genuinely had a milkman for a while. <laughs> oh, remember you got that thing you can ask people about now? Alright. I mean, you probably... most people here aren't gonna know anything about it, right? Like, it's gonna be Sherlock, I think, but you never know. Oh, I think it lost its thing. Oh yeah, it did. All right, okay. Okay, right, let's just go home then. You have mind palace updates too. Oh wait, well done. It's just a summary of the case. Ah, uh, okay. Green. Oh, okay. right, right, right. It's hard! It is hard to tell, right? Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Um... Where did this profile come from? I, I think it- I actually have no idea what this fucking thing is. I thought it had to do with the guy, Yeah, so did I. It's nothing. I don't even know what it is. It's prob- it's definitely not that. I'm just putting it in there. I think... Um, uh, ritual of waking. I don't think it's Robert Lewis. Imagine if it is. What? Okay. 
<laughs> Who, where do we get this information from? Hold on, we need to read this. What is this? Lord H.P. Rochester, London billionaire, married an American woman. They have a son named Archibald who moved east to take charge of his father's interests after finishing his education and reaching the age of majority. Archibald held many jewel mines in Australia and holdings in England. His wealth and gems rose immensely. In 1875, he boarded the ship to England. A storm sunk his ship. No crew members survived. Neither Archibald's body nor his gems were ever found. His father, Lord H.P. Rochester, died shortly thereafter with Lady Rochester moving to Boston and subsequently passing away. Several of the documented Rochester gems have recently resurfaced and been connected to Louisiana Banks and the Black Edelweiss, among other locations. Mycroft gave us this oh. to give to Sherlock. And that's what our current objective is. Okay. So that's A in the notes we've been yeah. getting. And just try different lighthouses, I guess. Whichever lighthouse has the black one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. And the Ritual of Awakening, I guess? There we go. There we go. Archibald Rochester, he plans a rite at Archimundus Lorum. Archibald Rochester is alive and leading a cult. He aims to conduct a monstrous ritual at the Lorum Lighthouse by implication, the sacrifice of the abductees of diverse ethnicities. Alright, yeah, you so Oh my god, you've already solved this chapter's ones, baby. Okay, so that's a talking point now. Get the strand, get the true facts! Just back from a trip, Doctor. You look exhausted. Well, well you sound like a 40-year-old man voice acting a child. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's lots of places to sit here. You could have sat instead of leaning your butt against the desk all weird. I think he's just stressed, you know, Numkin. God, you need to hire a cleaner. And this is coming from me. I'm surprised it isn't clean. They have, like, a landlady. I mean, the landlady probably doesn't want to set foot in here. Holmes, I have the translation. But Barnes was affected by the book. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes was behaving oddly. But I was able to retrieve the book and his preliminary translation. I think we have a lead. Sherlock, what is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession of grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. You are not mad. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your worth, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. Would that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardnamurkin, Scotland. That's it. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. got a lighthouse with a fucking black lantern. That must mean something bad. This is the final chapter, The Awakening. Oh, my goodness. Arden Merchant Point. Oh, did you see Thulu there for a minute in the water? No. When the lightning flashed, his, his outline was looking up at the camera. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I fear we will join those missing souls. Oh, no. These seas have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more, then. They're just going 
for a swim. That's a bad <laughs> It's the diving practice, right? Listen, have you ever heard of a uh, cliff cliff diving? Yeah, that's, that's what that what was. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it makes it's sense. Perfectly harmless, perfectly fine. There's definitely no sacrifices going on. I do like her outfit here, by the way. This was so swift. Are we just running? I mean, you don't need to. You can look around. There's in, there's cue points outside there. Look. Let me see. Let oh, it's the Egyptian see. things, right? It's like a lamia or something. Oh my god, again. Cue, baby. You see that glow atop the lighthouse? I have never seen anything like it. Okay. I'm guessing we can't go through the front door, so you're gonna have to figure out a puzzle here to open the main door. Unless you can just go in. The door won't budge. Barred and barricaded from the inside. Gotta start Z and Bebby. Gotta start the Z's. Oh, Why is it working? Is that what you came up from? I think, I think so. so. There's a shipwreck to the left. Oh my god, come on. Oh, is that where we came up? That's where we came up. So the other way is something different. Yeah, oh my well, god. Let me see. Oh, that's weird. Oh, is it because you have. Okay, unpin that. Nope. Weird. Well, let's go down here anyway. Hmm. Well, we've got an ominous looking cave. Everyone likes those. Sherlock's a big fan of ominous looking caves, he told me himself. Yeah. Okay. Ouroboros. The snake eating itself. An ancient symbol of eternal renewal. Cue for that one, baby. Occult pattern grooved indentation. Okay. And finally. Fresh marks, something scraped so on a door. the stone. This We've door come across so many of these at this point, haven't we? Key. Seriously. Secret door number 5000. An old cannon, probably rusting here since the 16th century. Okay, okay Z is working now. I just saw it yeah. go off. Where did the shirt come from? Mm, down here? Maybe oh, there's a look, shop? There's a body here. Oh, shit. Not just any the body, body it's Ash Touch. He died recently. How do they know it's Ashman? Oh, his eyes are gouged out. I, I guess just from the. Oh, the picture. Yeah. He, he was in a picture, right, in the other, the in the office. Curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. That's killed a lot of people. Scratches, bruises, and stabs, all self-inflicted. Oh Jesus! You might want to turn. Oh no, maybe. No. Go around to the right-hand oh, side of his body, if you can. A broken chain. Something was attached to the end. Hmm. His body succumbed to all those wounds. I guess so. He, he killed himself. I mean, in a very indirect way, himself. Like. Just stabbed himself till he bled out. I guess. Strange sigils drawn in blood, partially washed away. Did he just run out of ink, and he had to use that as a pen? Yes. Oh, there's a hole in the wall there, right? Is that? No. Finger grooves, disturbed mud, searching for something? So something's buried here, probably. A human sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Okay. Or a bear. Maybe. A tiny bear. A, a bear. Bebe bear. Bebe bear. Like, bear. Like a. Uh, like, boo-boo from uh, Yogi Bear. 
Where are you, you little bastard? I saw you. Oh. What is? What the fuck is it? It's so annoying. Oh my god! I'm not going crazy. I I, I saw it as well. I don't know what the fuck it is. This, th these bits are kind of glitchy. All I can think of, it's a bit higher than we thought it was. Oh my god, this is actually driving me nuts. <laughs> Where was it? I swear I saw yellow. Maybe come back and come in again. I see why this makes you motion sick, by the way. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, I'm not just a big puppy. It's there the road. Go. Branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. Well, branch. Whatever wood, whatever. Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. This isn't one of those. It's like a preset scene. No, I know. I didn't realize it was a toggle. That's okay. There was something behind you as well that was interactable. The red thing on the floor. And the... Oh, and the bush. The red thing. The jam. Splash of jam. Small pool. Non-arterial wound. Thick bushes. Something could fall here. Nothing inside. I guess keep this pinned and keep looking around. And hopefully we'll find the missing... Uh... What, you're not going to say anything? That definitely isn't the wall. It's not green. Unless there's a green bubble, you won't say anything. No, that's not what I meant. I just meant in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need the Ashmat's body pen to bear to find the clues around here. There might be some more stuff behind you still, you didn't go all the way down to the end. There, see. Shiny, metallic, lost. Oh, is this the item we need? Maybe. Scratches. Yep. This medallion saw frequent use. Scratches. This medallion Something saw on the frequent side. use. No, no, you need to find both points of interest on it to pick it up, and there was one on the back. That's dumb. It's okay, you haven't come across that before because you haven't played yet. Pattern. There you go, now what you'll pick it up. See? To this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. It's gone. There was another thing. Oh yeah, that's because it was just a place to look for that item. They were like possible locations. He dropped it. Um. And you found it. You found it before you took it. I think it's this one up here on the left. There, that, yes, this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cthulhu Chen, we love you. An obsidian heart, masterful work. I thought it was an actual heart for a minute, but I guess it's just carved. Oh, this is Egyptian. There was scales on that table. I get best we had to put something on the other side, maybe, to balance it out. See? Yes. That's a crafty mechanism and quite ancient. Cthulhu repurposing Egyptian stuff for his own good. What a naughty nomkin! <laughs> How dare he, baby nomkin! This vessel is covered in dried blood. Gem. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> just redub every blood. word. And no, I'm not volunteering. Fear not. I think Ashmat can help. Oh, that's... <laughs> that, that's a bit gory. Ooh. Well, I think we may need to, uh... uh... Oh. Wow, so nice. Such a good instructional manual. <laughs> How to bleed. Can you look at it properly? Like, is there an interact button? I think but, it is. There is, yeah. They used fresh blood in some kind of ritual. Well, 
I guess we need to go Listen, and get our volunteer. This is not Egyptian. They're they're hieroglyphics, <laughs> but this is not Egyptian. It I'm calling bullshit. This does not look Egyptian. You're right. This does not look Egyptian at all. This is the edited Egyptian version. <laughs> no, I think it's just pagan hieroglyphs. Oh, can, what's, is it the same room or two different rooms? It's two different rooms, I think. Oh, look at that. They have, um... Friends. Oh, my. They're oh. all pregnant. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> In Call of Cthulhu, they're all pregnant as well. With the fish people. I think that's what these are, actually. I think these are the fish people. So, we're not just talking Cthulhu. We're talking Dagon and Mother Hydra as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> yep. Oh, There's my. the bubbies. Having such a delicious meal. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Is there any interact points there, or is it just those? <laughs> I don't know, but that sussed me out so bad. <laughs> Sealed shut and seemingly for a long time. Nothing a little bit of ritual blood won't open. Ritual jam. Get sorry, right. jam. Yes, sorry. Raspberry is the particular flavour needed for this ritual. Everyone loves raspberry jam, Buffy. Everyone. Everyone. Um. Head I, back out. I actually don't like raspberry jam. Everyone. Buffy. I like strawberry jam. Do you know where he is? Nope. Other part. Hi, Emma. What if he'd been gone? That would have been awful. Do you have anything to hold blood, Watson? Why don't we just drag the body? Fine. Take my flask. Are you Empty out the whiskey. Something in the cave drove Ashmad. Check your uh, items, I guess. Yeah, we do. Watson reluctantly provided his hip flask so we could carry some blood extracted from Ashmat's dead body. There you go. It says a uh, oh, cogwheel. Oh, Fire you have a mind blood. palace as well. Just in case. Let me just make sure. No, I can't use. So I'm gonna assume that we took it without. Doing oh, we definitely don't have the right clues for this yet, do no. we? The ritual itself, yeah. Yeah, we can't even try. No, yeah, we don't have enough. Oh well. I mean, we could get a giant pillow and put it underneath where they're jumping. They're doing the little cave dive. It won't stop the bibbis though. It won't stop the I think we're a bit late for that. Yeah, I think... About nine months too late? Yeah, probably 9,000 years too late, judging by those drawings, maybe. I mean, this is just an instructional manual. That's true. The lever doesn't want to stay on its own. So, can... Watson, hold the lever for me. I must investigate. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I opened the thing in the other room? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I opened the cage, yeah. This, a... this looks sussy to me, baby. The fish people would be in the cage. They're probably just sleeping. Don't worry about opening the well, it'll be fine. Don't know if I can. Just yeah. yet. Do something here? Alright, hold on. So... Uh, I don't think that makes anything appear necessarily having that selected as location because it's it's it, there'd be another. It's the only one you got though, so you may as well. I mean, that's what I was thinking. Oh, is there a lever on the other side? I think I see a lever. Go around the back of I it. I see a spyglass. That's numb, but there's a lever on the wall of the well around the back, like directly around the back of it from where you are. Oh! <laughs> Both, watch out! My lever went back up. The doors, Watson. Hold the doors. With what? His hands. He's ah! so strong. We're trapped! 
Now what? Look around. There must be something we can use. I mean, if you lose a couple more pounds, you can squeeze through here. I mean, Holmes squeezed through a tiny gap earlier. They both did, actually. Like a tiny gap. His heart. A rather accurate depiction of the human heart. I like how Watson is more critical. Is this it? Just doing something. Oh my god. I think we're about to get made babies with, and I don't know if I appreciate this. It'll be fine. Shoulder level arm size locking mechanism. Those holes seem to have a purpose, but I won't risk my arm to find out what. Yeah, let's get Watson in here, right? <laughs> Watson can help carry the babies, it's fine. Do you have anything? Oh, on the floor there. Oh, you picked up the thing now. What did we pick up? I don't know. I didn't tell Oh, me. maybe you can use it on the button, though. If we find enough of them. Yeah, we use these on all four pillars, I think. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, there's loads of holes. Oh, there's loads of bones. I think that's what we're Yeah, there's two holes on each pillar, so we need eight in total. See, this is what you get for having a messy place. You're I think they're respawning, by the way. Just put them in the holes now, you have enough. At least they think so. It makes a cage around the cage, look. You know what I mean? Like uh, the connection points for one? Oh, we can go in now. Be ready go for, for anything, swim. Watson. I think the bubbles are coming. Oh, congratulations, Sherlock. It's a boy. Shut up. It's all right, Watson. It's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. Oh, we know where that goes. Hopefully, if he's not a complete idiot. Did you take it? Hmm. I guess. Maybe go back and look at the place opposite the heart, if it lets you go back now. Oh no, there, 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 give it to him. There you go. Use these with care. Let us be the first adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. Okay, it's not the dagger, it's the things. Did we win? Terrific. Now, onward before they close again. Oh, they open doors on both sides for us, I think. Yeah. Please don't crash. Okay, safe here. Yeah, don't Oh, no, I can't. Oh, you can't? No. Okay, we'll keep going, then. <laughs> Are you alright? Holmes, say something. Holmes, speak up. Can you tell what direction it's coming from? Holmes! Please, John. That way. Oh, you can see the echo effect. Yeah. Hope we don't have a time limit here. Holmes, speak up. Please, John. You're good at this, Bubba Duncan. Holmes! Oh, boy. I didn't hear Holmes, anything. Help me. This could be a trap disguised as a giant trap, Bubby. It could be, but I, I've got nowhere Holmes, else to go. Speak up! Please! Okay, gotta go down here. Gotta go fast. Sherlock Sonic Keep Watson. Talking. John! John! Calling. Where? I didn't see. You need to go further in, I think. Sherlock! Watson! Ah, there, there we go. to the right. Past this creepy statue. Watson, you could you could move your butt a little bit faster, really. It's like, oh, you keep moving a bit tight. John, John, I'm falling. You're not following. You're fine. I don't think he's doing okay, though. Don't be a bubba. You're fine. There is that him? Yes. 
Holmes. Holmes, come on, wake up! Uh, thank heavens. What were you doing? What happened? Whirlwind. Stars are so distant. Uh, the sun inverts. The earth it becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, inconsequential, a shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. No. no, no. We are so close. We cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. I love these effects. Every oh my passing God. minute, another life is extinguished. We must stop, Rochester. We must end this. Ah, oh, Sherlock, you almost died. Do not worry about me, John. You have other men to save. Wow, we look like shit. Yeah, we're really. <laughs> this is this is taking its toll on both of us, really. And the amount of jam here is very high. Okay, now we can see. Oh goodness. <laughs> the little cute Shut little up, effort I noises. Need, I need to make sound effects. I thought that I'd seen horrors during the war, but this this is complete madness. Yes. It's a jam room. Careful, Holmes. Well, oh, you're a person. Sir, are you all right? Uh, no response. Well, you didn't really give them a second. But they're all tripping, to be honest with you, at this point. Lighthouse Keeper Diary, May 3rd. The builders from Tobar Mo I can't say that. Know nothing that they ought to. I had to teach them how to change oil. Their one proficiency seems to be asking questions about the caves and where my son went missing. I said nothing at first when some sort of lord arrived and offered me money for a tour. I relented and showed them around. The man claimed to be a collector of antiques, but what could he have... What could he have sought? It was easy money, but I can't help but feel I betrayed this place and my boy. Okay. What else is here? Keys. Come on. You're on it enough. Just hold down left. I was. I wasn't registering. Oh, this, they're so janky, these bits, right? They can be. Sometimes they're not, sometimes they are. I just leave her alone, though. I don't think she's doing too well. Is that a fucking laser? It's gonna be a light puzzle, like a mirror puzzle. You know what I mean? Oh, hi. I bet if you direct the laser at that, it'll make him go away. They are all entranced, captivated by the light of the lens. Very fashionable sax, though. Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. Oh, Don't let me poke things. Yeah, we have to bend the lights. Watch, though. I turn this, I just kill. I do hack potato everybody in the room. I'll be okay with that. To rotate. No, Hands off, no. Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. Okay, so we have to look at the other one as well, I guess. It's like you need to do it properly, you're not at all. No. Just singeing off the top of our hairs, never mind. Nothing else in here. That one's interactable still, but... No, it's not. Isn't it? Okay. What's in? Do the table in here, it's fine. I trust you. Oh, it's just a light. I do yeah. apologize. It looked like a little interactable. You see okay. what I mean? It's okay, I've done that to you a lot during this playthrough. Okay, what do we have here? Ashmat, we must familiarize yourself with the process of charging the Kaled lenses, energizing them with beam emitters. The emitters themselves are not complicated to operate, but there can be no more mistakes that our day of reckoning draws near. One such error will be to keep those obsidian toys of yours near the lenses. They are strong in most circumstances, but vulnerable when energized, and we have only a limited supply. Ah, Rochester. Yeah, not I guess Romeo. So. It's the uh, yeah, the obsidian shard. Black. Metallic and with a characteristic hue. Obsidian yet again. You don't need to press escape, it just pings out. It just takes it. It feels like you should press escape, doesn't it? I've done yeah. it a lot too. It's like a natural reaction, but it, it does eventually ping out. Sometimes it takes like four or five seconds though. Huh. Nope. 
nothing really important. Try using that machine again, I guess? That's all I can think of. Or either of them. Oh, do you mind, Palace? Try that. Yeah. How to stop the ritual. Or how to interrupt the hypnosis. Okay. Um. And the uh, entrance people. Most of these should be right. No, all are right. <laughs> Energize the lens and strike it with the obsidian dagger. Coward lens can only be destroyed with the obsidian. The dagger from the cave should suit perfectly. The one hitch is the lenses must be first made vulnerable by charging them, energizing them with beam emitters. Well, you know what to do. You're a smart kin. Um, you undid the one that was there, baby. Oh, no. I don't know if any of these are going to be right. Oh, one is the Obsidian Dagger. Khalid Lens Leak, we could, let's try that. And... I just try the diary. It's not going to be it, but... Okay, so the only thing we need is one more green. We don't have any more greens left, though. Mm. Almost there. Yeah, almost sold both of them. Okay, so you know what to do, Nomkin. I guess it wants you to use the one over there that had the interact point. Oh no, you can use that one. Just kill Watson. Yeah, and then go and hit it. You might need to put both on it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you need both. Having a fun time. Come on. It'll be like the end of a big hangover for them. That's it. You did it. The lens broke. I'm John, sure they'll handle this well. We need to make sure. Of course, I'll see if they're all right. <laughs> they look <laughs> they're, all right to you. Don't look that okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, Watson. They all probably don't have their eyeballs anymore. You don't or need eyes where we're going. The door you behind you. I think you can go through now. No, no, no. There was a cage they were standing in front of that has now got a open up door in front of it. There. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. I get lost. Probably. That's okay. Stop there, shipmates. A storm awakens and we've battened down the hatches. Oh fuck. Dirty summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy sweat-covered face to a name. <laughs> <laughs> That's no way to speak to a captain. Sherlock, get down! You might have to shoot him here with Watson. Yeah, aim. Just shoot him. Oh, oh no, I fucked up. May the old ones embrace. Be cold and complete. Whoops. Oh no, I'm sorry, everyone. Let's try that again. I guess you have to shoot him directly where the cursor is, right? Stop there, you can skip shipmates. these if you need to. A filthy sweat. Yeah, I didn't see it. No, it it, it, it was delayed Watson, before. You killed him. I I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one of many. I don't think that's a big deal. <laughs> it would have been nice if it had given us like options to shoot him in the arm or a crotch shot. Or honestly, if I was making a game, I would totally make that an option. Yeah, shoot him in the ball. He'll be incapacitated. Uh, you don't seem to care that I just shot your partner. Don't mind my trembling hands. That's because it's Watson. It's not fear. But who was behind us? He teleported. He does it all the time. Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't... Oh, shit! <laughs> shit. Okay. You might want to Z this room. Or not. Oh, no, no, no. There is no... Oh, it's his body. Oh, he might have keys. The sailor who didn't survive the storm. 
Ha! <laughs> get wrecked. Of London feels so long ago. Forgive me, Summers. Eh. I mean, he was gonna shoot you. Yeah. It was you or him, Watson. Or Sherlock or him, anyway. Mm. That's why we couldn't get through the door, look. Yeah. They made sure no one could enter through the main door. Yeah, I'm just seeing that. Yeah, looks like... Oh, oh yeah. Well, we got some more clues here. Pay for padding. They didn't want their cargo damaged. I thought you were on the book there, I'm going to be honest with I you. I thought it was too. Lighthouse Keeper Diary, April 4th. I've heard a melody again. I hear every drip that falls from the top floor of the ground. I hear it in the meditative rotations of the lantern. I can hear it this very moment as my pen scrapes against the paper. Ever since my boy left me, this log has been my only companion. Sometimes I sleep in his bed so as not to see it as empty. I think I saw him swimming the other day in the inky sea. His skin was dead and grey, his teeth as sharp as a piranha. He looked at me with salt red eyes, steadfast amid the furious waves, and I saw naught but loathing in his gaze. Did you sacrifice yourself? Oh, he fell off. He, or he fell or something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I saw a yellow there for a minute, I did but... too. Oh, what? It was way over I there. This company. They make Fresnel lenses, essential for any modern lighthouse lantern. God, he knows everything. Ashmat scribbles, a collection of notes Ashmat left himself over the course of the past few weeks. It all went south of the Arneson's place, him, that pup, and that harlot. I wish the water would take them away. They didn't deserve to be brought here with the others. No, no, no. The underground tunnels call me again. Every time I go to sleep, I wake up in the caves. Yesterday, I woke with an obsidian shard in my hand and absolutely no memory of it. Tonight, the caves will call me again. What I've witnessed in my dreams is horrific, but I cannot resist. Good. Fuck you. It seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. I'm guessing you're going to have to disable those. Khalid lenses are placed inside the lantern room. So they made the, the white lighthouse a supernatural lighthouse, baby. Well, and you know. They yeah. modify the gallery and watch room. One moment, Watson. I'll redraw this blueprint. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I mean, I you guess. don't have time. There's a conga line of people. Just, you know, cliff diving upstairs. That's true. Of all the nasty deeds I've done for coin, this is without question the worst. The strange dreams become more frequent, but I try not to dwell on them. And yet life here is tedious, so I cannot stop my mind from returning to the visions. I cannot stare at the sky. I am loath to look at the sea or Ashmat's face or my own hands. Roger says that soon everything will disappear, be eaten by the old one. It would be a better world, even if I were not around to see it. Wow, these guys were fucking delusional. Seriously. Any other thing, any other Z's in here? By the bed or anything? Nah, okay. I just wanted to check, no, I'm keen. No, it's okay. Alright, well, you know where to go. Hold on. We need a plan. What the fuck was that? Oh, uh, do the mind palace. That's not what I was commenting on. Oh, his clothing freaked out a bit. His head got chopped off for a second. It did? I didn't notice. Uh. Uh, green. Smash everything. That's a solid plan. There we go. Follow the sabotage plan. We must destroy the colored lenses at the base of the lantern as depicted on the blueprint. In order to achieve this, each lens must be targeted by two beam emitters simultaneously and then manually shattered using the dagger. We need to work separately as Rochester and his servants will be trying to protect the lenses. Okay, this could be tough. Good luck. Oh no. Oh dear. Right, we're going straight. I'll drop a save here as well, yeah. Because <laughs> I doubt we can save once we're up here. Then just press space twice. Oh my god, you did it. I'm so proud of you. There we go. Tell me you have a plan. Of course. We shall apply what we just learned, charge the Khalid lenses, and break them with the dagger. That should put a stop to this cursed ritual. Alright, good. I confess, I worry about what awaits us. Is it too much to hope this will all come right? If our future is black, it is better surely to face it like a man than to attempt to brighten it by mere will-o'-the-wisps of the imagination. Come on. We'll go together. Hi. You are, you are all Look here. at them all. We have to help them. 
Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here, see to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. I mean, Sherlock. I don't think it's a shit actually, Sherlock. to be honest with you. Mr. Holmes, you are late. Was the path here not as you anticipated? You expected me? We've stood here before, Mr. Holmes. Another you, another me. Many years ago. I wonder what will happen oh. this time. What? Is that everyone said the game? What are you talking about? Join me. Bear witness to the end. If that is a callback to the game, that's kind of fun. All right, well, you've got to do the beams now while he's distracting them. Uh, oh, God. It's amazing. Oh, how do I get to them? One here. Remember, you need two on one at a time. So do that one first. Yeah, go, no, go, go on that one. No, I think I can get that one and this one and that one. Okay, do that. You get to go all the way around, I think. You may need to do the other one first, so you can move them out of the way, the people. Oh, wait! Oh. Why is this... Why is this one not working? Mm, I don't know. There's certain ones you're gonna need to clean. Clear. I think Sherlock is dead. I think it's his timed, yes. Because there's people jumping off constantly. Oh okay. my god. I don't understand. I don't think you can do anything with this one, love, right now. No, I can't. I know I can't. Oh, yeah! No, aim it at that one! Aim it at that one! Aim the red one at that one. At the one on the left. But I think it'll turn it off. See? Oh, shit, it does. Okay, I do apologize. I thought it made it double. No, that's, that's the reason that one is not workable. But I can't get to it past the people. And I yeah. can't get to those ones. Okay, so... Um, I think I know what to do. So go left here to this one. Yep. And aim it at that one directly in front of you, first of all. Okay. Is there another one we can get on that? Oh, hang on, is it is that enough? I, I can't tell. See if you can smash it. Oh. Yes. Because the other one was already hitting it, see? You cannot bear witness to anything, Lord Rochester. You are blind. You did it, Bubba. <laughs> How could you? It is what I do. No. How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this moment. Never felt more than I feel right now. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The bile of madness rises in our throats just as our master rises below. I see moon beasts. Night gaunts, a witch doctor in Arkham. I see what the stars themselves are dreaming. I know more than any man has ever known. You are delusional. How did you do it? The compulsions, the visions, was it some form of hypnosis or no? A drug, perhaps. Tell me. Bah! There is no ruse. There is no big reveal. It is exactly what it seems. You still fight so desperately against this truth, but you feel it too. Yes? Yes? You are mad. You have mistaken hallucinations for reality. Are you really one to talk, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> Speak truthfully now. In the port, in the swamp, what did you see? What should I say? I saw other worlds. Something beyond the capacities of my imagination, a world so alien, but but so familiar. Yes, I see it too, in your mind's eyes. Untold horrors lick their lips in the shimmering dreamlands, as Sardath sinks eternal. Okay, now we've got to do another one. Mm, I, think, I think we're seems walled in. Yeah. Oh, I 
yeah, it does. I mean, I know I'm a little lost, Nunkin. But it really does seem like everywhere is all in. Yeah, I genuinely don't see where you can go. Uh, maybe try... Don't, first of all, stop running and just walk. And there's, there was an interrupt point in the middle of that crowd there. See there? Oh my god, are you serious? There you go. What? Oh, what? You have to do the crate somewhere. You die! You didn't do it. I didn't know. I didn't see. I, I didn't expect the quick. I didn't really know what it was either. It just sort of popped up. <laughs> I'm not very good at these things. That's okay. Okay, let's just see what the quick time is. Or maybe it won't do it this time. Oh, D. D. S. Okay, you're three. Alright, now for some lasers. Oh, they're wobbling. W. W for wobbling. Wobble you again for wobbling. Maybe wibbling. Alright, now run into the center and you should be able to get around to it. There you go, you did it, baby. Destroy. E. Now Sherlock will say something emo again. But what is the point? What are you hoping to achieve with all this slaughter? Do these people deserve such suffering? They are just tools. Their existence is meaningless unless put to use. Oh, all-seeing master. Oh, grand god beneath. How he has blessed them with purpose! You use them for cruelty! I've seen a man eat his own flesh just to hear the whispers of lizards. I've seen a mother behead her newborn that she might travel to another world. Galaxies swallow each other whole. Light folds in on itself until nothing remains. You know not cruelty, Mr. Holmes. Cruelty is for such knowledge to be beyond the reach of so many! This is hubris delusion, you are Icarus flying too close to the sun! No, no! You misinterpret the legend, Holmes! Icarus flew! He reached heights no man had ever reached! One must imagine Icarus happy! He burned! Rochester plummeted to his death! And were you to ask him of his choice? He would have not a single regret. Mm. Every step I took was necessary. Every drop of blood a blessing. Every death predestined. Surely you understand. It was for knowledge. The only thing worth living for. Why must you remain so blind? Be honest. What is it you fear? Entirely up to you here, baby. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it will affect anything. The game has one ending. I know, but still, I get, I, I'm get scared. Um, I think afraid of losing my mind, especially. Sure. Said, um, I, I am afraid that it will cost me my sanity, much as it has cost you yours. There is no such thing as sanity. There is only the world as it is. And one's willingness to accept it. All right, another one of these. Oh, I believe in you, baby. And you can't go around there. So you definitely have to go back through the crowd, whatever. All right, now this one should work. There you go, you can go back and smash it now. Ah! Back through the crowd and you got it, Bubby. Number three. There's one more after this, I think. Just don't let them push you off the lighthouse with their little peats and wobbly heads. I mean, if it take too long, they'll all be cliff diving and swimming down the stairs. All right. And break this one. And boom. You, you truly believe it? That a god arises from below that the world shall end? 
There is only nothingness. Only chaos and torture and endless time stretching its wings, baring its teeth. It's preposterous. It's nonsense. It's... You... you drugged me. Uh, the fumes in the temple, narcotics, are a bad reaction. Oh, you're one of my cross agents. Yes. Yes, this has the stink of my brother all over it. No, 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 wait. Of course, I am dreaming in the asylum. Uh, yeah. I'm in Black Edelweiss. I... Tied to a chair. You are standing right here, Holmes, as you always do. You, you said that before. You said we had met, but and I've never seen you before in my life. The cycle repeats. Old becomes new, and we remain pawns in the hands of a god. Submit! Submit to your inconsequence! It is unthinkable. It is undeniable. I cannot. When you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Now, Holmes, now is the moment. You know it in your heart. Say it. Say it! I mean... I think it probably is real. It's... It's real. All of it, it's... It's real. Is that bad? I don't know. Nope, we're back to Watson. I'm not sure the ones there are. There's one on the other side still. The layout's completely changed. Don't like God, people. They wibbly wobbly and it makes me scared. They just like oh, I'm gonna touch your bum, Dr. Watson. That's what they're saying. No, they're not saying that. You're what? only saying that because you're a dirty old lady. I don't like Dr. Watson's bum. I'm not particularly interested in it. It's not my sort of bum, to be honest with you. I know it can't hit that. Oh, bounce it off that one. Oh my god, we're an idiot. There you go. That was actually pretty easy. You're stupid. There we go, <laughs> and we can destroy it straight away. We did it, but we're not Oh my god. Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are merely a man. And I know how to stop you. Just shoot him in the face, that's it. What do you mean? It. What have you done? I have made a friend. Yeah! <laughs> They're like, oh, what's going on? No! Curse you! Oh, great one! Forgive me! Push him! It is over, Rochester. I thought this time would be different. But the gods <laughs> laugh at man's arrogance. Sherlock, come back down! The wave! Oh, shit. What was that? Come with us. Turn yourself in. Save yourself. The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. The final problem approaches. And you too shall fall. That's a big fucking wave. Sherlock, please, Rochester, don't. Such heights we reach. I mean, no, God, Sherlock, we must get inside. I give him a seven for form, though. That's pretty good. Swan know. dive. It's just a fucking wave, dude. And it's one that's gonna kill him. Also, if a wave that massive hit a lighthouse, I'm pretty sure the lighthouse would fall. Surely. He's fine. <laughs> the whole game was a dream. Apologies, did I rouse you? What? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. Oh, you're... Uh, no, no, no. The sound of your keys uh, is my... Tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester. No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Ah. Uh... You would be a laughing stock, a fabulous concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. 
And I... Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? When I close my eyes, John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. It is endless and suffocating and unforgiving. But I would give for a dreamless night. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 no not that, no, no. I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. Ah. <laughs> That's lucky. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. He's going to burn it, yeah? Have to burn it. You could have kept it for your personal account. I feel bad for Watson. He's like, I want to write a book, but he never lets me publish any of the thing that I write. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sherlock Holmes: The Awakened. What did you think? I really liked it. Um, again, I'm not super fan of like the you have to have this pin sometimes uh, mechanic, but I am an idiot. And so is my wife. We're two. We're, we're, we're two halves of a whole idiot. Uh, <laughs> um, we got the hang of it more as it went on. I think. Yeah, I think like just at the ending we got <laughs> we got the hang of it. But otherwise, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, it's a good game. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing more Sherlock guys. Remember, if you're one of our patrons, you could nominate some of the Sherlock games for playthroughs. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you totally should sign up to our Patreon because we're almost only three supporters away this month from hitting our goal. That is so no. That unlocks exclusive playthroughs for everyone, including you at any tier on our Patreon. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can also watch us live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crinkshow. We're live there all the time. Just press space, baby. See there's another scene. <laughs> there's not. Well, well that was and not. there might have been a scene. Sometimes you have to let them play all the way through, which is what I was going to do, and which we could have done because we were just doing the out credits anyway. I'm sorry. So I'm not don't, sure why you told me to stop. Don't you sass me! Don't you sass me, I'm a numkin. I love you. <laughs>